Hello. All right. Hi, hi, hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. It's 10 something right now, but I was going to try and start earlier today. Um, I didn't go to bed until like 4 a.m. So <laughs> I kind of didn't get up early. Hey, Sleazy. Hey, Ray. Good morning. Good morning. So we are hopping back into some of these kids. We finished Sui's route yesterday. We also finished um, Saitomo's route yesterday too. Saitomi's route. Um, so today we are going to be hopping into Minato's route. I don't think I'll be finishing it in one stream if I'm being honest with myself unless he has a couple chapters that are 30 minutes only. That'd be the only way I could see it happening. But, but we're going to play for at least six hours. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And if we're close... <sighs> If it's close, then we will, we will do our best. All right, so we're going to work with Minato. So, it be that easy. Minato, <laughs> Also, Ray, thank you for your comments on uh, on if it's work appropriate or not. <laughs> I'm here for the chill vibes and voice. Honestly, what was hilarious um, yesterday is everyone got so thirsty at the beginning of Usu's route, and then everyone instantly fizzled out about chapter three. <laughs> Everyone's like, "I'm done with this man." It was it was amazing to watch it go from like enthusiasm to I hate it, I hate it here <laughs> so fast. Alright, I see with a minute. Working on a project from scratch must be intimidating. Yoji, I've missed you so much. With that in mind, I never intended to ask you, a designer, to go into sales. I'll have to finish it up later. Aw, wait, have you done... Oh, you mean the rest of uh, his route? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Asia, Asia went from loving it to hating it pretty quickly yesterday. I'm sure you can learn a lot from operations. I got to the part where he said we remind him of his big sister. Oh my god, that was so dramatic. I was like, don't do this to me. Don't, don't put me in that square. <laughs> so far, I've been making designs for projects and apps that were already published. That's why I didn't know how apps were made despite working on an app company. I chose this work because I thought it would be a good learning experience despite my negative feelings about the transfer. She's straight up. She's like, I'm apprehensive about this option I picked. <laughs> it will be necessary to decide which parts we want to keep from the current Astarcia. Astarcia I thought I took enough, long enough break that I was past the coughing phase. For Starcy's sake, I hope you make decisions consistently based on new perspectives. Thank you, Yoji. It became clear to me how important my work would be. Even it, giving it my best shot was the only thing I could do. Ah, I wish you the best of luck. I just realized I should open a notepad. I'm trying to do um, better on the uploads and like actually include that what chapter we're on in the, uh, the bar at the bottom. But because I'm not taking notes, um, I had to literally rewatch the video just to find those spots for myself. Like, what time was that? I wish you the best of luck. Now then, Amasawa. I'm counting on you. <gasps> Senpai counts on me. I almost literally just closed. The actual video. <laughs> <gasps> oh. 
He's so pretty. It's ridiculous. Sir, please. Three more routes. Rain it in. I know, right? Like, uh, I'm so excited to get to him. He's going to be so good. I can't wait. I can't wait for him. I'm so excited. I hope he's the best route. He better be. They got the best voice actor. Like... It had been a week since I was reassigned to a Starseas department, which was in danger of being shut down. I chose to help with operating a Starsea itself. No matter how many creative projects we came up with, a Starsea would have no future if operations didn't flow well. Which is why I wanted to help a Starsea from the ground up. Minato, I want to tell you to say it before, but I'm going to tell you also, I did, I did think about my outfit, and I'm wearing his B outfit. His B outfit, he wears a yellow jacket, so I was like, I got it. If I'm wrong, it'd be funny. Minato, as I told you before, Amasawa here will be working under you starting today to help you with operations. Make sure you show her the ropes and how to go under them. I greeted Minato and said I was looking forward to working together, but he just turned around. Amasawa, I heard you specifically said you wanted to get involved in operations. I wonder why they don't bother just putting what he says. Senpai is is like what you refer to as an older colleague. So like him calling her Senpai is actually like, ooh, but like it keeps... My question is why? I never expected Minato to be the happy-go-lucky and friendly type, but his words felt like ice shards that pricked me. I didn't know what to say. To be honest, I think it's better if I do the operation side of things alone. It's more efficient that way. Let me do what I want. Let me have fun. Right now, we don't even need two people to do the work here, so... Minato! Honestly, Amasawa, teaching and assigning you work would be a waste of time. Don't you think it's inefficient? <gasps> I asked him if he meant to say I would get in his way. Ah, you see it too then. You used to be in the design department. I think you should do something that makes better use of your skills. Minato's claim left me discouraged, but he couldn't change my mind that easily. I told him he should judge me after seeing my work. Whatever. For today, I'll have you handle inquiries from customers. <laughs> he doesn't believe in me, but he might. I'll send you the manual with the instructions to you, so please follow that, Amasawa. I can I can read read it in it in an instruction book with me. It's going to be okay. Alright, also, I don't think you'd ever have any, but if you have questions, go ahead and ask me. Please, Minato immediately returned to work after our brief meeting. So lovely. I returned to my desk and checked the manual as instructed. Click, click. Minato asked me to check and respond to inquiries from the Contact Us page in the app. This was a crucial task since we could easily lose trust from the users if we ever made one rude response. As per the manual, I carefully checked and responded to each inquiry individually. As I made my way through the questions, I stopped at one of them. It was an inquiry regarding an article featuring an artist that we published a few months ago. However, the artist's social media account was now deleted. The user seemed interested in the work of the artist and wanted to check on them. After considering how to respond, I spun my chair towards Minato to ask him for help. 
but he looked occupied working on his computer. I came here to support Minato, so I couldn't ask him for help over every little thing, but this is the first time I would be asking him for help, so I don't think it's every little thing. In order to come up, also where is her desk? I'm gonna say this again, her desk does not fit into any of these little cubicles because she's got a wall behind her. Don't do it. Don't give up personal info to strangers. <laughs> oh my God, that's so true, that's fair. Honestly, I get people mad at me all the time. They're like, I need your boss's phone number. I'm like, actually, no, you don't. <laughs> In order to come up with the solution myself, I walked to the shelf where the documents from previous articles were. The shelves were lined with files. Since the files were arranged chronologically, I knew the document I needed would be on the top shelf. But even standing on my tiptoes, I couldn't quite reach the right file. Oh no, you're telling, how short is she? I have one of these shelves in my house. That top, top row is eye level with me. What are you talking about? I dragged my fingers against the edge of the shelf, trying to grasp it, even though I knew it was pointless then. What are you doing? After the droll of an exasperated voice, the file I wanted was lifted up. <gasps> I whipped around to find Minato standing behind me. Is this the one you wanted? I nodded and thanked him for taking it down for me. It was reassuring that he was still willing to help me despite how long wolf, uh, his lone wolf extincts. And I muttered as much, thank you. <sighs> I wish I was that short <gasps> for moments like these. That's so fair. Honestly, even though I'm, I think I've said this before, but I'm short, but I will say like, oh, can you get that for me? I'm just so short, even when it's like on the ground, like my arms are shorter. It's harder for me to reach, you see. <laughs> it's not like that. Don't get the wrong idea. Amasawa, I can't concentrate on my work with you jumping up and down like an idiot. <gasps> Next time, don't try to be cute and just use the step stool. Did I know there was a step stool? I hadn't noticed the step stool sitting behind the shelf. Beside the shelf until he mentioned it. I thanked him for pointing it out even though his tone was cool. I can never figure out this MC. Honestly, uh, it's because they didn't give her a voice. She doesn't actually speak. And she doesn't have any eyes. She's got a lot going on. First of all, what the in the world are you planning to use this for? I explained what I wanted to do while he squinted at me suspiciously. The artist's contact information. Didn't I tell you in the beginning to follow the manual? Unless it is very urgent or important, you can just send a standard message back. Oh, oops, sorry, the button. I hit the wrong button that time. Dealing with all those inquiries one by one will take... That'll take forever. Irritation pricked at me during his lecture and I grew up. I glowered at him, but he was ob oblivious. He just carried on. That's why we have a manual that covers almost every type of case. Yeah, but I'm trying to be helpful here, my guy. You do realize the more you spend on one inquiry, the longer the other ones will wait for a response, right? What would a standard email sound like? Right, you're, you're in HR. Someone's asking for someone's personal contact information. As you said, never give it to strangers, but what would be the right response? Thank you for your inquiry. End of sentence. It's better for a starseed to get favorable feedback from many users than to get one great response from one user. <gasps> Senpai. 
that senpai was harsh. Because again, senpai means older senior. Please try working more rationally. You've been here longer than me, after all. The toe had a point. I felt guilty for trying to handle things at my own discretion. I decided to follow the manual as Minato recommended since he was the more experienced with operations that I, than I was. <sighs> as I proceeded, I stumbled across some issues that weren't mentioned in the manual. Even though Minato's reaction earlier still nagged at me, I walked over to his desk to confor confirm what to do. Something wrong? そのままにしておいてください。後で俺が対応するんで。リーブイトゥエア。アウトデオレガタイオスルンデ。リーブイトゥエア。アウトデオレガタイオスルンデ。リーブイトゥエア。アウトデオレガタイオスルンデ。リ
そのスタッフにも残業させることになります。We ask another department to make design changes now, they'll have to work overtime too. Yes, but I can do it. そんな権限、先輩にあるんですか And what right do you have to make them stay late on the sala? He was right. A news app's most important feature is whether the article is accurate, not necessarily their design. Besides, it would be tough to get another department involved at this hour. However, I can do it. He takes on it. His take on it was rational enough for me to back down. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going home. You're not staying any longer, right, Amasawa? So, I'm going to go to the house. こっちも帰りにくくなるんで。Then please leave work now or else it'll make me feel like I have to stay too. ちょっとその言い方はないんじゃない ?Hey, you don't have to be so rude. That's right, Oi, you tell m a o i who seemed to have been listening to our conversation, interrupted us with an uncharacteristically sour frown. みなとくんの主張はもっともだけど、もっと言い方があるでしょ ?I get what you're trying to say, Minato, but can't you be more mindful on how you say it? いいことって別に普通に話してただけですよ。What are you talking about? I was just speaking like I always do. Oh, poor baby. そうちょっとトゲがあるように聞こえたけど。Yeah, it sounded pretty mean to me. 入社時期的には彼女が先輩だけど、湊斗くんはここに来る前も別アプリの運営をしていたでしょ We have been here longer, but you were in charge of operations for a different app before being hired here, right, Minato? That means you're more experienced with this kind of stuff than she is, so she needs you to teach her how to do this stuff. Minato looked away uncomfortably when, after Oi finished speaking. But how do I? Director Kobas suddenly marched in and chided Minato. Let me guess, Minato, you think it's faster to do it yourself than teach someone else, right? Because it is. <sighs> yep, buddy. Yeah, I knew it. I understand how you feel, b u I understand how you feel, but that's not what it means to be part of a team. If you have a problem, you can't get a job. 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 そろそろ、ね、It's getting late. You two are leaving soon, aren't you? Actually, I'm going to fix this. Oi. So, I'm going to do this. We are. Well, then, good night, everyone. I want to stay. Just as I thought we were free to leave, Oi grinned mischievously at the two of us. So, I'm going to do this. So, I'm going to do this. So, I'm going to do this. What did I miss so far?、Um, Minato is like, I hate telling you how to do your job. That's all you've missed, really. <laughs> How about going home together? Oi is, is a, Oi the actual walking、uh, HR violation here. Huh? Huh? Despite me and Minato's stunned expression, Oi carried on cheerfully like she didn't notice her care. Let's face it, you're going to be working together, right? In that case, you better learn to get along with each other. I don't see how getting along outside of work has anything to do with it. Hi. Do you know? Does that mean you can't even walk back to the station? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh no. <gasps> Boba! Boba Place sent you a freebie since I ordered so much strawberry cheesecake flavored macarons. Oh my god. Dude, I want food 
No, I had a piece of pizza. I just woke up. I've been sleeping all day. Honestly, same. Um, I got up at 10, but my alarm went off at 7.30, but I also didn't go to bed till like 3 a.m. I, I stayed way too late. <laughs> at work, I got a little bit of light at work there. I tried to excuse myself first, thinking Minato would be awkward about the whole thing, but... You've got plans? Hoi was quick to question me. I was hesitant to trap myself in a lie, so I shook my head. Okay, good. Then he can walk you home. The police woke me up at 6 in the morning. Thanks to that, I only had two hours of sleep. Ooh! <laughs> that's, a lot, that's a lot of sleep. Oh, wait, you're not going to let us go until we say yes, are you? Ah, I'm so glad you understand. <laughs> Dang, girl, go back to bed. <laughs> I mean, it's three now. What did you do? <laughs> Always saw us off as we left the office together. Although we ended up walking together, it was soon clear that we had nothing to talk about. <laughs> Let Minato's smooth, soothing voice lull you. <laughs> Always said that this was a great opportunity to get closer to Minato, but with the way things looked, I doubted that. I thought hard about what to discuss and brought up a drama that aired on the day before. Huh? I was sleeping and my mom, me and my mom both heard, get down, get down outside of our window. <gasps> Anytime I'm like this and I'm like, it's because there's a window right behind me. It's hiding behind these shelves. And so sometimes people are back there talking. But I'm just like, is it in the house or is it outside? Yeah, be safe. Please be safe, Asia. Is that a TV show or something? No, I didn't watch it. Minato sounded completely uninterested, but I didn't give up. This time I asked him what he had for lunch. <laughs> Some random food from the convenience store. Nothing special. My mom literally saw them holding some guns that ruined my sleep. The police or the person? He answered curtly and the silence returned. Police team. My mind raised trying to think of something to talk about, but I came up with nothing. <laughs> She's like, so, um, Sports. I don't think it's necessary for us to talk on the way home. I don't care about building relationships or anything at work as long as we're all doing our jobs. <gasps> I went back to bed four times today. Technically, I went to back to bed twice. So technically, my alarm did go off at 5 a.m. because I was going to get up to go get coffee. But then I was like, you know what? I'm sleeping. And so I'm about to sleep. And then my alarm went off at 7.30. And that's when I was like, hmm, my sister never poked her head in here and asked me if I still wanted coffee. Let me make sure she got up. And she had not. And so then I went back to bed and I set my alarm for like 9.45 or something because I was like, then I'll get up at 10. Because I'm the kind of person that once I wake up, I lay in bed for a while and just go, meh, meh, meh. <laughs> that's adrenaline inducing to sure. Glad you and your mom okay. Yeah, I'm glad. Also, your brother, I assume, was home. I hope I'm Glad he's okay to you. But dang. Oh. I knew what he was trying to say, but what he what that stung as much as a rejection. I looked down at my feet embarrassed. Oh, Look out. Minato caught my arm and jerked me towards him, because apparently I was walking right into a pole. She left. Only reason she was up was because she was leaving for work. My brother was sleeping in his room. That's good. I'm glad everyone's good. <gasps> Minato caught my arm, jerked me towards him. My heart jumped as I suddenly found myself in his arms as if he was hugging me. A bicycle bell rung loudly and realization dawned on me. If I had kept walking in the same spot, I would have been hit by that bike. That's the second or third time in the story where she's conveniently being like, held by a Are you alright? 
He inspected me closely, still gripping my arm. As I calmed my thump, thundering heart, thudding heart, and thanked him, he finally looked up. Oh no, my head's killing me now. I gotta fix me something to eat. Yeah, you should fix something to eat, take some Tylenol maybe. I have Tylenol living on my desk now because、uh, I need it. Then bikes sneak up on you, just like cars and K dramas, honestly. These bikes are like, oh no, here, let me hold you. Seriously, like, where are you going? I don't want to see someone get hit by a car or bicycle right in front of me. Why? Has that happened before, Minato? I apologize. He still looked disgruntled as he continued walking ahead. Just walk right behind him. He had thrown his bag aside when he saved me from the bike and it laid in the street. Some business books had spilled out of the bag, too. Come to think of it, I remembered seeing books like these stacked on his desk. Perhaps he was studying for something outside of work. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <Ooh. laughs> I kneeled down to collect his books and return them to him, then asked what they were for. No more. Thanks. He doesn't answer. Minato might, ca might call me out. I almost got hit by a car before. This book is for. I'm just trying to get to know you, my friend. Like, we can be friends. You know what? I could have worn my blue dress. I just realized that blue is the same shade. The books. Why do you care, Amasawa? Imagine MC gets hit and gets amnesia. Then we'd really be in a K drama. <gasps> oh my god. Dude, what game did that? It was Lover Pretend, wasn't it? <sighs> I think it was Lover Pretend had someone get amnesia and they were like, Were we in love? And I'm like, Yes, but like, not really. We weren't really in love. I just said it to make you feel better. And I'm like, Dude, I hate this. <laughs> I thought I had finally found something to talk about with him, but Minato refused to open up. And that's when I said, You know what?、Um, I just realized I'm a moonlighter. I actually work at a strip club. I gotta go. And so I ran away from him. The following day, As I tapped away on my keyboard, I found myself brooding. Minato's work style was efficient and very productive. On the other hand, my style of work was thorough, but took much more time. In other words, I was inefficient compared to him. Comparing our output, his method of working was clearly more efficient than mine, not to mention how I accidentally caused trouble for him with the bike incident. Honestly, I wasn't sure if Minato and I could ever get along well. I wondered how we should handle the, that for work. In the midst of my agonizing, I ran into s a m t o m i in the break room. Oh, it's got a. Hey. Oh, no, God, tension. Why do you look so gloomy today? As I tried to deny it, I remembered that he seemed to get along pretty well with Minato. I decided to talk to Saitomi about the whole situation. Listen, my feelings. Hashtag order. Gotcha. Having trouble with Ko because he's cold and your work styles don't match, huh? Well, he's never friendly to anyone, so you don't have to worry about that. That part isn't personal. Hurting his work style. If you could find a way to mix it together and have a baby. Personally, I like both Ko's efficient style and your carefree style, Amasawa. Maybe you could find a way to mix them together. Well, it's not easy to do it easily, but I don't think it's easy to do it easily. I don't think it's easy to do it. I guess you wouldn't be talking to me like this if it was that easy, but isn't it worth a shot? First off, I've only worked with him a single day, so to say that is a bit ridiculous. Carefulness and efficiency. He was right. If we could have it both ways, I was sure Minato and I could work even better as a team. I'm here anytime you want to talk. Saitomi's a b 
advice made me feel much better. I think Saitomi and returned to my desk with lighter steps than when I left. Like Saitomi said, I needed to find a way to work that a way to work that played to both Minato and my strings. I thought it over while responding to inquiries again. After a while, Minato came to check on my work. So that's what you were doing? You're seriously sorting out all the inquiries? I thought I told you to follow the manual. You know, this is better because this is like the Beauty and the Beast music and he's got the deep voice. I didn't flinch at his disgust. I told him what I had in mind. If Minato pointed out, as a Minato pointed out, efficiency was important, but listening to the user's opinions was equally important. And that was exactly why I was sorting out the inquiries by content. It was necessary to be both efficient and mindful. I would ask myself, what if an inquiry about a feature, about an article, was it a, oh gosh, was it an inquiry about a feature or an article? I categorized inquiries according to whether they were regarded functions or articles. I explained that all to him. It could be a beast. One can only hope. It's hard to say so far. You shouldn't waste time on that right now. You'll never get all of the other stuff you need to do. <laughs> but if you simply follow the manual as usual, you can finish your job on time without incident. I wouldn't want to put my time and effort into something I don't even know will work. He couldn't change my mind. When I looked straight at Minato's eyes and told him that his brow furrowed in frustration. She's like, <laughs> she looked at his eyes with her no eyes and she's all like, I'm doing it anyways. And he's like, oh, why are you so dedicated to this? The only thing you have to do here is what you're told to do. And she's like, I'm going to do it anyways. It was increasingly obvious that our approaches to our jobs were polar opposite. I said that I didn't think just doing what I was told was enough. Uh-oh. Chat disconnected. Just said it's loaded. Alright. Alright, Amasawa. I get what you want now. In that case, let's completely divide our work up. I was relieved when he said that at first, but it was short-lived. It sounded like he wanted to completely push me away. Hmm. No. <laughs> Amasawa, you concentrate on responding to inquiries. I'll handle the rest. There. Happy? at his close, cool tone. Huh? Why are you upset? I just gave you what you wanted. <gasps> Jerk. I'm not sure if this is working because it just acted like it loaded for the first time. I'm sure this will make us less frustrated. See you. Cool. <laughs> I was just worried because my thing said, welcome to the chat room, like I had just turned on the computer. And hear me too. Yay, thank you. I'm sure this will make us less frustrated by each other's work. Ja, so Got you it. Go Good. Minato strolled back to his desk without another word. A few days later, I was returning to my desk after my break when... I didn't expect someone from another department to complain. Totally, if only we could find a way to get them to shut up about it. I came across the de director Kobas and Saitomi talking about something with grave looks. やっぱ資料を作って叩きつけます? What if we just threw something together and slapped it on their desk? 
Yeah, but we don't have much time for that. Director Kobas suddenly noticed me. Oh, Omaika, what's <gasps> going Hey, Amasawa, everything alright? Doya, Ko-chan to umaku yatteru. How's it going with Ko? Don't say his name in front of me. Look at me. I was having a good day, and now this. Since our last conversation, I'd only talked to Minato when absolutely necessary. We happened to go to work at the same time yesterday, so we did walk to the station together like before, but we barely talked at all. Things were still very awkward between us. When I hesitated to answer, Saitomi raised his brow curiously at me. What, you get into a fight or something? Since I didn't want to make him worry about us, I tried to cover it up with a smile and change the topic I asked about his day. Oh, yeah, we had a meeting earlier. The sales department said our claims about a star seat growing in popularity were too speculative. Their implication. The, their implication then was that there was no resources available to improve a star sea. We were all committed to making a star sea popular again, but we knew the results would be wouldn't be immediate. And the operations department was only working to maintain the status quo. So a resurgence of popularity for the app seemed unlikely for the near future. So <sighs> Someone even suggested we give other departments some of our budget. Dude, our budget's already so small. We can't grow without our current budget. We need some data to back up the claim that the app is viable. I Ideally, we would be able to show them objective evidence that our users still like a star sea, but we could show them all the feedback I get every day. A document that objectively showed that our users still liked a star sea. The data I was working on sprung to my head and I told them about it right away. What do you mean you'll make documents for us? I told them about how I started categorizing the inquiries by content in order to respond to them aptly. And as I did so, I realized that there were many requests for improvement. However, that also meant a star C had a lot of problems. I told Director Kobas that some people sent requests for improvements indicating they still wanted to see better from a star C. I see reviews, huh? Would you mind showing us what you have so far? I nodded and walked back to my desk with him and Saitomi in tow. And then as I was sitting there at my desk going, I stared. <laughs> this looks great. Director Kobas clicked through every piece of data. Damn, Amasawa, you did a great job. You can definitely shut up the sales department with this. I'm sure it must have been difficult to put this all together due to you do it yourself. Yeah, because no one wanted to help me. I nodded and explained the situation to the director. I told him how Minato and I had divided our work. Since he did most of the regular work for me, I could concentrate on emails. So, don't give him credit. He told me this was a waste of time. I just can't believe this big industry. <laughs> they don't have faith in their, their people? Is that so? Then I guess we have both of you to thank for this. Hey, Minato. Hey, Minato. Can I borrow you for a minute? I just need to talk to you. But what he really means is... I need to yell at you. Sure, sure. Gotta clean my glasses, which means I literally can't see anything for a minute here. Hang on. Was a smudge. And I could only see the smudge because that's how my brain goes. Aww. Ah, so I still think it's hard to believe. How tall is she? Four foot one, maybe? 
Alright. <clears throat> they didn't completely didn't pay attention to reviews before. It's true. Honestly, I think my company does the same. Director Kobas called Minato and instructed us to quickly put the user reviews and inquiries together. Sorry, it's sudden, but I'm counting on you. I'd like to use it for our meeting tomorrow. When Director Kobas left, Minato stared at me expectantly. You have something you want to say to me, don't you? Yeah. At Minato's urging, I thanked him. That's almost cold hard. She's like, yeah, thanks for letting me do this all by myself. That's not it. What are you thanking me for? <laughs> but what do I know? I'm just here for humans. Oh, man. Look at you. You're here for the humans, not the company. It turned out you were right, Amasawa, and I was wrong. Don't you want to rub it in? It was right at him speak intensely, and I was bewildered. Still, I could see what he was saying. I was right. But I was able to concentrate on putting the data together thanks to Minato's suggestion of dividing our work. So I told him that I didn't think there was anything wrong with me thanking him. You really are generous. I know because she doesn't have a backbone again in this route. She lost it. She gave it back at the end of the last story. Minato shifted his weight and looked away. He didn't say anything else. Alright, let's get started. Show me how you're putting it all together. It's like, why should I show you? If you don't already know. You mean why? We're doing this together. That's what the director said to do. True, as it was, I thought Minato still had more regular work to do. I can do it. I told him I could do it myself if I pushed myself, but... What are you gonna do? Stay up all night? Don't act like a flunky. I finished all the normal work today, so don't worry. So are you satisfied? Just hurry up and show me the data. It's my data. <laughs> Minato looked at the monitor before I could say anything. Damn, this is so detailed. This is very easy to read and understand. I'll do it like this too. Alright, I'll start on page 150. Amasawa, please do the rest on the first half. Let's just get this over with together. I was glad to hear Minato talk about doing it together so casually, and I broke out into a grin subconsciously. Why are you smiling? You can't tell. I'm smiling with my third eye. God, praise me more. I shook my head and said it was nothing, and Minato turned away. Weirdo. <gasps> Thank you. Although Minato sulked, his voice almost seemed to soften. Despite the large amount of data, we worked together and managed to finish the task by the end of the day. Amasawa, how far along are you? Got it. I'll extract the data, so please check the collection results after that. I nodded and pounded away at my keyboard as we approached the home stretch. Back, 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 back. Okay, it's been sent. Thus, the first document we made together was complete. Having submitted the document to Director Kobas, we were clear to head out. Nice work. Now let's hurry and go home. No, let's let's go eat dinner. Let's get like, do you want a drink? You want to eat ice cream? Like, what's up? 
Minato packed his bags and beelined across the office before stopping at the exit. I stared at him wondering why he wouldn't leave and our eyes met. What are you doing? Hurry up so we can get out of here. <gasps> I asked him if that's was what his way of offering to walk me home. What? No, it's just that we did that yesterday. I assumed we'd do it the same today. Minato's cheeks reddened slightly. Oh! Hit the wrong button. That was scary. If you don't want to, then I'll. It's totally fine. I'll. I'll go home by myself. Minato quickly took his leave. And I raced after him. The fact that he was acting differently made me wonder if we were finally getting closer. I hurried after him. I looked back and see him blushing. It was a split second, too. A few days later, Minato was on the phone when I arrived at work, which was unusual. Hi. Hi. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. I'd run for that blush too. <laughs> Minato looked pale. I was worried, but I decided to concentrate on my own work and just eavesdrop every so often. Clack, 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 clack. What was that? Okay, great. Clack, 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 clack. What was that sound? I watched him nervously, and the clock revealed that he had been on the phone for over 30 minutes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, all right, have a nice day. Was it school calling? Minato sighed after hanging up the phone. <sighs> you can do that too. I greeted Minato timidly and he looked exhausted. Good morning. When I asked him who was he was talking to, he turned away from me before replying. Is it the one I warned you about? Was it the one I said looked ugly and you're like, who cares? Was it that one, Minato? Curious. We had a problem with the sponsored article, so we have to redesign it entirely. So, the design department gave me a real earful about it. All the energy drained from his face. I asked if that they were really that harsh. Well, I don't like getting reprimanded, but I also dislike talking on the phone and talking to people in real life and going outside. <laughs> don't know why I just hate it. Dude, I have had like three missed calls. And they don't leave voicemails. If you don't leave a voicemail, I'm not calling this number back. I don't know why you called in the first place. I don't care if it didn't say not spam. Why are you calling me? I just hate talking on the phone. I mean, honestly, who does enjoy it? I don't know. He answers. His answers were quite evasive, but I didn't want to ask him further about something he didn't want to discuss. When I gave up and tried to return to my desk, phone suddenly rang and Minato practically jumped out of his skin. Should I answer it? Can I answer it? Perhaps the last phone call had taken everything out of him. I hurriedly grabbed the receiver. Moshi moshi! <laughs> yes, as I slipped, sipped my drink in the break room, I considered how Minato acted earlier. A lot of random numbers called me. I recently got a new phone number. I just over here like, I will block y'all all. <laughs> Sir, what did the phone do to you? Everything. Honestly, it was there. It made me have to talk to someone I didn't know and I couldn't see. All my reflexes told me this is unsafe. I sipped my drink in the break room. I considered how Minato acted earlier. For a moment, he looked scared of what the, of the phone itself. Oh no. <laughs> Once again, he's me for real. Hey, what's wrong? What's with the long face? Oh, he approached me with a cup of coffee in her hands, breaking me out of my revere, revire, what the heck? Reverie, reverie, I can do it. Huh? Minato-kun? Minato? Ah, 
。確かにあまり電話対応が得意そうなイメージはないけど。でもまあこればっかりはどうしようもないからできるだけフォローしてあげるしかないかな I've never seen him sleeping in the office before, so he was probably still wasn't feeling like his usual self. Concerned, I quietly approached Minato and inspected his face. Is he sleeping? <gasps> Look at him in his little poncho. A small noise escaped his lips, and I stopped in my tracks. Not Why? It sounded like whatever was stressing him out even followed him to the dreams. I knew it wasn't a good idea, but I craned my face closer to his to try and hear what he was saying. After staring at him for a while, Minato's eyelash fluttered, and I did enjoy the CG in this one. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's right, Ray, you played this route already. He's smiling! Oh no, he's also looking at us! Oh no! His eyelids opened wide slowly. His beautiful blue eyes met mine, and I froze in astonishment. Met your what? Minato smiled slightly. A little close, don't you think? Is he just normal like he's, he is the beast? But when he first wakes up, he's a normal guy. A <sighs> little close, don't you think? What were you trying to surprise me? Having intended no such thing, I shook my head vigorously. <laughs> I came back from the kitchen and see the CG I had a feeling. I just squeed. <laughs> It is, this is a good one. Ah,、oh, man. I'm sure you're not too fond of me, Amasawa, isn't that right? <gasps> Makes sense you'd want to sock me in my sleep. That wasn't exactly what I thought he meant, but by surprise. But since I had no idea why Minato thought I'd want to hit him, I asked. Is he still just laying like this while talking? Like, I feel the vibe, but like, why? <laughs> I was a real jerk to you when you first started the operations team, Amasawa. You can tell he has kid siblings. Yeah, he's all like, Did you want to hit me? Honestly, one of my friends、um, that I worked with for a while, I, I used to go like this sometimes, like, I'm not actual, but he actually would he'd flinch. He'd be real scared. Because、uh, he's not an only child. I didn't even try to understand your work style. I tried to get you to leave the operations team. So, as Minato spoke, his voice gradually became weaker and weaker. Perhaps he felt guilty, so I teased him for finally acting kind. <laughs> you think I'm kind? What makes you say that? Because you're smiling, I guess. I don't know, Minato. Jeez. Although Minato spoke gruffly, he was just speaking his mind with me. I knew him well enough to know that there was nothing to worry about. Snacks. What? Oh, it's okay. I appreciate the aesthetic idea, though. But still, the fact that he apologized told me he was a kind person after all, and I said so. Thank you. <laughs> You really are a weirdo. Listen, Minato, so are you, okay? We're just a couple of weirdos working in an office together, barely getting along with each other at this time. But you look cute when you're half awake, so. Are you like this with everyone, Amasawa? What does that imply? I tilted my head, not knowing what he meant by that. 
Nitsho kept his gaze on me. Nanka, Kekai Shin Zero to Yuka. Kikikan Kaimuna Kanji. How should I put this? Don't you ever get nervous or. Nitsho pushed himself up slightly. His face got even closer to mine and my heart pounded furiously then. I was going to try and show him to my sister because our, my TV was off over here, but uh, she left the room. <laughs> the loud ringing of a nearby phone pierced the office. So speaking of snackies, my sister brought me raising canes. <laughs> she also asked if I wanted an aesthetic cup, which is hilarious. I joked about finding like a pink tumbler, just so I'd have a pink tumbler when I'm drinking. Minato bolted upright for hearts started by the phone. <laughs> I reached for the receiver, the ringing stopped. Someone else must have taken the call. Minato glared down at the phone. <laughs> Dude, did a phone take his mom away? Hear me out. He's like, I don't like phones because the last time I answered a phone call, I found out my mom died. Fine. He raised his arms to the ceiling in a big stretch. Oh, that's right. Everybody stretch. We need to. I took a few steps towards my desk to get back to work, but... <sighs> Minato never yawned at work. I wavered and looked back at him in surprise, like, what? <laughs> Could you please not stare at me? Not when you're being this so cute. Like, oh my god. Like, do it again. An inadvertent <laughs> smirk crept on my face as he immediately broke eye contact. Stop smiling at me. I just woke up. It'd be weird if I didn't yawn. See, already resent me? He's like, don't tell me you're the type to wake up easily, Amasawa. As a matter of fact, I just discussed how I uh, didn't get up three different times today. Should I even save? Do these answers mean anything? I'm gonna be out of save soon, look at this. They didn't give me a hundred saves, did they? Times minus 90. They gave me 99. These affect certain part of the stories. I don't know, man. I've only been here for like eight minutes and he's already made my heart skip. What is this? I think you're uh you're just like still not over the last one. And so we're like, uh, it's also his voice. This guy has a great voice. In fact, have we looked up who he is? Do we know this voice actor? Up. Let's see. Let's find out who he is. Uh, we're gonna go with sad face. I was terrible at waking up, and I decided to admit it and shake my head. Connus, <gasps> it's Connus, guys. But now he has a face. Oh my God! Imagine this is actually Connus's face. <laughs> oh man, I can totally hear it now. God, I loved Connus's voice too. I also liked Connus's arms. I mean, and his flames that came out of his neck was cute. Then I guess we're on the same boat. That smile though. Yeah, look at him. He's so sweet. Have I screenshotted this? Lou said yesterday it looked like his shirt was on his head was on backwards, and I can't stop seeing that by the way. I know! I really liked Connus, but I was disappointed we got no kisses, so I'm pretending this is him then. I felt like they could have done so much more for Connus. Like, he deserved better. Connus, my man, deserved better. He is proof that you do not need a head to be hot, okay? Like, we continued having small talk after that, too. The way he seemed to warm up to me within a few days was remarkable, and it delighted me. She's like, I'm delighted.
ちょっといいですかここ間違ってました。直し方はわかりますか There's an error here. Do you know how to fix something like this? When I said I didn't, he gestured to an empty chair nearby. じゃあ教えます。そこを座ってください。Have a seat, I'll teach you. Okay, you got me. I rolled the chair over and sat down next to him. そのままにしておいてください。説明。Don't need the flashback, he's growing, it's fine. He was completely changing his tune. We made a lot of progress together in such a short amount of time. As I suspected, his face to face explanations were much easier to understand than the text heavy manual. It's crazy, it's like being shown something's easier. Afterwards, Minato flipped through the manual, his forehead creased.、ね、I guess this thing is pretty confusing. I'll rewrite it later. Also, I'm sorry about what I said the other day. Mito bowed his head. Minato, 48 hours later, in love with us. <laughs> From now on, I'll be sure to explain things to you if you have any questions. I was glad he changed his mind, but I also knew how difficult it was to balance teaching others with doing your own work. So I said I would just watch him closely and follow his lead. I don't need to use my own hand, but I don't need to use my own hand. I don't have to be so considerate of me, Amasawa, but if you want to, then by all means. His expressions were much more softer and more gentle than when I first met him. I'm going to use my own hand. 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 I'm going to Like, oh my god, he's a real boy. <gasps> Spin off episode, we ready. Look at his hair, he's so sehun. I absently watched Amasawa back as she walked through the ticket game. <sighs> When she vanished in the crowd, I sighed. <laughs> Finally, I'm free. I'm so tired of Oe's nonsense. Noisiness. A waste of time walking home with a colleague. I don't even want to be friends with her. More importantly, I don't need to be. I don't need to be friends with her. そうなったら困るのは自分だ。The more I get involved with others, the more I get attached to them, and that'll only get me in trouble. Oh, is this from his other job, maybe? Did he date somebody at his other job? They got involved.、Oh. 会社ではただ任された仕事だけをこなしていればいい。We should just do the work that we're assigned to do. No matter how much I try to force myself. See things that way. Amasawa's face kept surfacing in my mind. He's like those, that eyeless face. She's such a pain in the ass. She's so honest, serious, and I feel like she'll see right through me. Is he an alien? Is he not of this planet? If I get involved, I might be screwed. Not only did I have to see her at work every day, but we were on the same team. <sighs>、uh, oh, another big sigh escaped me. Is he a spy? Ooh, mystery, Ray says, as she knows. She already knows. I've been walking, I began walking faster, hoping to shake off those unpleasant thoughts. I don't know how we ever had sabotage in this game. We ready? We ready? 
。そういえば、昨日テレビで心霊番組やってたの知ってる Hey, have you been watching that new paranormal show on TV? <gasps> paranormal, say more. Is he a ghost? Is he a ghost? Tell me he's a ghost. A few days later, our, on our lunch break, <gasps> he's dead. He's dead. This is going to be the weirdest theory ever. He's dead and he's a ghost and he haunts this place. And walking her to the station's a pain in the ass for him because he doesn't want to leave that far from the building because he's haunting the building. Hoi and I were having lunch in the break room and she brought up an unexpected topic. <laughs> in fact, I live close to the haunted place that was featured on that show. What's that is I tore the fry in half and it still took that long. I knew I shouldn't watch it. I ended up waiting, watching it and. その廃墟のとある部屋で写真を撮るとそこで死んだ家族の霊が映るって内容だったんだけど、uh, reminder, he's got two siblings. He said if you take a photo in a certain room, you'll find the spirits of the dead family on your photo and. Oi's story was disturbingly detailed and chilly, and she managed to convince me. <laughs> When her story was about to end, I suddenly felt a cold air rush by me. <gasps> I leapt to my feet and bumped into something, dropping the chopsticks I was holding. Was that something a boy? Dozo. Here we go. Minuto picked up my chopsticks and held them out. I realized he was probably the one who passed behind me. Nanda, Minato, Why she felt a cold chill because he's a ghost. That was you, Minato. You nearly gave me a heart attack. I was just walking around. I was just walking around. I was just walking around. I was just walking by like a normal person. You're the one who overreacted. <laughs> それもそうかごめんねさっきまで心霊番組の話をしてたから Imagine being a normal person. Imagine that you don't have three voices going on in your head at all times. I don't know. I don't know what it's like. Minato pursed his lips and stared into space. He's a ghost! So many go a gari nara. Seen any story de kaisha ni no koro no wa. Sake da hoga ii kamo shire masen ne. In that case, you shouldn't stay in this office alone late at night. By the look on his face, I could tell where this was going. I tried to interrupt him, but Oi was already leaning in close. She's like, What? What do you mean by that? Go on. Before this building was built, there was an old well. Legend has it that every year, like clockwork, a woman would fall into it and die. And? It said the well was located around the staff entrance. And if a young woman walked by the entrance alone late at night, they say you can still see the old well. I held my breath. He had, us, had me hooked, goosebumps tingled along my arms. They say that if you see it, that's the end. The hand will reach out from the well and. Something touched my wrist.
I let out a small yell. <laughs> <Be very sugi. laughs> gotcha. He's smiling. That's a real smile he's hiding behind his hand. <laughs> Minato, that's not fair. Whatever. I mean, do you actually believe that story in the first place? I blinked in confusion and Minato smiled mischievously. I made it up, dummy. You shouldn't trust people so easily. Watch out for emails about dethroned princes asking for your bank account info. It gave me one last teasing smile before leaving the lounge. That freaked me out. I never took Minato for the type to make jokes like that. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen him smile like that before. What are you saying? I've changed him. Always brow raised in curiosity, so I told her how Minato's attitude to changed recently. He was cold to me when I first joined the operations, but ever since Minato understood the way I worked, we were able to communicate well. Calls friends. So that's what happened. I was pretty worried about you two at first, so I'm glad to hear that you're friends now. I wasn't sure if we were friends, but I was happy that we appeared to be. <laughs> we had the appearance of friends. For some reason, as the conversation continued, I felt embarrassed. I was so embarrassed, guys. Then that night, I had to work overtime because there was something urgent I needed to finish. When I finished, finally completed my work, I looked around the floor to find that I was alone in the office. As I might have been the last one there, I thought I should check on a different floor just to make sure. An entrance. Oh. Oh. The elevator opened and for some reason Minato, who should have left long ago, stepped out. Good evening. Is he a spy? <laughs> I joked about him getting something. Forget. I joked about him forgetting something, but the elevator came from a higher floor. I asked him what he was doing, but he replied without looking me in the eye. You're right, Amasawa. I'm here to pick up something I forgot. I pressed the wrong button. <gasps> Minato made it sound like it was nothing, but he had to have been exhausted to do such a careless thing. I asked how he was feeling. I'm not that tired. Just careless. Don't worry about me. He wouldn't look at me despite his insistence otherwise. He looked just quieted. Because I couldn't do something. Did you see a ghost or something? Hold his hand. That seems weird. No, it didn't work. Okay, hang on. If it doesn't our work love balance we don't want it okay um i didn't know what possessed me to do it it was i <laughs> okay i thought minutes would only insist that he was fine no matter what i said to him so i reached out and held his hand in mine I told him that I would always be there to help him, so I didn't want him to take it all on himself. I added that if there was ever anything that he needed, I wanted him to be able to rely on me. <laughs> Amasawa, you really are a weirdo. 
but thank you. Minato offered a troubled smile and removed his hand from mine gently. So, Speaking of which, were you on your way to check and see if anyone was still upstairs? I'd forgotten why I was at the elevator until he said that I confirmed his guess. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Cold boy to sweet boy, I love it. He turned on like a faucet, if I'm being honest, though. He was like instant, instantly from cold to warm. I had a feeling. I don't think anyone was there. The hallway was completely dark when the elevator door opened. While I did believe him, I was still concerned about him. In an attempt to brighten the mood, I asked if he wanted to walk home with me. I'll go pick up what I forgot. Give me a minute. Let's go peek. What did you forget? Is it a pen? Is it your favorite pen? Is it a cool pen? Does it light up? We walked to the train station and took a different route than usual. Our usual route was under construction, so we had to take a detour. As we walked down the dimly lit street, I thought I heard a noise and stop. Amasawa, is something wrong? Also, like... His sleeve, right? Oh, you can't even see it because of my camera. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> His sleeve gets me. Like, what is up with this? Like, he's got such a nice arm. Is he Connus? He's got a nice arm. He's got this bracelet. Then he has this leather bracelet. Like, they're both leather, but one's thick leather. Like, what is... Like... <sighs> You look like a normal guy, and then you look at his arm, and like, do you listen to rock metal? Like, what's up? I convinced myself that it was just my imagination, and I was about to start walking again, but at that moment, I heard another noise, louder than the last one. You heard a noise? Well, I didn't hear one. Okay, great. Can I hold your arm, please? The noise was impossible to miss. I wondered how Minato didn't hear it. Well, maybe ghosts can't hear other ghosts. We are not going to listen to the whole ghost story. Perhaps it was because the victims in Min Minato's story were all young women, but it made me extremely anxious. So you're the only one that heard it, Amasawa. He looked solemn, probably thinking the same thing as I was. Considering how it was just a story he made up, I wondered why he looked so nervous. I suppressed my fear and tried to ask him, then... I heard a mysterious voice from somewhere. I panicked and clutched Minato's arm with a vice grip, burying my face there. Amasawa, there's nothing to be afraid of. I slowly looked up. Minato pointed his chin towards the shadows. Look. Over there. As I followed his gaze, my eyes met with the gleaming ones of a stray cat. After discovering what scared me, I felt more embarrassed than ever. It was a cat after all. Sure are a lot of them around here. After all? My head snapped back to him. Minato looked completely nonchalant. I asked him if he heard it the whole time. Of course I heard it. Why wouldn't I? Have you forgotten what I said this afternoon? It turned out that Minato had made a fool out of me again. I scowled at him and reproachfully, but Minato didn't seem to care. I can't believe you actually believe that nonsense. You're so gullible. Senpai wa... Amasawa, hopefully this will teach you not to trust people so easily. So, anyway, how much longer are you planning on staying like that? I realized I was still clinging to him. I shoved him away in a rush. Just pushed him. Oh,やば。先輩、電車の時間大丈夫ですか? Crap, Amasawa, when will your train come? I checked the time on my phone. The final train would arrive in about 10 minutes. Alarmed, my entire body froze as I told him I'd forgotten how we'd taken a detour instead of our usual way back. Let's run. Is he going to take me by the hand, please? 
I nodded as we sprinted, but I couldn't keep up with him. He was a lot taller than me. He must have had a to catch his own train too, so I told him to go ahead without me. However, Minato slowed down and looked dissatisfied. Come on, hurry up, we're going. He took my hand and ran! Yay! I wasn't sure if my heart was racing because I was running or because his fingers were intertwined with mine. Oh, we didn't just hold hands, we like held hands. <gasps> but the warmth of his hand grasping mine chased the rest of my anxiety away. We didn't just hold hands, we held hands. Back to Denny's. A few days later, during our lunch break, <laughs> he already has me wrapped around his finger. Oh, man, I, it's not, we're not as intense as we were yesterday, so, but you know what? He's adorable and I like it. I like the cutie, cutie attitude he's got. It's been a while since our last team, our team got to work, so Saitomi suggested we should have a get together party. <laughs> But the problem is, Minato barely ever comes to parties like this, right? It was true, Minato only seemed to show up to gatherings if they were absolutely right. Last time he showed up, it was only because Yoshioka from Tempesty was attending. Oh, oh, we know. That's using me as favoritism. I would never. You two seem to get along pretty well lately. Why, Leah, you should ask him. Oh, don't say things like this. I bet it'll come if you ask, so could you do it? I agreed to handle his invitation, but even if I asked him, I doubt that he would say yes so easily. After receiving my mission from Oe to ask Minato to the party, I got started on my afternoon work, unsure of how I should ask him. Senpai, Masawa, can I have a moment? I need to bring some documents over here, but there's too many of them. Can you help me carry them? I was glad Minato asked for my help and quickly stood up to follow him. I think they're around here. Minato pulled out some files from the shelves and chucked them one, chucked, chucked them one by one as I said chucked. Please take these for me. Could you leave them on my desk? He handed me a couple files and I turned on my heels to drop them off, but then. Oh, I like, could it turn, could it turn back. Wait a sec. Minato's hand softly stroked my hair. He looked very calm, but I instinctively jumped back. It's just you had something in your hair. He was telling the truth. He held a small piece of cotton between his what did you think I was doing? Minato, I don't think you should be smiling about that. Like, what do you think I think you thought you were doing? Minato smirked faintly. He was amused by my reaction. In fact, my reaction only seemed to egg him on like a switch was flipped. I huffed and crossed my arms, but he looked so entertained after, as ever. So you Seriously, should stop reacting like that. It just makes me want to tease you even more. Minato pulled himself away from me. Then it occurred to me that it'd be the best time to ask him if he would attend the party. We built a French friendly relationship, so I hope he'd say yes. No, Mikoi? Yeah, we're doing a get together, and I was curious if you were coming get together, my hopes were dashed instantly. I'll pass. I usually don't go to stuff like that. I bit the inside of my lip, I assume. His refusal was so definite, so assertive, I knew it was hopeless. 
I tried to think of some way to persuade him when I heard Saitomi's cheerful voice. Ko-chan, koits to futari kiri jya nai kara sunete n daro. Aw, Ko, don't get all pouty because Amasawa is not asking you out on a date with just the two of you. Huh? Huh. Minato and I were equally flabbergasted when Saitomi's comment. <gasps> Saitomi continued indifferent to our reaction. Ma, ma, kimochi mo wakaru yo. Demo yappa koi no te, dan kai ga aru jan. Oh, calm down. I get it, I get it. Like these things come in phases, you know? Saishu wa minna de itte, so go te naka yoku na te kara, futari de itta honga ii to mo na. First we all go out together, then you two can go out alone. Atama dai jobu desu ka? Have you gone completely? いたって正常です。なんだよ、こうちゃん。てれんなって。No way! I think I'm the sanest one here. Saitomi soldiered on despite Minato's scathing remark. I was still puzzled and couldn't quite follow what was happening, but Saitomi grinned. まあでも、もし違うっていうなら、みんなで一緒に行ってもいいってことだよな。But if that's not the case, I guess you have no reason to not go with us, right? いや、それは。No, that's not. なんだ、やっぱ二人で行きたいのか。じゃあ俺らは邪魔しないから、ゆっくり楽しんでこいよ。Oh. So you do want to go alone with her, then go ahead. We won't interrupt you, have fun, you two. だから違いますって。I told you it's not like that. いいから、いいから。みんなには俺から言っといてやるからさ。<笑> oh, don't be shy. I'll tell the others for you. The more obvious he got, I finally understood that Saitomi was going with this. He was making up a fake story to convince Minato to come with us to the party. <sighs> Minato sighed after a long pause as if he had thrown in the towel. Okay, I'll go. So cut out with the rumors, okay? Sasuga k o c h a n Hanashi ga hayakute t a s k a r u wa! That's my boy Ko. I'm glad you catch on so quick. Power, power abuse. Oh man, Ray, is that power abuse? Are you still here? Oh, I'm just a little bit of 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 a When Minato and I walked into Evergreen after work, Saitomi and Oi were already there. Good to see you too. Is the director here yet? <laughs> God. Saitomi is fun and tolerable in other routes, but his. Yeah, in his, they made him mean suddenly. I don't. Like, he doesn't do that in any other route. Like, he can be mean, but, like, he just goes from, like, hot to cold so fast in his own route, where I'm like, what just happened? We were having a good time. He's like, haha, you're so cute. And he's like, I don't want to work with her. That he had an urgent meeting and can't make it today. Man, Koba sure is one unlucky guy, huh? He'll be with us in spirit, so let's just have fun today. Saitomi offered me a sea across from where Minato was sitting. After most of the drinks and food were served, we made a toast. Kochan, salad to have it. French to have food, no dressing, got a kiddo. Don't you eat? Ko wants some salad. We've got French. For Japanese dressing, but which one do you want? I'm fine with either. Either way, come on, which do you prefer? I don't need to do it. No, 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 Fine with either one. If anything, you don't even have to put dressing on mine. Ooh, ah, 
You're seriously gonna eat grass without dressing? What are you, a goat? Don't call it grass. I'm just going to eat it, so please leave me alone. I laughed as they're at their banter, then asked Minato if he was fine with the Japanese dressing since I grabbed that one. Sure. Okay. So you can answer Amasawa's question, but not mine. Just answered it because it, I was asked. It's not because Amasawa was the one who asked me. Saitomi so was getting a real kick out of teasing Minato, but the conversation took an increasingly strange direction. But I've seen you two talking alone lately. Don't make it weird. We're just talking about work. Besides, Amasawa is so gullible. I feel like I can't leave her alone. Can't leave her alone, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Cut it out. I meant it as a work partner. My brows raised. I didn't know he thought of me that way. <gasps> We're work partners. Saitomi, however, was not impressed with Minato's curt response, and so he pushed him further. That's so? Okay, then what's your type, Ko? Huh? What? Only kids ask questions like that. Why are you even asking me? I like guys with long hair. I want to know your type, Minato. You do too, right, Leo? Oi was as bubbly as ever, probably fueled even more by the drink in her hand. Now that it was about brought up, I was curious as, as the two of them, so I nodded. Amasawa, not you two. Does my type really matter that <laughs> matter to you all? Man, you're so cold, dude. Wait, do you try to hook people by being the strong, silent type? This is so stupid, you're overthinking it. Suddenly, Minato's phone vibrated. Excuse me. I wondered if he got an urgent ring message. His face turned grim as his eyes darted across the screen. Then he pushed his chair back and left some cash on the table. Sorry, I have to go home. Tell me later if this isn't enough. Oh, oi! Wait! Minato left before he we could stop him. Without a second thought, I ran out to chase him down. Like, bro. Nani. What? He stopped when I caught up, but he was the de <laughs> dictionary definition of brooding. and I asked if something was wrong. No, I'm fine. I'm in a hurry. So if that's all, I'm going to go. Good night. With that, Minato hastily walked away. The whole thing left me disappointed, but I retreated to the warmth of the bar. Once we were finished, Saitomi, Oi, and I walked home together from Evergreen. Wow, that was very fun. We should do this again sometime. Definitely. I hope Ko can stay till the end next time. But I guess it'll take time to make friends with that guy. Speaking of Minato, I remember him getting a message before he left. What do you think that was all about? What if it was from his girlfriend? 
。あいつが彼女にデレデレしてる姿とか、俺は全く想像できないですけど。あら珍しいわね。私も同意見よ。I'm surprised. I agree with you for once. But, like, what if he likes somebody, right? And so he treats them different than everybody else? You know, like, my jerk. <laughs> I couldn't get on board with that. I told him that Minato was blunt but kind, and he acted, actually had a sense of humor when he teased me. Taking that into account, I said I wouldn't be surprised if he had a girlfriend. So Tomi grinned and waggled his eyebrows as he stepped closer. Hey, you have a nice place to be. Oh, so he's soft for you after all, is he? That's why you're so soft for you after all. So things with you two are like, you know, going well. We were on good terms, but I denied having that kind of relationship, he was thinking. はいはい、そういうことにしといてやるよ。Yeah, yeah, if you insist. When I pushed back, Saitomi didn't pursue the question further. でも、彼女うんぬを抜きにしても、ミナトくんのプライベートってよくわからないわよね。仕事は早いけど、仕事が大好きってわけでもなさそうだし。He's very efficient at work, but he doesn't seem to like What he does. あとあいつ残業嫌がりますよね。別にそれ自体は何の問題もないけど。Plus, he hates working overtime. Not that that's anything wrong with that. 仕事後に何かやってんのかなジム行ってるとか。それか副業 ?So nosy. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm just as nosy. I ask questions. Maybe he's doing something after work, like going to the gym or a second job or back to work as a spy or taking care of his sisters because his mom and dad are gone. Hmm. I guess that's possible, but. We bounced around theories on the, the rest of our walk. Look at us, we're so nosy as a team. We're like, high five, this is team building, let's, let's theorize. Then, one, on the weekend, I was out shopping to get some fresh air. It had been a while since I went out alone. When I looked for a cafe to rest, I saw someone familiar from the corner of my eye. Minato walked away without noticing me. Not too, so bad when you have a small team, it's close knit. It's true, it's true. I thought about approaching him, but I figured he might not want to talk with a colleague on his day off. But just as I was about to go my separate way, I noticed something on the ground. I crouched down to pick it up. It was a card case. Given that no one was around, I was certain that Minato was the one who dropped it. I hurried after Minato with the card case in hand. Is he going to be our Lucas? Oh god. So suspicious. I opened my mouth to call out, but quickly shut it as he carefully walked down an alley. He was hiding in the shadows and craned his neck around the corner. It was almost as if he were watching someone. Maybe I misunderstood the situation, but I was hesitant to speak up. I ended up following him for quite some time without attracting his attention. I'm following him following someone else. Through that, I deducted that he was tra tracking a man and a woman who appeared to be on a date. I was curious who they were, but it was probably wasn't wise to dig into it. I thought it was best to leave the message, leave a message him on ring and tell him I found his card case while we could arrange a place to meet. But I didn't want to fess up to following him, so my fingers hovered over my phone as I figured out what to say. I settled on sending a brief message about meeting up at the station. To my surprise, he answered quickly. Huh? I don't get what brought this on. Are you actually nearby? He was understandably confused. I was so absorbed in our chat that the world around me blurred away. As I continued walking, I tumbled over some steps that I was 
blind to. She admits she's blind. <laughs> my vision swayed and I plummeted to the concrete with a yelp. Blood spilled from my knees, my ankle throbbed, and I was afraid I'd sprained it. I was mortified with myself and slowly looked up. Senpai? Amasawa. Minato noticed me from down the street and ran over. He probably heard me fall. What are you doing here of all places? It's my day off, Minato. I'm a real girl. I explained how I fell, but I left out the part about following him. Minato's eyes widened. So you fell down when you were looking for me? You're so clumsy. Also, this is a different outfit that I've ever seen him wear. He crouched down in front of me. Still, thank you. He held out his hand to me. I took it and tried to pull myself up, but a sharp pain shot through my ankle. I stopped. It hurt? How about here? Minato's fingertips gently touched my ankle as though he was examining me. It's collarbone, how scandalous. Oh my gosh. It's true. Like, what is this? He quickly pulled his hand away when I grunted in pain. Sorry, that must have hurt. I think he might have you've sprained your ankle. Let's just go get a bandage and put it on the right way. <gasps> We're now here. Minato bent his knees in front of me with his back turned. Like, who wrote this? Who wrote this? They know K-drama, like the back of their hands. Carry, carry. My head tilted and I asked what he was doing. I was waiting for this. What? Senpai. What are you? You mean you've never had a piggyback ride before? He made a small high pitched squeak at the suggestion. When I tried to decline his offer, he <laughs> wouldn't hear of it. We're about to cry out in pain when you try to stand up. Is this really the time to be stubborn? If you push yourself too hard, it's only it'll only get worse. Just hurry up and get on my back. I remained on the ground and I groaned about there. I groaned about there being another way. Stop whining or what? Do you want to stay here forever? There was no point in continuing to refuse. I trust trusted him and climbed onto his back. Oh, there's one way to hide her face. Hidden in embarrassment. <gasps> Look at all the other girls with no eyes. She's just a normal girl in this world. Always the weirdo. <gasps> oh my god. Gotta focus on work. Have fun. You too, Ray. I hope you have a good day at work. Keep taking care of them humans. When I thought about it, I realized just how intimate, <laughs> intimate a back, like he back could be. My body pressed against his back, and his hands wrapped firmly around my thighs. My heart raised. I will literally fall asleep on him. It sounds like a good idea. Put your arms around me, or else you'll fall off. He did this in good faith, so I felt ashamed for imagining it romantically. Is he gonna carry you all the way home? The longer we walk, the more the number of people around us gradually increase. Seeing a full grown adult being given a piggyback ride caught everyone's attention and their gazes seared into me. When the embarrassment became too much to bear, I wiggled to get off, but Minato spoke up firmly. <laughs> Don't move, it's dangerous. True, as it that was, I knew the two of us looked bizarre like this. Plus, he was putting himself out there more than I was. I asked if he was embarrassed. Not really, if it bothers you that much, why don't you just keep your face? 
多少マシになると思いますよ。When I peeked up, his cheeks were burning red, so I wasn't alone. I t h i n k there's a park nearby. We'll stop there for now. I think there's a park nearby. We'll stop there for now. All of this was my fault. All he wa- If he wanted, he could have let me figure this out on my own. Even so, he went through all this trouble to help me. He unwarrant- his unwarranted kindness made me smile. ちょっとここで待っててください足。Here, run your leg this way. He pulled a bandage out of the bag and kneeled down in front of me. Hold still. <gasps> Does he know how to bandage a leg right? There are some magic people out there that can bandage a sprain and you don't even realize it hurts anymore. It's crazy. Before I could say anything, Minato began treating my injury. I was soon impressed with how experienced he seemed to be and com- commented on it. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. 弟や妹がしょっちゅう怪我するから慣れてるだけで病院行った方がいいかもしれないですね。So if he's like a spy that like does research to see if like the person is cheating, maybe like is he actually working in a stereo to find out if someone is in a relationship? But then who? If your ankle still hurts, I suggest that you go to the doctor. Thanks to Minato's careful treatment, I felt like the pain in my ankle had ebbed away a little bit. I bowed my head. I apologized for bothering him and thanked him for taking care of me. I'm not sure. 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 I gesture, filled me, the gesture filled me with gratitude as well as he fell silent. I remembered how him following the unfamiliar couple. When I asked him what he was doing today, Minato looked away uncomfortably. Oh, shopping. The answer was shopping. He just had to say shopping. I was shopping. It's not important. Don't worry about it. His odd reaction made me more curious, but I didn't want to push him. Just say shopping, my guy. We waited for quite a while without much conversation then. When the pain in my ankle subsided, we headed home. Together? Did you take him home with you? The next day, Minato greeted me the moment I arrived at the office. Oh, hi, Oh, I'm sorry. Good morning, how's your injury? I told him that I was feeling a lot better. Silently, I was tickled with delight that he cared enough to check in. Like, oh my god, senpai. I'm senpai, but like, he noticed me. So, this guy. Then, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. Good to hear, but don't push yourself too hard, alright? You don't want, to get, want it getting worse than it already is. That's your talk. I'm going to be able to do it. If you have to do anything physically, leave it to me. After that, every time I rolled back my chair, Minato asked what I needed, which of course caught Oe's attention. I need a full report on this. The moment our lunch break began, she dragged me to the lounge. I just picture her pulling her rolling chair the way there, all the way there. She's like, come on!
look took told her what happened yesterday, Oe blinked her widened eyes in astonishment. What a turn of event. Happy to hear that Minato treated your injury and how he takes care of his siblings. But... He was stalking someone, huh? He's definitely hiding something. Honestly, I couldn't shake the feeling that I exaggerated it in my imagination. But a sense of uneasiness spread through my chest. Question dot 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 dot. Maybe it was something to do with work trying to spot a shady backroom deal or something. Why is this our business? That is a wonderful question, Asia. And the answer is it's not our business. In fact, I felt like that should have been something she maybe should have told Oe at all. Stalking? That's a good point. What if he does have a girlfriend? Or maybe... No, he wasn't stalking some girl. Maybe he was checking if his girlfriend was cheating on him. I involuntarily recoiled at the mention of a girlfriend. She's like, oh, I want to date him. Don't do that. I thought back to the message he got at the party and wondered if it had anything to do with the sender. If so, it was possible that Oe's deduction wasn't far off. I miss what you just said. My mom literally called me. Uh, I basically said, maybe. You're right. You're right. It's none of our business. But why did she tell her that anyways? I assume Oe doesn't get much action, if so she's always wants to live by M live by MCs, right? She talks about her boyfriend all the time, but they never shown her boyfriend. Honestly, it would have been cute if they made her boyfriend be the green-haired guy. Like, he stayed with the company. They could have been dating. This gloomy expression from that night was burned into my memory, too. It's oh. It looked like he had a lot on his mind and was it was troubling him. I didn't know what it was, but I said he was clearly keeping secrets that he couldn't share with anybody else. So, yeah. You shouldn't do anything. Just to be clear, unless he tells us what's going on, we can't do anything. まあ、でも、like what he's doing, literally none of our business. Just me personally. I just hate that. Yeah, it's if he wants you to know, he can tell you. If he doesn't want you to know. But I also said that when they were like chatting about each other, theorizing why he left early. I'm like, you need to theorize. Maybe it's best to keep an eye on him, Leah. Look out for him. If it seems like he's wrestling with something, you can be the one to help him. I nodded. I told her I'd do my best to keep my eyes pilled and support Minato. Is that why she doesn't have eyes? She's peeled them off? My, you're getting into it. Don't want you going over to overdo it, but I guess you might have to give him a little push to overdo it. Up to you. you can do it, Leah. I nodded and smiled at Oe, then left the lounge. Spin off. What the hell am I doing? After I left the injured Amasawa on a bench at the park, I was filled with self-loathing as I entered the convenience. It wasn't like she got into an accident or something, I could have just left her alone. 
またあの人の機嫌が悪くなる。あんなことをしているときに、先輩の顔を見たから、罪悪感でも湧いたのかもしれない。この程度のこと、もうとっくに何とも思わなくなっていたのに。I thought I had forgotten how to feel guilty about small things like this. I lifted my palm in front of my face only minutes ago as holding her. I still feel the sensation of her warm skin. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not g o i n a t I do for my sister when. <gasps> don't say sister! Don't call me your sister! I don't want that! You don't want that! Neither one of us want that! あの人は柔らかくて甘い匂いがして嫌でも異性を意識させられる。So nice. right, right. well、もう一連絡なら後ですればいい。今は早く、先輩のところに戻ろう。<gasps> so、this is when he went to go get the bandages. I can call him back later. Right now, I need to go back to Amasawa. I let the call go to voicemail and shut off my phone, and I felt a little lighter. Ooh. He likes us. He likes us. He likes us. Episode three. A few days later, I had an urgent meeting earlier that day, so I had to work overtime in order to finish my other task. I stretched out and looked around. To my surprise, Minato was still there. まだ帰らないんですか They're not leaving yet. Minato met my eyes after he finished typing something. I shook my head and told him how much work I had left to do. ならおでも手伝います。データ共有してください。Then I'll help you. Please share the data with me. No, go home. Go be with your family. We divided up the day's work in the morning already, so I felt reluctant to give him any additional work. I wanted to thank him for his offer, but declined. Declined it instead as I spoke up. I started to stare at the ground, but before I could finish, I felt a gentle tap on my forehead. He's like, Don't be like that. That's why I'm here for. If you were my position, would you leave without me, Amasawa? When I said no, Minato smiled back at me. That's all. I'm going to be able to do it. I knew you'd say that, so that means I'm allowed to stay here and help, right? Without waiting for me to respond, he swiveled in his chair back to his monitor. I thanked him again and returned my focus to my work. We finished everything in about an hour. I gathered my things to go home. Elevator もう来ますよ The elevator's coming. Minato was lingering by the entrance for me. Knowing that he waited made my heart flutter with joy. I stepped into the elevator with him when his ring message pinged his phone. Minato's mouth pressed into a thin line as he pulled out his phone. He made the same face when he got a message at the get together party. I wonder who in the world could, be, could make Minato look so grim. Worried, I gently tugged on his. Senpai? Yes. The moment I tried to speak to him. Stomach practically roared. The only sound she makes is tummy growls. I assume Minato heard it too when the corner of his mouth began twitching. <laughs> I was surprised when you grabbed my sleeve, but. <sighs> He 
He's inviting us. We can go together. If you're that hungry, why don't we grab dinner together? Oh my god. I'm swooning. I know. I'm in love with this kid. What the heck? I was so embarrassed. I thought my face could catch fire, but I was happy Minato laughed after looking so depressed. I nodded at him with a smile. Yes, let's eat dinner. Evergreen. Denny's. Oh. Wait, this is the fancy restaurant we went to with the prince. Since there weren't many restaurants open, we visited a Japanese pub in front of the station. <gasps> We're off tomorrow, so how about a drink? Minato! Oh my god, okay, let's drink. As Minato suggested, we ordered drinks to go with our appetizers. I will drink with you anytime. I'll drink with you if I have work tomorrow. Cheers. We cleaned our glasses together when our drinks arrived. Even though we walked home together frequently, this was the first time we had dinner alone like this. The drink tasted better than usual. Maybe it was because we finished our mountain of work or possibly due to Minato's presence. Who could say? When our appetizers came, I noticed several of my favorites were among them. Since Minato chose what to order, I raised an eyebrow at him in surprise. Mm. What? Could have been a coincidence, but I asked if he knowingly ordered my favorite. Oh. I just remember you saying those were your favorites, Amasawa. You know who remembers stuff? Spies. <laughs> That's why it's great to date a spy. They remember things. Like your birthday. Ever date someone who remembers their birthday? might be a spy. We only talked about food once before on one of our walks to the station. The fact that he remembered was enough to make me meme. Could you stop grinning? Besides, I just ordered the classics. Don't make a thing out of it. Minato picked up the menu again, holding it up in front of his face to hide. Anything else you want? Meat, fish, anything's okay with me. <gasps> I went ahead and ordered, but it was clear that Minato had been prioritizing my preference, so I called him on it. Well, it wasn't my stomach that rumbled so loudly. <gasps> so he won't let that go. My ears warmed. Hoping to change the subject, I asked if there was anything he wanted to order. Order? Me, no, I'm okay. I don't have taste buds anyway. Even though he kept scanning the menu, there didn't seem to be anything in particular that Minato wanted. He'd been just as easy going at the get together party, too. I asked Minato if he didn't care that much about food. I'm not uninterested, but maybe I just have a bad habit of saying anything's fine. Is he a middle child? He's <laughs> a middle child. He's an older child, I guess that's fair too. I usually prioritize my younger sibling's preferences, so I rarely choose what I want. He mentioned taking care of his younger siblings when I sprained my ankle too. Perhaps he stopped thinking about himself as he looked up after his family. He must have had preferences, but eventually gave up on expressing them to others. That made me frown a little, and I didn't know how to reply. Seeing my distress, Minato replied with a weary smile. What's with that weary face? This isn't a serious topic. Yeah, but I'm eating bread, right? And this is my favorite snack, so, like, this is serious. was too big. I just want others to eat what they want to eat, that's all. That alone confirmed how kind-hearted he was. Sorry, that kind of sounds weird to say. It's not like you care about any of that. I responded, You're right, I don't. I don't care. Wow, what a rude sentence. I 
知りたい何を You want to know more about me? Minato looked puzzled with, an earnest, with my earnest reply. I liked hearing Minato talk about himself and I wanted to hear more. So I was, but I was too embarrassed to set, say that directly to him, so I ended up deflecting and I quickly mentioned Saitomi's curiosity. Ah? Saotome san ga ore no koto o shiri ta gatte da. Saitomi wants to know more about me. Ano hito ni shirarete ii jouho wa nani hito tsu nai desu. So t s t a i t e te kudasai. Oh man, she like, she, she caved so fast. There's nothing I have to tell him. Please tell him I said so. I should have expected him to say something like that. I felt guilty using Saitomi as an excuse to get to know Minato better, but I was in too deep, so I mentioned Oe too. Yeah, Oe san mo te yore demo. Wait, so now Oe wants to know more about me too? Ja, gyakuni kiki mas kedo. Minna ittai, ore no nani o sonna ni shiri ta gatte ren desu ka? Okay, now it's my turn to ask you something. Why do these two want to know so much about me? I told them it wasn't just them, there was so much that I wanted to know about him too. I wanted to know his favorite foods, his hobbies, the list went on and on. We're always just nosy as hell, that's true. Be like, dude, we just. She has like a database, right? She's trying to get all the information blood type, shoe size. After saying it out loud, I realized that I had done what I had done and shut my mouth. Oh, so it's everyone who wants to know more about me. Minato leaned forward and emphasized his words. He probably saw right through me, but I told him we were curious as co workers. He sat back as he listened and smiled knowingly. Alright. 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 Out of nothing but respect for my colleagues, I guess I can tell you a little about myself, Amasawa. But before that, let me give you a quick piece of advice. I tilted my head in confusion, suddenly feeling nervous. Don't beat around the bush like that. You're a terrible liar. <gasps> he knew it was all a facade. I apologize, but he shrugged his shoulders. It's fine. I don't mind. I just think you have strange tastes if you're interested in learning more about me. And what was it you wanted to know? My favorite food? If he saw me not, he began to speak. <gasps> If I have to choose, then maybe omo rice. That's my sister's favorite Japanese food. She has been so sad because she could never find it as good as when we were like in Asia. She went to Japan and Korea and got it in both places and she misses it so much. I smiled at his unexpected, simple answer. Minato picked up on it quickly. You must think that's pretty childish, right? Nah, man, it's got meat in it. There's rice. It's great. I shook my head frantically, but Minato continued on. Shumi. Ma, shosetsu wa tamani yomimasu. Mystery toka. As for my hobbies, I like reading novels, mysteries, and the like. Yasumi no hi? Sore koso hon yondari, ototo tachi to asondari. As for my days off, I read books or play with my siblings or dot 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 spy. Te yu ka, ore dake hanashite no. Why am I the only one talking? That's not fair. I was listening with keen interest until Minato finally complained. I made a fair point. Alright, it's my turn, Amasawa. You gotta answer all the questions I did. My favorite food is chicken and bread, which is why raising canes is a great choice for me.、Uh, my hobbies, I like to play video games. Um, I also like reading books, which is also why I like playing Atomi games, because it's like reading a book.、Um, I also like reading manga and actual books. Wrong direction, throw over there. The real books are on that side. There's the old books on this side.、Um, anime, I like watching anime. Kind of goes with the, reading the mangas.、Uh, do 
what else do I like? Um, I like to make things. Uh, I haven't made anything recently, but I have a sewing machine and sometimes I will work on projects. I do make not good cosplays, um, but I do them anyways, because I like to. Um, I collect dolls. I have so many dolls. Um, and that was the last question. Uh, uh, on my days off, I play video games. That's really mostly what I do. I sometimes go out, I sometimes go to concerts if I can. All right, let's see. For Asia, anime, manga, video games, fashion, sweets, art, and sleep. That's so true, that's so true. Sleeping is my passion. I agreed to do it. Happy that he was interested in learning more about me too. He's still interested after everything. After a while, when we had finished most of our drinks, a voice boomed across the room. Thanks for waiting. We ordered a couple more dishes minutes before, and they placed them on the table. Okay, let's dig in. Woo! I reached for the food with my chopsticks. The delicious food melted in my mouth, and I burst into a grin. Minato's eyes were trained on me. Ooh, I also got a sewing machine, but I haven't touched it at all. I always, so like, I actually, oh, fun fact, I just went thrifting on Tuesday, that was the day where I ended up not streaming because I, I was, we went out shopping and then I came home and then I got a call from work and they were like, hey, can you come in? And then I didn't stream because I went to work right afterwards. But we went thrifting and I found, it's a moo moo. That's the easiest way to describe it. A moo moo. I like to sleep in moo moos, but I have one that's three times too big. This is how you know that I'm lazy. Um, I've had it for over like two years now and I keep telling myself I'm going to fix it and I never do. Whenever I get a job, I'm going to try and find some time for maybe learning sewing and drawing. I told myself I would draw every day to get my drawing back up. I used to be an okay artist. I'm not going to say I was good. I was an okay artist, but now I can't even draw like I used to because I haven't drawn in so long. Like, my muscle memory is gone. But I want, I wanted to make projects every month or so. But I am going to be making a blanket for Christmas for my friend because I got a Mortal Kombat fabric, so I'm going to make a border and turn it into a blanket for her. That's my only project I have right now. I was thinking of doing has -Been Hotel because there's an anime convention coming up soon. Um, and I volunteer for it and I was going to try and make our little booth look like has -Been Hotel. I thought it'd be funny. I thought it'd be funny. I wanted to do it for the lols. When I looked up, we immediately made eye contact, but those were going to be lazy cosplays, to be clear. I was going to try and find a red suit and maybe be Charlie or a red dress and just put a heart on it and try to be Charlie. It's nothing, just we're eating with a huge smile on your face. <laughs> now I need to draw so I don't want to forget how to draw. You should draw and post it in the Discord, and then I will start posting my art on the Discord. It's not good, but I'll do it. I have a whole story. We talked about this, Asia. You and I both have stories we're creating. I draw my characters from my stories, but obviously I don't write my stories because I suck at it. <laughs> I have a story called Midnight's Carnival. Midnight is a person. I draw Midnight. Is it really that good? Yeah. Then give me a bite. <gasps> Are we gonna feed him? We're gonna feed him. I wasn't sure why he phrased it that way instead of just asking when I started putting some food on his plate. I'd prefer it directly. Minato's eyes darted to the chopsticks in my hand as if urging me. Although he didn't look it, I asked him if he was a little drunk. <laughs> I've been drinking this whole time. I guess I am. Come on, hurry up. I couldn't say no to him. And in a moment of weakness, I held the chopsticks to his mouth. Oh, no, she's wearing... This is the next CG. Um, She's feeding him food because she he asked her to. Yeah, that's a that's a look, man. 
Minato ate the food from me without any hesitation. I asked him if he was drunk earlier, but I guess I was a little drunk too. Somehow, he was cute when he ate. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh my stars. With that, Minato licked the sauce off the edge of his mouth. But I quickly looked away when I realized I was staring at his lips. Senpai? Masawa, is there something wrong? Actually, Blue Eyes, you might have missed this. Um, everybody doesn't have eyes in this game. Were you here during that? We just found out she's not the only one. Look, nobody has eyes. That's why they don't look at her like she's weird. This is how girls look like in this world. <laughs> Always the weirdo. <laughs> That's why. Masawa, is something wrong? <laughs> right? Stop looking at me like that. Look at that, man. Like, he's hungry. I denied it so quickly that Minato tilted his head teasingly. I was relieved when he didn't push the matter further than Okay, give me the last one. I didn't expect to do it again. Heat rushed to my face. Uh, uh, oh, come on. Show the awe face. Give me the awe. Minato opened his mouth expectantly so he clearly wasn't joking. When I held out the food, he ate it without missing a beat. My heart, that's enough, thanks. Only when they're cute. I mean, it seems to be a consistent for her. So far, he's my favorite. Yeah, he's, he's the Kinji. He's definitely got Kinji vibes pulling it all out he's all like i hate her but then like five seconds later he's like i can't be mean to her though maybe i shouldn't ask this but amasawa do you usually do anything people ask you i bet most people would refuse to feed someone from their chopsticks at our age <gasps> please don't let me down minato it's true he's got a chance so we're only on chapter three right now Minato was the one who urged me to do it, so I didn't like how he teased me for agreeing to do it. We were both drunk, but I wondered if he always ha behaved this way when he was under the influence. Then again, he teased me often, even when alcohol wasn't involved. Did that mean he acted this way with just anyone? I squinted at him. Why are you glaring at me? <gasps> Proceeded to carefully and casually ask if you treated everyone like this, to which he laughed. I, of course not. I only do this with the right person. <gasps> that mean he was teasing me on purpose? My cheeks flamed when <laughs> even more as I wondered what this all meant. Hora, what does that mean? Whoa, what's the right person? Wait, explain. I need you to tell me. See, that's what I'm talking about. Don't you remember what I said? You make me want to tease you. <gasps> I would only do something like this with you, Amasawa. I desperately tried to glean whether there was hidden meaning behind that, but I was too tipsy to get my thoughts straight. Say so he's cute. Come on. You called the prince cute after meeting him for one second. I couldn't remember how long we'd been there. Perhaps it was because I drank too much, but my head felt very fuzzy. But not in a bad way. It was like my entire body was soaked in a pleasant warm bath. Senpai, Masawa, are you alright? Your face is very red. Here, have some water. Thank you. I accepted a glass of water from him and took a small sip. When I studied Minato, he looked completely sober. How frustrating. As soon as you finish with that water, let's go home. I'll pay the bill now. I grabbed Minato by the sleeve when he tried to stand up. Huh? He surprised sparked satisfaction in me and I slightly teased him more. Yeah, whatever. Just let me go. No. 
話さないなら引きずって帰りますよ Hungry for dessert? Are you the dessert? Puzzled for where that came from, my bow furled. Then my eyes widened and I, s I s supposed that I was. I wondered what would happen if I kept going. As I let my hand wander about the possibilities, I suddenly remembered that Oe said the other day. <laughs> Smooth, I don't know. What? Is it? Oh, yeah. Stop. Does he have a girlfriend? Hello, everyone. Hi, Jay. When I bluntly asked him if he had a girlfriend, I knew the drinks had washed away all of my sub subtlety. Minutes of bleak. No, I don't. If I did, I wouldn't be here drinking alone with you, Amasawa. <gasps> he admits it. I should have stopped there, but I had too much alcohol. Her <laughs> liquid courage to catch myself. So I just asked. I asked about the message he received during the get together party and the people he followed the other day. <laughs> What? I regretted asking him the moment his face turned somber. He looked away, seemingly searching for the right words. <laughs> That's right as he was about to answer me, I passed out. <laughs> oh no. Different. A loud blessing blared in between us, and I jerked back in surprise. <laughs> Saitomi is only destined to be a good support and not a male lead. He was always meant to be a, a side character. It was Minato's phone. I answered. Minato frowned when he checked the screen. Sorry, I'll be back in a minute. I could only watch as he got off stiffly and walked off with a bleak expression. <gasps> oh. But he admits it. He admits Bye. that he's single. He admits that he wouldn't be out drinking with me if he wasn't. What does that mean? Hmm? Finally, where the hell were you? I'm sorry, I'm out now. I'll call you back later. Huh? So, you know, you're not going to be able to do it. The hell you will? Were you ignoring my messages? The call was from Doey, Dewey, Doey, a person I knew from college. Who is this bitch, Minato? This guy is scary. This guy is scary. Happens when this guy calls me. Dewey began to ramble endlessly without listening to what I had said. He sounds like a bully, he acts like a bully. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Hey, listen, I got a promotion again. Guess this is all thanks to you, Minato. So, this is all. So, that's all. That's all. Is that so? That's wonderful news. But one thing I didn't know about you is that you were a bully. What's that? But there's, but you know, there's one thing I dislike about this. Can you guess what it is? So, I don't know. I have no idea. Well, I already want to fight him. Come on. You're always so coolest. Didn't I tell you about that one colleague that pisses me off? For some reason, that asshole got promoted with me. Strange, right? Nah, Minato. 
ここまで言ってもなんでかわかんねえか。m i n u t o do you know why I'm telling you this? それは。お前がしくじったからだよ、この役立たず。不倫相手とホテル入る瞬間の写真撮ってこいっつっただろうが。Because you screwed up, you piece of shit. I told you to take a photo of him and his mistress going to a hotel together. His shout was so piercing that I nearly dropped my phone. 機嫌が悪いな。めんどくさい。適当に謝ってやり過ごすしかないか。He's in a terrible mood. What a pain. I'll just say sorry and let it slide. Right, I'm sorry. No, Shogun, I can't. Tama Tama, the Shiriyanga King, I'm about to put my foot up his ass. Oh, God. Don't worry about it. You just happen to come across a poor injured girl, right? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. 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 Look at you, you're so kind. Of course, you had to help her. だからこの話はもう終わりだ。俺は優しいからな。So、I'll just let it go this time. See, I'm just as, if not kinder than you. よく言う。自分から話を蒸し返してきたくせに。Speak for yourself, you're the one who brought it back up. I was disgusted with Dewey's nasty manners again. I just wanted him to get to the point quickly, so I urged him. So, what do you want? Oh, my son. Nanka, I can't support the night. Jibun no tachiba wa katter. Dude, you've been slacking off lately. You know that, right? I mean, do you even know the position you're in? Tanonda koto a manzok ni dekinoishi. Mottekuru jo homo shoboi sa. Gonna be thirsty for Minato and cuss doi out. A lot during this route. Well, we're not sure Minato is all that、uh, good natured, you know. You're barely skating by, and the information you bring me borders on useless. <sighs> I don't need the source code of a dead app. Bring me something I can actually use. That's not something I can do right away. Huh? I think you're in the position to say no. Mukashi Komatu Romayo Tasketi at Tanoa Dareka. Have you forgotten who helped you when you were in trouble? Toshkani, Doisan, you are conscious to us. Kedo. No, and I really do appreciate what you did for me, Doi, but. Kedo Jane, Kuchigota Suna. I don't need buts, I need results. I mean, they can be one and the same. I hope Saitomi attacks Doi. Ma, but. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. If my colleagues found out that I've been doing, I'd be fired in an instant. Actually, that would be. Probably the best case scenario, they could sue me for what I've done. Oh, my son, Mada Shaki no cotton, t h o u still got some debts, don't you? Umaka it that a mata cosca yario. Cane hoscune, no? You do a good job. Next time I'll give you some pocket money. You need it, right? I just want everyone to jump him. <laughs> of course, I did. I'd be lying if I denied it. But at the moment, I wanted to get off the phone call more than anything else. Okay, I understand. Mono Wakari ga yok te taskaru wa. Jana, mata l e n l a k s u r Glad you're so perceptive. Bye then, I'll call you later. I didn't feel like returning to Amasawa after I got off the phone, so I just stood there for a while. You can't leave her in a bar by herself, can you? <laughs> 先輩、起きてください。アマサワ、wake up。Somebody shook my arm. I slowly blinked my eyes open. Minato stood before me. こんなところで寝てたら、風邪ひきますよ。You'll catch a cold if you sleep there. <笑> I jolted upright, shocked that I'd fallen asleep. 遅くなってすみません。Sorry to have kept you waiting. Minato was acting normal, but the heaviness in his shoulders suggested otherwise. I asked if he was doing all right. Daijoubu, the Nanigo desca. Dada, she did a demo stick to the Gedesio. 
Yeah, but you had to leave the room for the phone call. That's suspicious. Am I okay? Why are you asking that? I was just talking to somebody I know, nothing more. His voice said one thing, but the distant look in his eyes said another. It was clear he didn't want to talk about whatever was bothering him. It's been late. Minuto. It's getting late, let's go home. I was still concerned about him, but I nodded and left the pub together. Walked back to the station side by side. The cool night's breeze was blissful, and even more so after being in a warm pub and pounding down drinks. Minato's jaw was clenched. I wondered if it was because of the question I asked him, the phone call, or both. Neither of us said anything. We walked in total silence. Oh no. Good night then. When Minato was about to walk away, I stopped him. I had a great time tonight. Goodbye now. Can't you trust me? I'll see you at work next week. Let's try that. Didn't work, didn't work. You can't use that one. I was desperate to dissipate the gloominess that my words came out too loud. Remember, there's a lot of guesswork here. <laughs> can't you trust me? Okay, it went up that time. <laughs> what are you talking about all of a sudden? I don't follow. Minato's strange behavior was perfectly plain to see. I told him that if something was bothering him, I wanted to help. That's none of your business. Minato looked away as if that could put up a wall but to block any more questions. I asked if he wouldn't open up to me. I at least wanted to get him to drink something. Whether or not I could help with what was troubling him, maybe I could clear his mind. But... Sorry, I think we should hold off on that for a while. I wasn't expecting that and I asked him why. Because the call I got earlier, that was my side job. I've been busy with that lately, so I don't think I'll have time to go out for a while. <gasps> that reminded me of what Saitomi said the other day. That was the case. I didn't want to disrupt his work, so I said I understood. Alright, good night then. I said good night to him and passed through the ticket gate. And then I cried when I got home because I felt rejected. I returned home and got ready for bed then. I sank into my bed and thought about the night's events absent mindedly. Minato said that the call was from his side job, but I had doubts about that. I couldn't shake the feeling that he was still hiding something. Of course, it was none of my business, and I had no right to stop him from doing whatever he was doing. More importantly, I didn't want to ruin my relationship with Minato by sticking my nose into it. But I hated that I wanted him to want whatever he was doing seemed to make him so unhappy. I wondered if I could do anything. I drifted off to sleep before I could come up with an answer. following Monday after I had drinks with Minato. When I arrived at work, I thanked Minato again for dinner on Friday. 
Then Saitomi appeared out of nowhere like a genie. Nani nani, kinyo ni nanka atta no? What? What did I miss something on Friday? Betsuni, zangyo wari ni chotto nonda dake desu yo. No, we just had a quick drink after work that made us almost miss our last dream. Ha? Nani sore kiete nen dake do? Nande ore no koto sasotte kure nakatta nda yo. I didn't hear about that. Why didn't you invite me? Iya, anta wa sasso to kaette ta desho ga. Left the office earlier than we did. Ah, so You're right, then come have a drink with me tonight. Yeah, this. No. Ah, so at the coits like a heek is runda. Coach and So you're playing favorites with Amasawa? You don't care about the rest of us? What a player, Ko. I'm a Fusaketa Koto Iteruto. Baba Hara de Utainosio. Talking nonsense, and I'll accuse you of harassment. So, any shibarakua, senpai tomo ikimasen kara. Besides, I won't be able to even have dinner with Amasawa for a while. Hmm, ja, ore to anta no futari de ikka. Oh, in that case, Amasawa and I will go alone together. Nan de so na rin deska. Why are you bringing that up now? Eh, dame na no? Moshkaste shito? No good. What? You jealous? I told me his questions made my heart jump. I still remembered how flirty Minato and I had been when we went out for drinks. I told me it gave me a faint hope that Minato hadn't just been tipsy and was actually might have feelings for me, but. No, I just wanted to know why you asked. Minato flatly denied it, and my brief soaring heart sunk. Why would he talk about like flirting with you in front of another person? Yes, I was the only one who thought we were actually flirting. Well, then it's cool if I ask Amasawa out, yeah? You don't mind if I go if we go out for a drink? それは。はい。許しませんよ。先輩がサオトメさんと付き合うことになったら振り回されて仕事が手につかないと思うんで。don't even try. If Amasawa ends up dating you, she'll be so busy taking care of you, she won't be able to get any work done. Besides, Amasawa doesn't look too happy about it anyway, so cut it out. He denied being jealous, yet he still seemed troubled about the idea of me dating Sotome. Sotome? I don't know how I saw his name wrong so bad. The conversation continued, but I still couldn't understand Minato's feelings. Okay, sorry, I'll honor the bro code. Chill out. Ah, I thought this was my last chance to hang out with you guys before the busy season, but oh well. Minato and I exchanged confused glances. Busy season. The new column competition is about to start in earnest. Oh, and I are going to be participating in it, so we are going to need to create a business proposal for it. I vaguely remember Director Koba saying something about that. If that was the case, it made sense that Saitomi would be leading the charge. They tell me you're here too. As if on cue, Director Kobas walked into the office. Oh, Kobasa, how did you do? Koba, is everything alright? My eyes are. I'm going to meet you in the company. I'm going to meet you in the company. I'm going to meet you in the company. We're gonna have a meeting about the competition right now. Can you grab Oe and come to the conference room? Roger that. See you both later. So I told me wave goodbye, then hurried out with the director. They seem busy. Since they were probably planning to prepare for the competition alongside their regular work, they would have their plates full. I was a little worried about Saitomi and Oe, but I decided to concentrate on my own work for the time being. 
few weeks passed since our new project, the new project competition was launched and summer was in full swing. Because Saitomi and Oe were participating in the competition, Minato and I had to take on some of their regular tasks. I was going to go back to the office. Sorry. Is it okay? Is it okay? Sorry and thank you. You're not... Thank you for helping me out with this. Are you sure you're alright? You're not pushing yourself too hard, are you? Oe grasped my hand gently when we passed each other in the hallway. Of course, we were all a little tired, but I was handling it just fine. I told her I was more concerned about Minato than about myself. Maybe he's a little bit tired. He's a little bit tired. He's a little bit tired. Oh, you're right. He's definitely lost weight, or maybe he's more accurate to say he's just skin and bones right now. But if you're concerned, why don't you tell him directly? If you're concerned, why don't you tell him directly? If you're concerned, why don't you tell him directly? Oh, it was right. Minato and I hadn't talked much outside of work. I always seemed to have a terrible timing, though. And Minato had been so distant towards me recently, I let Oi in on all my thoughts. Hmm. So, let's do it together. Hmm. How about we get a little treat to cheer him up? I agreed, and we ventured out to buy something for him. There it is. This is the look. Finally, he's wearing the top. This is this is it. Hey Minato, here. This is for from me and Leah. When we handed Minato our gift, he accepted it without a with a furrowed brow. Thank you. But why did he suddenly come? Gosh, man. Okay. Both sides. No, this one's still a little lower. All right, now now I've done it. Do I look like Minato now? I do it backwards. I don't remember. Why are you giving this to me? Sashire するのに理由なんてないって言いたいところだけど。Asia attacked me. I want to say something cool, like we don't need a reason, but Minato くんが最近ちょっと無理してそうだってこの子に聞いたから。He should go feral for Minato and attack Doi. <laughs> Jay's over here like trying to make commands. Leah told me that you look like you were pushing yourself too hard lately, so that's why. Huh? What? Minato stared at me wide-eyed, but he promptly turned away. Don't gaslight me. I can see you. Look at your collarbone. It's hot, but like apparently it's thinner than before. I'm not. I'm actually fine. I think you're overthinking things, Amasawa. もう相変わらずね。人の心配はありがたく受け取っておくものよ。Oh, you're as thick-headed as ever. You should appreciate others when they worry about you. 頼んでないんで。I'll do it. Asia accepts, but I didn't even ask for anything. ちょっと、さすがにその言い方は。Hey, that's rude. すみません。ちょっと席外します。Sorry, I've got to step out for a minute. His response was curt as he hurried out of the office. どうしたのかしら。なんか少し前の彼に戻っちゃったみたいね。What's with him? It's like he reverted back to his old self. Let's go. We can corner him together. Take his tie and phone. Leave him without his shoes and wallet. Sear off his handprints so he doesn't have fingerprints. I got this, Jay. I'm following you. It was true. The stubborn distance he kept was exactly like when we first met. Considering the way he reacted, I knew that if I pushed him any further, he might get upset. Still, I couldn't just leave him. I felt anxious, so I ran after Minato. As I followed Minato, we eventually reached the break room. When I spoke up to him, he was by. He was buying a drink from the vending machine. He turned around, looking surprised. Take his clothes too. I want him to walk around and let people laugh at him while he's got no clothes, or maybe give him a diaper too. You know, just so the indecent exposure charges don't go put on you. まだ何かあるんですか Now what? 
Minato turned away annoyed. His face was pale and gaunt. Then I asked him what was wrong. He was not forthcoming. Nothing is wrong. Didn't I tell you that a few minutes ago? I don't know what made you think something is wrong, but I'm fine. Really, Amasawa. I couldn't understand why he was being so stubborn about this. No matter how vermently I argued with Minato, he only dis dismissed me coldly. I'm going back now, Amasawa. If you have time to be distracted by this nonsense, you have time to do your work. As Minato walked away, I... I cried. I cried like a little baby. There's not enough saves in here. My, L's welled, my eyes welled up with tears. <gasps> I knew this was only upset him further, but despite my best efforts, I couldn't stop myself. The fear that he was involved in something terrible flooded my mind, and the hot tears steamed down my cheek. It's not fair to cry. This is my weapon. Okay, Minato. Minato's expression twisted with pain. I grabbed the sleeve of his shirt and asked once again what's wrong. His eyes almost seemed to tremble. Shitsukoi. Enough. But it wasn't long before he, has, he cast his gaze back to the floor. <gasps> then, just as he was about to walk past me, <laughs> from the corner of my eye, I saw his body sway and a loud noise echoed through the lounge. He's a ghost, I rushed to Minato. He was halfway to the ground using a table to prop himself up. I'm fine. I'm just a little dizzy. That will happen when you don't eat food for days. Whatever this was, it was not just a mild cold. I put my hand on his forehead. His skin was burning to the touch. Senpai no de. Smetai. Hamasawa, your hand is so cold. Actually, it's the opposite. His voice was terribly weak. It hit me just how much he had been pushing himself. I told him he should leave early, but he was just shook his head slowly. No, I'm fine, but... Minuto rested his head on my shoulder and clinging to me. Please let me rest here for a while. We're in the break room, my guy. Anyone can walk in. I softly rubbed his back. Some quiet words escaped his mouth. I'm so exhausted. Oh no, I felt like I finally made a breakthrough with him. <laughs> I don't. I think this is terrible. I was still worried, but for a moment, I was content that he wasn't putting on a brave face for me anymore. I asked if there was anything I could do to help. I thought he might be willing to be vulnerable with me at last, but his response crushed me. No, there isn't. Just let me rest on your shoulder for a little longer. We were connected. I could feel the warmth of his body, and yet our hearts had never been so far apart. He was right there, yet I, fa I felt alone. I gave up on pushing it any further and gently stroked his back. I'm sorry. I don't deserve such kindness. Before I could figure out what he meant, Minato lost all his strength and he collapsed. But on you were on the ground. Is he dying? What's happening? It's a spin off! Oh, we're at Evergreen now. After leaving the bar with Amasawa, I saw her off, but I couldn't bring myself to go home, so I went to Evergreen alone. <sighs> What's the deal about Amasawa and Doei? Well, I sighed frustrated that I couldn't organize my thoughts about them when the manager called out to me. You're looking troubled. Do I? 
その様子はお仕事ですか You sure do. Is it work or life, espionage? What's up? むしろ仕事の悩みだったらどんなにマシか How I wish this was only about work. Just war flashbacks. <laughs> oh god. So he opened his mouth to speak, but seeing my silence, he seemed to think better of it and stayed quiet. すみません、立ち入ったこと。I'm so sorry that seeing Usui has caused you distress. Forgive me, perhaps I overstepped. ああ、い,いえ、大丈夫です。No, it's fine. 仕事とは少し違います。今の会社の人たちはみんないい人なんで。Everyone I work with at Astaria was great. <laughs> I'm calm and still a little bit thirsty for Asui. Want to know why? It's because we were so hyped for his route and we're like, it's gonna get steamy up in here because he's mature and then they, they fade it to black. So, this is the first round. He's the first round that didn't have like a steamy ending. Yeah, he's the first round that didn't have like a steamy ending. He's the first round that didn't have like a steamy in bed moment. Like, they skipped it. Everybody else had a steamy in bed moment. Yes, of course. That was obvious when you all visited recently. They're so rude for that. I know. I was expecting it. Didn't get it. でしたら恋の悩みですか Said he covered our mouth with his hand and kissed his own hand because he said he, was, he wasn't deserving of our lips. Like, no, we deserved one passion at night, and then you can think about if you want to save the inn or the bar. But it's about love, perhaps. Huh? Huh? My head shot up surprised by his forwardness. He flashed me a gentle smile. Did you say that? I don't know if you have any questions. No. Giving advice for those kinds of situations is practically in my job description. それ、まあ、well. <laughs> I will never forgive whoever thought let's go for dark scene. For no fucking reason, while other roads get some spicy. Yeah. Everyone else got spicy in bedtime for their like second to end scene where you're gonna go, what's happening next? Ageist. That's true. <gasps> Normally, I could dodge questions like that without issue. Did they think we didn't wanna see him in bed with her? Is that what happened? I wanted it. But all the drinks from earlier may have dulled me. I couldn't manage a word. Apologies if I'm being too forward, but. Come here alone, Minato, so I'm curious. Hanash de Kigarakuni Naruko to Maruto Moimas. Boku de Yokeva, Koko dake no Hanash to Ste, Okiki Shimasio. Sometimes talking to someone is the best way to feel better. I'm a good listener, and whatever you have to say stays between us. He knows where you work. He knows your co worker. He knows your boss. I wouldn't say you should feel comfortable. I heard Atomi Kitten and Blurdy Otomi both want more spice and second. Hidden route, so I'm prepared to fight whoever thought dark scene is fine. I barely know this guy, but maybe that's why I feel comfortable telling him. I mean, they sold this game as a spicy story. Like, they made it sound like this is gonna be so spicy. Be ready, guys. It hasn't been that spicy. Even the spicy ones haven't been that spicy. The spiciest they got was Yofi, and Yofi was not okay. <laughs> I saw that too, I'll be your alibi. I slowly began to speak my mind to him. Woman. I know she shouldn't get involved with a guy like me, but I can't help myself. I led her on and now I think she has feelings for me. Boo. This 
voice actor is so good. Yeah, I'm in love. I'm in love. I was in love with Connus. Connus was my favorite too. Well, actually, Igonus was my favorite. But, you know, Connus was a close second after Monsieur. <laughs> Asui placed his chin on his knuckles with rapt attention. I can feel his angst. This is why I like some visual novels more than Atomi games. They, that's because the devs are not afraid to show the spicy stuff. That's fair. I feel like they try to keep this stuff PG, except for you know, blood, gore, and violence. That's fine. Pio Fori and Cupid Parasite were definitely spicy, and Cupid Parasite was rated T, and they straight up ripped their clothes off constantly in that game. I did not understand. <laughs> Are you certain she shouldn't get involved? After all, if you have feelings for her, then... You're not really leading her on, are you? You're just building a relationship. But there's no way I could have a relationship with her. And why is that? I'll only cause her trouble. <gasps> we need more Atomi games with some spicy stuff. More spicy, more spicy. <laughs> Did she say that to you? Or is she married? Or he's so he's so open-minded. Not like that. Praying Jakao no Lila will get localized so as well, since it's been recommended as spicy as well. I need to see a picture of this. Okay. Asia says she needs it now, that's a good sign. Not like that. In that case, I don't think you have to be so cautious about this. Also, this is not a bad thing. Let's put it this way. While this might not be the most polite thing to say, you're still young. You're They've got love triangles too in Jakao no Lila. Listen, I want I want a game that's nothing but triangles. I, the game could be called Triangles. And like, you're picking a route. Hear me out. You're picking a route and each route has two of the love interest. And either love interest has like little scenes and moments. And what you do at some point... <laughs> AKA threesome endings. Okay, that's that was that went a different route than I was expecting. <laughs> I'm just saying that you end up with one of the two. Atomi would never. Atomi would never let you have multiple lovers at the end, but maybe one of the love interests can be the same person and you don't know that and then you get their body to reconjoin into one being and then you get the best of both worlds. Oh, it's no reason to take things so seriously. Take things at your own pace. Sui's words were just bartender lip service. Part of me wondered if he was right. How happy I'd feel if he were right. I'm not that young. I didn't know how to reply and those words just fell out of my mouth. Nisha <laughs> is so excited. <laughs> Poly cute relationships need representation. Also, the opening song for Jakao no Lila is so good. MC is a dancer, but also a secret spy. <gasps> so is this like Red Sparrow? Like, does she look like Jennifer? I can't think of her name. Oh, yes, you are. You're still in your 20s, aren't you? Then you're still a very young man, at least to me. I know a couple of visual novels that got poly routes. Actually, apparently the one we just played, the Beyond the Bay, is going to have a poly route. <laughs> you said that to me. Oh, sorry, I'm afraid I went too far. <laughs> Need to let me know. He needs this down for poly routes. All right, it's fine. Anyways, I never knew you to speak this way. I 
Don't think I'm usually this nosy, but perhaps I got a little carried away this time. There's not much else I can do, but I'll be rooting for you. And then he straight up ignores her. <gasps> After this moment, he ignores her. What? Thank you. Sui's words were comforting, but I didn't think they were anything more than that. Yet somehow, that trivial conversation lifted my spirits. And yet, I'm still going to break her heart. Episode 4. Parent Kingdom, when the night comes. Speakies got poly routes. Threads of you will have poly routes. <laughs> Minato suddenly collapsed as we were talking. I panicked, terrified that something serious was happening, but he was breathing peacefully and evenly in his sleep. She's dragging his body. <laughs> I carefully dragged Minato to the sofa in the corner of the break room. He said he was busy with his second job, and judging by his pale face, it was obvious he wasn't getting enough sleep. I thought it best to just let him sleep like that for the time being. About 10 minutes later, my phone rang, piercing the room. When I checked the number, it seemed likely that this was a spam call. I tried to reject the call quickly so it wouldn't wake up Minato, but... <laughs> the draggy noise and camera move it. Yeah, that was my favorite. I liked it. <laughs> Minato, who had been fast to sleep on the sofa, bolted upright. My phone. I apologized for waking him up and explained that it was my phone that rang, not his. Oh, what? Good. Minato sighed in relief. This is why he hates phones, by the way. But that only made my chest tighten with worry. Was he that afraid of getting a call from his supposed side job? By the way, why... When did I get a, to the sofa? I gave him a brief explanation of what happened. He looked dumbfounded. I see. I'm sorry for troubling you. Well, you carried me on your back when I bruised my knee. It's fine. He spoke curtly and moved to stand up. As he did, I grabbed his arm to stop him. He clearly hadn't recovered, so I insisted that he should continue to rest. Minato didn't try to shake my hand away. Instead, he reclined back on the sofa. <laughs> you gonna sit on his lap? What's happening? I pressed my hand against his forehead to check up his, on his fever. It was a little warm, but much more mild than before. When I began to pull my hand away, he grabbed it and brought it back to his face. He rubbed his cheek against the palm of my... What? Against my palm softly. It was cooler than his forehead and smooth against my skin. Only when you have a fever, my guy. Hamasawa, are your hands always this cold? Or is it just my fever? It's your fever. So it's so I see, I'll take your word for it. Minato closed his eyes. See, we never will never know what she actually said. He remained silent for a while. I squirmed as his hair tickled my skin and his eyelids slowly fluttered open to watch me. I mumbled that his eyes were bloodshot. Oh I haven't been sleeping much lately. Minato suddenly stopped, a startled look clouded his face. When I was about to ask him what was wrong, I heard footsteps approaching. Well, hey, you two. Director Kobas and Oe walked in. What are you two doing here? Quit slacking and get back to work. Listen, you gorgeous man. I'll do it. That's rude. I hurriedly explained the situation. Uh, he actually just fainted. When I finished, Director Kobas frowned. Minato, Minato, you need to go home right now. No, I'm fine now. My fever's only 102. It's fine. 
無理してまた倒れたらどうするんだ Then go home fine. I don't want you to overdo it and collapse on my watch again. Director made the right call. Koei stared at Minato, her eyebrows knitted while she smirked kindly. So, yo. Ato skoshi de teji dashi. Isogi no shigoto ga aru nara h i k i t o r kara. He's right. Besides, it's almost time to go home anyway. If you have anything urgent to do before going home, we'll do it for you. Wakari mashita. とりあえず今日は帰ります。All right, I'll go home for today. And then they go, Psst, go with him. Minato was still pale as he stood up reluctantly. I picked at the hem of his, my shirt, worried about how he'd make it home. Then, as though he'd read my mind, Director Koba spoke up. Oi, Minato no koto, okutte yare. Masawa, I want you to walk Minato home today.、Uh-huh. What? Minato and I both looked at Director Koba in surprise. She doesn't need to do that. I don't want you collapsing on your way home. He's like, I just won't, okay? I won't, besides, I don't want to bother her. Minato looked at me pleadingly, but I shook my head. Not you two, Amasawa. いいから送ってもらえ。それに、こいつが帰る口実にもなる。その言い方ずるくないですか何とでも言え。で、どうするんだわかりました。Director Kobas' unyieldingly pressure, unyielding pressure finally made Minato give in. Jana, what's good? Very good. Have a nice evening. What's good? Some of this stuff. Two. After collecting our things, Minato and I left the office together. I'll be fine from here. Minato mumbled as the train stopped at the station near his home. Stretcher Kobas told me to bring him home. I said I wanted to see him to his front door. Minato chuckled. How conscientious of you. We'll do, we'll do what you want. Minato walked ahead of me. As we walked side by side in a residential area, Minato suddenly stopped. He stared at an older, gentle looking woman. Oh dear, Kohei, you're home earlier than usual today. Oh, ma, go so go so, nani shite no? Yeah, well, what are you doing out here, mom? Kai wa sure ta mona ga a te ne. あの子たちに留守番頼んで急いでスーパーに行ってきたの。I just forgot to buy something. I told your siblings to stay home while I ran to the supermarket.His mother gaze flickered between us and she smiled. ねもしかして浩平の彼女さ ?Are you my little Kohei's girlfriend? ああ。Huh? m i n a t o and I were both rendered speechless. 連れてくるなら先に行ってくれないと。こんなところで立ち話じゃなんだから。早くうちに行きましょう。If you were planning on bringing her over, you should have told me earlier. Now let's hurry up and go inside. 違う。この人は会社の先輩。You're wrong. She's one of my co-workers. After I introduced myself and offered her my business card, I explained why I was walking minutes at home. あら、そうなのわざわざすみません。Is that so? Well, thank you. Sorry for troubling you. っていうか、あんた。大丈夫なの Kohi, are you feeling better? Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. Yes, I feel much better now. Minato reassured his mother before turning to face. So, this is my father. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. And then his mother caught my arm. I paused. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. You were so kind to walk my son home. Could I at least bring you a cup of tea? 
I didn't want to be a bother, so I tried different videos. Oh, so not to say that. Oh, please, you're more than welcome to stay just a few minutes, okay? I couldn't refuse our heartfelt smile and ended up following them to their house for a brief visit. Their apartment building was only a quick walk from where we ran into Minato's mother. Oh my god, look at all the books. So clean. The moment we opened the front door, a cute little girl popped up. Cookie, you're back! Ah, Tadaima. Yep, I'm home. Is that like Dragon Ball? It looks like Dragon Ball. Minato gently patted the girl's head, who seemed to be his younger sister. Mama was you're home, too, Mom. Huh. Sister noticed me and fell silent. Who is the miss? Just as I was about to answer, an unfamiliar voice interrupted. Hey, are you Kohi's girlfriend? The voice belonged to a little boy around the age of eight. She's not, and it's rude to ask that of someone you don't know. Eh? Aww. Eh, 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 Stop whining, what do you say when you have a guest? Oba-san. You look old. Itte! Ah! Senpai, sumimasen. Koitsu no yukoto wa kini shinakute inde. I'm sorry, please ignore what this kid says. His brother rubbed his head where he had been smacked. I assumed Minato I assured Minato that I wasn't offended before I introduced myself. Nanda no So you're a lady from Kohi's company? Boring. Why'd you come home with him? Yeah, if you're not his girlfriend, what do you want? Ah, uh, sorry, Gane. She's here because. Dang, see? I guess everyone asks a lot of questions in this world. When their mother explained everything, they both clutched Minato anxiously. No manners. Onichan, Taijobu? Oh, here are you? Okay, also just the idea of, and why are you here? Shouldn't you rest? I'm fine, I'm much better now. The genuine smile he flashed them eased my heart. He, his condition was definitely better this time. I'm a sawa, I'll make you a cup of tea, so please have a seat. <laughs> my mom would beat us with a sandal if we acted like this. Honestly, uh, in my house as a child, we just like weren't in the same room. We would leave. We'd be outside or in our rooms. We'd not be like conversing with a new person in the house. It looks like Dragon Ball. I graciously sat down on their soft couch. Minato's siblings hurriedly hurried up to me. Don't be rude to her, okay? Hi! Okay. Nana, Hey, is Kohi like this at sis? At, he said sis in my brain. I always like this at work too. I tilted my head. I couldn't figure out what he meant, so he began to explain. Nii-chan, ore ga nani ka suru to sugo okotte atama tataite kurunda. If I see a stranger, I go to to my room and stay there until they leave. Exactly. Yeah, there, this does not happen. Koei always gets mad every time I do something bad and whacks me on the head. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Why would I do that at work? Besides, if you didn't act so stupid, I wouldn't need to whack you. That's right. He's right. I've never made him mad before, you know. Zuri! Hiki da hiki! It's not fair, it's favoritism. Now, if this stranger knows me, I might stand in the same room with them and my mom. Yeah, if like it's a familiar stranger, but if someone just came over, I'm like, I'm in my room. 
。私がいつもいい子にしてるからだもん。No, not. It's I'm good. 喧嘩しない。Stop fighting. As I laughed at the bickering, Minato's mother joined us carrying the tea with her. でも私も聞きたいわ。この子、会社でちゃんとやってますか But I'd love to hear that too. Is my son doing well at work? 倒れたりして、無理してるんじゃないの He is. He very much is. Your son is overworking himself. I mean, he just collapsed. He's not overworking himself, is he? I hesitated. The whole reason I walked him home was because he had overworked himself and I was worried. But it was hide me with one look. He told me not to say anything I didn't need. To comfort his family, I told him Minato was a valuable and integral part of the team. One time there was a one guy who knows me and my brother. Apparently, he knows us when we were kids. I came over like I don't remember you. Like, <laughs> that's fair though. Kids don't remember things. My, is that so? Honey, t h a s so good. g o h e s you're awesome. Betsy, kids go on to eat us. You don't. Have to overdo it. Minato turned away. Perhaps he was feeling shy with all the attention. Are you embarrassed? No. Eh? I guess she. Ah, yeah, you seem embarrassed. I guess she. Super embarrassed. Minato's mother mumbled something under her breath as her three children teased each other. あの子、最近元気がないように見えたから。So、もちろん、倒れたのは心配だけど。Course, 公平のこと、よろしくお願いしますね。Please continue to look after him. I promise that I would. My mom was like, you remember him? I was like, yes, I lied, don't remember anything. <laughs> You're like, I agree. And then you leave, and you're like, who was that guy? His younger sister crawled over to us with me, guy. Are you having a grown up talk together? So, yo? Yes, we are, right, Amasawa? Don't say anything weird to her, okay? Which one are you talking to? Of course, I wouldn't. You want to look at baby pictures? No, no. 先輩って呼んでるってことは、この姉ちゃんの方が兄ちゃんより年上なの Hey, how old are you? Are you older or younger than my brother? Actually, I am older, but I think in the story she's also older by like a year. いや、年は俺の方が。Oh, really? No, I'm older than her. えじゃあなんで先輩って呼んでんの Because of work etiquette. So she's been in the position longer than him, thus that makes her his senior, thus he calls her senpai. Why are you acting like she's your boss? It's a long story. She's been with the company longer. What do you mean? Oh. What do you mean? Oh. 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 I was happy to see Minato be himself. I really saw this side of him at work. じゃあ、今度は私がお姉ちゃんに家でのお兄ちゃんのこと教えてあげるね。Okay, now I'll tell you about my brother, what my brother's like at home. Okay. She started babbling to me about Minato with an infectious grin. Eventually, I whispered a question. お兄ちゃんのこと Your brother? うん、大好き Yeah, I love him. <gasps> うわ、なんだよ、いきなり。Well, what the heck? I smiled as the little girl beamed and rushed over to hug her older brother. Papa がいなくても、お兄ちゃんがいれば全然平気なんだよ。As long as I have him, it's okay without dad. I blinked, unsure how to respond. Uh, Minato's face fell and he quickly covered his mouth. Kora, you can't go to you want to eat, Kara. Hey, don't say stuff like that. Oh, you can't go to? Why not? Because it's going to make people feel sorry for you. <laughs> I mean. My mind flashed back to what he said before. It's 
flashbacks. If their father wasn't around, Minato must have been filling in his father's shoes. As I search for the right words, his mother stepped in to change the topic. So, by the way, have you had dinner yet, Amasawa? If not, I can whip something up. She's like, I'm gone. I told her I was grateful for the kind offer, but I didn't want to trouble her anymore. Anyway. Oh, really? That's too bad. I apologized and thank her for inviting me over, then excused myself. I'll walk you back to the station. That'd be silly. I just walked you home. I told him he didn't need to do that. I walked him home because he was unwell in the first place. I insisted I could walk by myself, but he refused. So All the more matter for you not to follow me. So let me guess, he hurt the family and left them some debt that Minato has to deal with. Just a guess. Uh, there's possibly that. I don't know, because it made it sound like Minato had debt too, though. He's doing weird business deals with his friend of me, friend of me. You're right, but I'm feeling better now, and it's quite a long walk to the station. When he mentioned it, I realized I didn't know my way back to the station. But still, I couldn't let him walk me home. After thinking about it for a while, I decided to call a taxi. I'll pay for it, just let me know how much it costs later. Allow me to do that. You came all the way here for me in the first place. Right, I'll see you out. No, Minato stood up and walked to the door. Come back anytime, honey. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I said goodbye to his family and hurried after Minato. Minato walked me downstairs and waited beside me for the taxi. Uh, no. He spoke hesitantly. I'm sorry for bothering you today. I gently told him that there was nothing to apologize for about. I added that I was happy to hear he was feeling better and how I really enjoyed talking with his family. So this guy. Glad to hear that. But you know, you don't have to listen to every single thing people tell you to do, Amasawa. Like when you, when the director told me to walk, told you to walk me home, or when my mom invited you over to our place. Yeah, but she asked me for dinner and I said no, so. I know it's difficult to say no to the director, but my heart ached for a moment. I told Minato that I didn't walk him home because director Kobas told me to, but because I wanted to. Masawa, you truly have a kind heart. Take care of everything. Don't you ever get tired of doing all that? She's like, it's a heavy burden. I shook my head. Minato looked even more distressed. Are you talking to a mirror, Minato? Nobody would blame if you put yourself first for once, Amasawa. Your generosity is not going to do you any good in the long run. <gasps> Your generosity is not going to do you good in the long run. Hmm. In response, I said... I help people important to me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that worked. <laughs> Important. 
Minato's eyebrows lifted in confusion. He didn't seem to understand what I was trying to suggest. I told him when it came to people that were important to me, I didn't see things in terms of profit and loss. That's commendable. Minato looked away and muttered that to himself. But this distant word made my shoulders sag, but he continued. That's so like you, Amasawa. Kindness is a huge part of who you are, so don't get greedy on me. Stay as you are. His teasing smile pulled a giggle out of me. I felt like there was a part of him that finally accepted me. It made me very happy. We both fell quiet. Only the whistle of the lukewarm breeze filled the silence between us. I glanced at him, but his face was completely unreadable. I took this opportunity to ask him about his side job. Huh? What? Minato said nothing was wrong when I talked to him before he collapsed. If I persisted, I could upset him again. Even so, I wanted to know more. What's your job, bro? What makes you pass out at work? I asked what was causing him so much distress. As I checked again, and I checked again, if I could help. He listened quietly, then responded in a terse whisper. It's none of your business, Amasawa. <gasps> Technically, he was correct. It, I was just a co-worker. I wasn't family, a girlfriend, or even a real friend. Hey, Tarp, welcome on in. If so, he insisted it had nothing to do with me. I knew I shouldn't push it further. Rude. But when I thought back on how hopeless I felt when he collapsed, grab him by the face and kiss him. Frustration and sadness started rising up in me like geysers ready to burst. Simply. Amasawa, am I crying again? I knew it was childish to cry over this. And I knew my tears would only trouble him more, so I quickly looked away. But he suddenly grabbed my arm roughly and flipped me around. Then, <gasps> in one swift movement, Minato pulled me into his arms. I'm trying to literally just cross my leg, and it's very dramatic because it sounds like I'm gasping. In one swift movement, Minato pulled me into his arms. <gasps> Look at his hand. Look how big his hand is. Compare that to Connus' hand. I'm sorry. I was so surprised and confused that my mind shut down. He continued to speak in a thin voice. I know that you're concerned about me, Amasawa. This sounds like the end credit music, the sad one. This is my problem and I've got to deal with it myself. I can't ask you to help me. He hugged me tighter. He sounded as though he was trying to convince himself. I said it's none of your business a few minutes ago, but... Your concern for me isn't a nuisance at all, Amasawa. Thank you for caring about someone like me. I was relieved to s I was relieved to that my eff I would no. I was relieved that my efforts to connect with him were in vain. He slowly released me and pulled back to look into my eyes. Are you done crying? <gasps> I had just sobered up, but these words brought the tears rushing back. He cut my cheek gingerly and wiped a tear away with his thumb. I'm sorry. Minato really sounded apologetic, and I responded by shaking my head. Then he continued to, a bit sheepishly hiding his lips. こんなに心配してもらってなんですけど実は大したことじゃなくて。I'll 
Also, I hate to say this after seeing you worry so much about me, but none of it is really a big deal. I'm just having some issues at my side job, you know, espionage is hard. I'm actually a freelance writer, but I'm in the middle of a dispute with a client. All of my phone calls I've been getting were from that client. I'll be done working with him soon, so it'll be fine. Because I guess I was just overworked. I took so many jobs because I thought I could handle them. It's really nothing, so don't worry. I was glad nothing bad was happening with his side job, but it concerned me that he admitted to overworking himself. I reminded Minato to not push himself too hard again. So this That was that was the horn hog from Cupid Parasite. You heard it. Just then our conversation came to an end, my taxi arrived. Well then, good night. After I said goodbye, I got into the taxi. As the vehicle swayed, I breathed a deep sigh of relief. Thankfully, Minato's situation wasn't that serious. Or so he said. He also said that work was with the client would end soon and he would take on less work from that point on. Literal stupid parasite sound effect right there. Good, good, I wasn't the only one. I was sure things would eventually settle down for him. Feeling lighter than re with relief, I thought back to that moment. The sensation of his strong arms wrapped around me was so vivid. The memory made me flush with embarrassment and my heart raised. I knew he probably didn't mean anything by it, but I couldn't help but wonder. I gently put my hands on my chest in an attempt to calm my pounding heart. What did this reaction mean? What is this feeling inside of me? As I searched for an answer, I could still feel the warmth of his body against mine. Oh, wow, look at his friend, what's happening? Got some music, got a very da-da-da, got Kleenex by the bed. After I saw Amasawa off, I returned home. Why is one of his pillows not got a pillow cover on it? I flexed my hand and stared at it, still tingling from her touch. What the hell, Kohi? Great sound alert. Have it be your, like a phone ringtone. Just like honk honk. And that's it. I've been pushing her away because I didn't want her to find out anything else about the situation. I still ended up hugging her. I even made a, a lie about my words. Why did I do that? I just didn't want to see her cry or worry anymore, especially not on my account. Maybe lying wasn't such a bad choice. Honestly, if she had pushed me harder, I might have told her the truth. So what you're saying, I need to push harder. Got it. I thought back on how close I came to exposing everything in the break room inside. That can't that happen. Ever. Now, without seeing his, his character body at all, I just hear Kana's. <laughs> It wasn't so difficult when she didn't like me, but now she could end up getting hurt if she got too close to me. He knew what he was doing. He started flirting with her and then he's all like, oh no, I shouldn't have flirted with her. Like, it was your fault. 
I couldn't think of a worse result. Is he just like a flirty type? He can't help himself. Now I think about Kanas. She has such a kind heart, but that kind of thing can get people in trouble. Don't falter. Don't let these feelings get the best of you. You can't back down now. Keep your secret. Just keep going. When I closed my eyes, Amasawa's face lingered in my mind. Sorry. An apology that would never reach her escaped my lips. When I arrived at work the next Monday, Minato looked the same as usual. The events of last week were played in my head a few times as I worked, but I did my best to soldier on. Don't think about how he hugged me, don't think about how he hugged me. As I got up to leave my seat and have lunch, I found Saitomi talking to Minato. Hey Ko, you didn't tell me you left early last week. You didn't do it okay now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a big deal, but the director let me go home early. Hey, uh, Koba sure is nice when it comes to all kinds of stuff. I was shocked when I heard you collapse, but don't. But I'm glad it wasn't serious. Don't push yourself looking too hard, okay? And why are you here again? Oi! Oreno Itawari no Kotoba or Suru Shnai de Moraimaska! I could almost picture him giving the bird right then instead of just the hand gesture. Hello, could you please not ignore my kind and compassionate words? Hi, yeah. Ikinokini, Hirumeshi, Shuko, Ogorekasa. Welcome, whatever. Hey, let's go grab lunch together. My treat. How are you? No, thanks. All right, we're going. Were you listening to me? At the scene unfolded, as the scene unfolded, I locked eyes with Saitomi, who was still trying to drag Minato to lunch. Oh, on to Moiku? Wanna join us on Masawa? She's like, I could never, as she's like putting all her stuff in her purse. Minato's eyes widen meaningfully at me like a silent plea for help. <laughs> like that's so many emoticons. Amasawa, please come with us. I can't handle this guy alone. Come on, Ko, you're acting like I'm some kind of monster or something. Don't flatter yourself, you're not a monster, just a weirdo. I think you mispronounced the word genius. I laughed at their banter before Saitomi turned to me. Ko-chan so, what do you say? It seems Ko here wants you to come. Don't say it like that. It's the truth. I didn't think Minato necessarily hated being alone with Saitomi, but I wanted to join them anyway. I told them I would gratefully accept their kind offer. So, as the three of us were having lunch together at Denny's. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had a meeting at one. Gome, I gotta go. I got the bill. Don't worry. So, Tommy had barely finished before he was running out of the restaurant. He's only got five minutes. Director's definitely gonna be pissed. I had to laugh because I knew there was no way he'd make it back in time. Suddenly, Minato's gaze locked on something outside the window. When I looked in the same direction, I found a young girl holding a cute plushie. I asked if that was what he was looking at. Huh? 
。ああ、すみません。ああ、すみません。少し、あの子が持ってるぬいぐるみが気になって。I was just distracted by the plushie she was carrying while you like plushies. I'll get you a hundred plushies. <gasps> The girl was holding a bunny plushie with long, fluffy fur. Oh my god. I told him I didn't expect him to like things like that. Not for me. It's for me. It's for me. <laughs> Honey's everywhere. <laughs> See, I think I said this too. I want them to show like little drawings like they do in every other Atomi game I ever played. Like, where's my little sketch of what that bunny plushie looks like? My sister's birthday is coming up. I was wondering what to get her for it. I was wondering what to get her for it. I was wondering what to get her for it. I was wondering what to get her for it. I was w o n d e r i n g what to get her for it. I was wondering what to get her for it. I was wondering what to get her for it. I was wondering what to get her for it. She said she wanted a fluffy Usagi plushie with a ribbon around its neck and floppy ears. The best kind of bunny, I might add. Indeed, that was pretty specific. I don't think it was that specific at all, honestly. I mused that it would be difficult to find one that met those exact specif specifications. That is such a lie. Also, green and purple. Yeah, if it was like that, that would say, yes, you're right, that is. <laughs> That is very specific. There is no colors in this. So, not this, you know. Bunnies by nature have to be able to do it. And you can buy a ribbon, bro. I know. I've been looking for a while, but I just couldn't find one. I was thinking of just making it myself. All right, talk more. Tell me how. I chuckled, but quickly realized he was serious. I wiped my expression clean of amusement and asked him. Good at sewing. I don't know if I'm good at it, but I do a fair bit of sewing since my mom is terrible at it. There s actually quite a lot to sew when you have two elementary school kids in the house. So, I think I can use it as a kit or something. I figured I could do it if I found a kit or something. They make a lot of different kinds, so I'm sure I can find something close enough. That was true. If he could find a kit on the market, he could likely do it on his own. I looked up at a few on my phone and showed him there were plenty of options to choose from. Oh, this is a little bit of a kit. This is a This one looks pretty close, or maybe the one on the bottom right. I honestly don't know which one's better. I think it's not too difficult to figure out what to get for my, birth, my brother, but finding cute things for a girl her age, I'm at a loss. It made sense that he struggled with gift giving for a sibling as so much younger and with difficult in different interests. With that in mind, I timidly suggest something to Minato. Eh? You want me to help choose Amasawa? Well, I am a girl. By all means, I appreciate your input on this type of thing. I wanted to compare a few kits from different stores. Would that be alright? Absolutely, let's go. We discussed the matter further and decided to visit a craft store on our next day off together. She got herself a date. She's going on a date. Hmm. I think I'll stick with this one. As promised, we ventured to the craft store on our next day off and chose a present for his sister. Both the bunny plushie kit and the ribbon we selected were very cute. I was sure Minato's sister would love it. Thank you, that was a big help. I'll go buy them. I will say, I know I call him Sehun,、um, but this outfit he's wearing is very V for BT. 
she asked. When I turned around to leave the stores, something on the display case caught my attention. A variety of finished plushie kits and coasters decorated its shelf. Without giving it much thought, I picked up a small plushie that was sitting on a little chair. Do you want that? Show me the plushie! I jumped at Minato's voice. I thought he was still checking out. And in response, I... No, I hate plushies. This is our last day before we have to start over. But maybe it's not expecting you to save after all of these, because these ones actually don't affect the game. I nodded shyly and gave the plushie one last pet before putting it back. I'd always loved stuffed animals. This one was so cute that I considered buying it for myself. <laughs> I guess some folks never grow out of this kind of stuff, huh? Rude. I gave the display another one summer before leaving the store. After paying for the kit, Minato met me outside. Thanks again for your help today. I don't think I could have just made. Oh gosh. I don't think I could have made such a quick decision without you. I've got a couple stuffed animals. I got like three pandas. I love pandas so much. Uh, plushies. What plushies do I have right now? I have a butt stallion. Wow, uh, that was a gift from a friend. I don't really buy plushies as much as I used to. I have technically a couple Alice in Wonderland squash mallows that live in a glass case. Um, I think I have a panda actually that I got from Daiso. I've got a bear and a bunny. <gasps> I have so many bunny things. I have like a bunny, bunny figurine. All right, thanks again for your help. I don't think I could have made such a quick decision without you. In reality, I had only given him a little bit of advice, he made the final decision. I told him that since he was able to get exactly what his sister wanted, she would definitely love it. I have a bison, a goat, a moose, and an impala. Those are so oddly specific. Like, what, what are they, like, are they on a shelf? Are they on your bed? I love hooves. <laughs> my first panda was during my birthday and my ex-friend gave me a panda. Oh, I've always wanted a very cute, like, stuffy panda, but I've yet to find the one I've always wanted. There's a singer called Moon Kana who used to have this little panda bear she used to carry around and I always wanted one that looked like her. We want to talk about Ollie specific. <laughs> I hope so. For now, I'm more worried about whether or not I'll actually be able to make it properly. He sounded plenty experienced the other day, so I asked what was really worrying him. So what you're saying is let's make it at my place. I have them on a shelf collecting dust until my knees comes over and plays with them. Aww. The herd. <laughs> it shouldn't be too challenging to sew. I'm just worried my sister will find it before her birthday. Despise my ex friend, but I still got the panda in certain drawings. She's lucky that I don't want to throw them away. Well, I mean, your feelings can go cold or sudden. One doesn't mean you don't appreciate the items or the memories. She usually comes into my room without permission, so I guess I'll have to find some other place to make it. Well, I could probably go to a cafe or something. After hearing that, I said, come to my place. You can come to my place. We can make it together. Ooh, which one sounds better? Let's see. We can make it together, we can make this bunny together, or we can, we can come to my place. I'm 
Based on his wide eyes and rapid, astonished blinks, my offer must have surprised him. いいんですか Are you sure? I said it would be easier to focus at my place than in the cafe. Plus, there could be something I could do and help out. じゃあ、お言葉に甘えて。In that case, if you're sure you don't mind, do we buy all the fluff? So he made arrangements for him to come over, which is just getting on a bus, right? Thinking back on it, it might have been bold to invite him over to my place. The memory of him hugging me was still burned in my mind. I'm sorry. CG or it didn't happen. What? Seeing him sitting on my chair, so concentrated, however, made me feel a little guilty for indulging those thoughts. Ever since he walked in, he had been engrossed with sewing and the stuffing animal. Pouring over the instructions it came with. I placed a fresh b r e w cup of tea next to him. I tried to be quiet, but the clink of the mug made him look up. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I know I'm your guest, but you really don't have to go to all that trouble. He returned his attention to his, the work in progress, which was me. It looked like it was coming together well. I couldn't put my, pull my eyes away from his smooth, skillful hand movements and com commented on it. Which eyes you, are you referring to? So, I'm not going to be able to do it. It's actually not that difficult. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I've been sewing buttons on my clothes and stitching things for my siblings here and there for a long time. Yeah, but that doesn't make you a good sewer. I got the feeling Minato had been working hard to help his family since he was a student. Students were always、uh, occupied with their own personal issues, but taking care of younger siblings on top of that, no wonder Minato always put such an emphasis on efficiency. I invited him over to be helpful, but he was such a skilled sewer that I had very little to do. I was thinking about brewing more tea when Minato suddenly looked up at me. Oh, so do I. Oh, I just remembered. Did you buy me the pueshi? Before I could ask what he meant, he bent over and pulled something from his bag. Here, it's yours. <gasps> Minato handed me a kit for a stuffed animal I was looking at at the craft store. He was looking at the craft store. He gave me a kit, so now I have to make my own plushie. Cue that scene where me and Alan made bracelets together. Just those little, little cute bracelets. Okay. You were looking at it in the store. It's not enough for a thank you gift, but I wanted you to have it. I was a little surprised by the sudden gesture, but I couldn't. Did I accidentally turn this down when I was stretching? Everything sounded so quiet.、Oh. I have concerns. Oh, I see. My actual volume on my, my thing is down. I was a little surprised by the sudden gesture, but I couldn't hide my delight that he'd given me a present. Master has noticed me. I noticed it was from the same series as the one he'd gotten his sister, and I suggested he and I could play with them together. Her and I could play with them together. But when he seemed taken aback, I realized it sounded like I assumed that I'd be at his apartment again. So, this is it. I'm sure she'd like that. I'm sure she'd like that. However, Minato didn't reject my suggestion. He smiled back at me. I thought I might. As well, work on my kit too, so I opened up the bag. We didn't say much to each other since we were both concentrating on our work, but it was a comfortable silence. Mmm, comfortable silence. I ended up losing track of time. When I checked the clock, I was shocked that it was already 7 p.m. Oh, もうこんな時間か I didn't realize it was so late. ありがとうございます。だいぶ進められました。Thank you for today. I made quite a bit of progress. We should have put on a TV show. I guess I should be on my way. I guess. Minato started packing away his sewing kit, but I wanted to spend a little more time with him. How would he react if I said that? Oh, oops. I thought that was a flashback. You're right. 
Our embrace rushed back to me even if he wanted to keep his distance. I had a feeling he would re reject me in the end. I said, I don't want you to go. Please stay. Please stay sounds too desperate. That sounds like a breakup sentence. I don't want you to go, huh? Minato took in a sharp breath. It took me a moment to process my own forwardness. I bit my tongue and waited nervously for him to say something. <gasps> so he did mean it like that. I was right? You're quite brazen, aren't you? Amasawa is still hungry for that dessert. I'm you. Why did you stop me? What do you want? Need to do. Minato closed the distance between us, his eyes piercing straight into my heart. My heart! Flustered, my body twitched, and I pricked my finger with a sewing needle in my hand. Did you just prick your finger? Uh, I nodded and flicked my gaze to my fingertip. It looked deeper than I thought it was. My index finger was covered in blood. Girl, what? Let me see it. Is he gonna lick my finger? Is he egonist? <laughs> It wasn't anything serious, but before I could reply, Minato grabbed my hand and kneeled to the ground. Then he pulled my finger in his mouth and... Okay, guys. Like... <laughs> really shouldn't be drinking each other's bloods. Was not... Cereal. Oh, my stars. His lips brushed my wound, catching the blood. A dull pain throbbed from me, and I let, tried to pull my hand back, but his grip remained strong. He wouldn't let me. It revealed that he is a vampire. Oh, <gasps> that's it. That's why he doesn't like hanging out with us, because he's hungry for blood, and he needs to go and do blood stuff. <clears throat> Minato's tongue licked away the blood dripping onto my hand. A tingling feeling crawled up my spine and my body rose to lift with heat, to life with feet. Oh my god. He knows. He knows. What? This is just to stop the bleeding. Is it? I've never heard of someone using their mouth to stop the bleeding. It's more to clean up the blood, bro. <laughs> Minato said it so matter of factly that I wondered if being so affected by this was an overreaction. His soft tongue traced the pad of my finger. My heart raced so fast, I thought it might explode. Tell me, what do you think I was doing? <laughs> Grab a band aid! <laughs> Minato sucked gently on my fingertips, his eyes ablaze, looking up at me. What? I protested weakly for him to let go of my hand, but he completely ignored me. I <laughs> washed the blood away. Yeah, you know, in the sink, I was... He's a big tease. He knows. He knows what he's doing. He's like, what? Oh my god. I was shivering with embarrassment, yet I couldn't bring myself to break away from him. I looked away, trying to stay composed as his tongue caressed my finger again. When the bleeding stopped, he finally returned my hand. You've got to be more careful, Amasawa. Oh man, but she didn't bleed during the almost getting ran over by a bike thing, so why didn't you lick her knee? Hey, I'm just curious. You're trying to stop the bleeding then, why not lick her knee? Almost run over by a bike, you sprained your ankle, now you've pricked your finger with a needle. When he listed it all like that, I realized how clumsy I must have appeared to him. <gasps> it's fine when I'm around, but I can't be with you all the time, you know. Yes, you can. Why not? <laughs> you be careful, okay? Maybe you should keep an eye on me. Was he implying that he would always take care of me when we're together? 
I couldn't get that idea out of my head. Why don't you kiss him? Why don't you kiss him? Mm. Minato went home and after a while my phone vibrated. It was a message from him. Thank you for today. It was rare for him to use ring, so even that single sentence made my heart flutter. Good luck with the rest. I hope it turns out well. <gasps> Look how cute! That's a new one! Oh my god, little tulip bun. Oh, she's so cute. Hang in there. Thanks, I'll do my best. Good night. Oh my god, so cute. I loved it. I closed the ring up, still feeling warm from head to toe. I love like when people are like, oh, I love your nails. What is that? I'm like, oh, it's a little dog that's made out of beer. And they're like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I thought it was an eggplant bun bun. No, she's a tulip. She's a tulip bun. She's so cute. I wanted to help early. Went, wanted to sleep, not help. No help. Not helping. I wanted to sleep early, but I was wide awake. And the light is casting. I mean, I get it. If this is replaying in your head, I understand. What Minato did with my hand kept replaying in my head. Why would he do something that made my head spin so helplessly? And why is he constantly on my mind? Well, I knew the answer to the second question, but I still had no idea what to do with these overflowing feelings. Unable to find an answer, I gave up and closed my eyes to try and sleep. But sleep never came. Okay, there we go. Thought we we're going dark there for a second. Ooh. It had been a few days since I went shopping with Amasawa and my sister's birthday finally arrived. We ate a delicious dinner, an expensive one to spoil her. I gave her my present. <laughs> it's the bunny I wanted. Thank you, Kohi. You're welcome. She squeezed the doll in a big hug, grinning ear to ear. Every minute I spent to make it was worth it. But my sister tilted her head slightly as she stared down at the stuffed animal. Did you choose this, Kohi? Yeah, I actually had someone help me pick it out. Why? Because last time I asked you to buy me a pencil case and you got me something totally different from what I want. You have a good memory for a five-year-old. Told you. See, what if this bunny plushie, they showed it, it was the same tulip bun from the, the, the text messages. <gasps> Cute. I told you I wanted one with strawberries and bunny pictures, which sounds amazing, I might add. I love your sister because I wanted to match with my friends. But you bought me one with a dog holding a balloon, remember? But this time, you got me exactly what I wanted. I grimaced thinking back on that birthday, and my brother quickly jumped into our conversation. Ah, I know, you had that girl who came over the other day help you choose. They could have made a merge if they just added more detail, right? Like, imagine if you did get, like, the collector's edition of this game and it came with a keychain and it was that bunny or the little dog made out of beer. That'd be super cute. Like, they could have them in the background. Kind of like their mascots in this world. <gasps> did you really? Or imagine if there was a plushy version of this and it was the same plushy. It's the tulip bunny. And then, like, an actual plushie you could get in real life. 
I would have thrown my wallet at them. <laughs> yeah. I would have paid 10 more dollars if there was like a keychain version. It came with like the keychain. Like that'd be so cute. How they could be so prospective despite their age was beyond me. It would be pointless to lie about it, so I just told them the truth. So yeah, I did. When they heard my answer, my siblings began to shout excitedly. Oh my god! I knew it. I knew it was her. <gasps> that means you two went out together and chose this for me? That's totally a date. So she is your girlfriend, isn't she? <laughs> You're so lovey dovey. Nana, He's like, no, I but I've I've tasted her blood, so it's really how you seal it. Did you guys have your first kiss yet? Shut up already, just go to bed. <laughs> After I put the two of them to bed, I could finally catch my breath. As I grabbed a towel to take a shower, someone's voice came from behind me. Fahi. When I turned around, I found my sister who I just tucked in a few minutes ago. She clutched the plushie I gave her tightly. She really seemed to love it. I told you to go to sleep, didn't I? But I wanted to ask you something. Fine. What is it? My sister shuffled up to me and looked up with a cheerful, innocent expression. Imagine if we gave a face to this little girl. Like, imagine how cute this little girl could be. When's the lady gonna come here again? Oh, Sometime soon, I guess. Eh? When is sometime soon? Tomorrow or next week? <gasps> I just had another thought. What if the plushie she had picked out was the beer dog? <laughs> so, like, she'd have the tulip bun and she'd have the beer dog. Or the seal that lives in a tulip. Don't rush it. She has her own plans, you know? Give that little girl D a face from Birche. <laughs> She's in my notes, by the way, under honorable mentions. I'm like, little girl D, this girl never got a name, but we had to mourn her death. Oh my god. Then ask her when she's free, Kohi. I will if I can. You have to ask her, okay? Promise me. Okay, I will. Just go back to bed now. Hi. Okay. Oh. One more thing. Thank you for this bunny. I'm gonna take really good care of it. And tell her I said thanks too. Yeah. Seeing her leave, holding the plushie like it was the most precious thing in the world, a natural smile spread across my face. I really like this route a lot. I do too. I mean, I'm waiting for like someone to break his kneecaps, but we're not there yet. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Episode five. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. One day around noon, Minato strolled up to my desk while I was working. Amasawa, about the work I asked you to do. Also, this also fits into K-drama. Being poor in a K-drama and owing debts is a very common thing in K-dramas. What are you working on now? Minato peered at my monitor, his brows furrowed in confusion. I explained that Saitomi asked me to check some design, so I was looking over the data he sent me. Are you planning on playing Touch Starve Demo tomorrow or Puppy Route? Um, it was actually between Touch Starve Demo or uh, Jack and Jean, but I think I'm going to do Touch Starve because I do work earlier than I usually do in the afternoon shift. So I know I can at least finish Touch Starve in a two hour time. I was thinking of also downloading the other game, the Beauty and the Beast one, because I might have time after Touch Starve to play that one too. 
I explained that Satomi asked me to check some designs. Satomi san ga. Satomi asked you how. Plus, I want to dye my hair purple before I start puppies route, which I'm gonna actually try to do today. We might do that today. Because、uh, I also was thinking of having my hair purple for, for the thing we're going to on Saturday. <laughs> Minutepo appeared to be, have mixed feelings about that. I panicked a little, but I assured him that it wouldn't affect the work I was originally supposed to do. Ooh. The Beauty and the Beast wants one hour or one hour and 30 minutes demo. Yeah, because I could do Touch Starve and then I could do that one right after in the same stream and just put the VOD together. Or split the bod if I wanted to. It's not like I'm mad at you. Good. Don't be. I was just curious about what you were doing because it seemed unfamiliar. Why are you jealous? So, to me, some more. Motomoto design is to need a senpai no ikan ga oshin da to me masu. It makes sense that he wants your opinion, Amasala, since you were originally in the design department. Relief washed over me, but he kept looking down at the proposal I was holding. There w a s about 10 sticky tabs with criticisms attached to the proposal. Eh, Saotome san no kikak shode mo, konna ni sticky ire do ko arun desu ne. Wow, even Saitome's proposal has that much to fix, huh? I quickly tried to deny that. <laughs> I told him that Saitomi's proposal was well organized and most of the suggestions I made were simply a matter of different of preference. It was up to Saitomi to decide whether to fix them or not, but I just wanted to point them out. Senpai らしいですね。うちの部署に入ってきた時も、記事のデザインのこと気にしてましたし。That's、uh, so like you, Amasawa. I remember you were so concerned about the article's designs when you first joined us. I remember us butting heads on that. At that time, Minato and I rarely saw eye to eye, and I didn't know how to help him at all. I felt like we were much more friendly now. As I got lost in thought, one of the pages of the proposal slipped out of my hand. I picked it up swiftly, but he got a peek at it. ね、have you tried the diffraction demo? I have not. Is that one also on Steam? If you show me on the Discord, I could possibly download it because I'm going to download the, the, the. Oh gosh, I started to say the Princess and the Peach. That's not, even, that's not even a thing. I just made that up. Beauty and the Beast one? I was gonna download the Beauty and the Beast one today so that I could, like I said, play it tomorrow after Touch Star, possibly. It's so pretty. Ooh. Saitomi's proposal is about fashion. Saitomi's proposal was for a column that would offer fashion advice. Just then, Saitomi appeared from behind Minato. How's it going? You done yet? Saitomi, do not come over here and tell me to hurry up with your necklace that floats off your neck like that. Like, that's not even normal, okay? You're a witch. You're not done yet. Come on, hurry up. He told me that it was due the following day. I told him not to pressure me, and he, is, he playfully poked my head. Eh? Uh, weren't you chatting with Ko this whole time? So, Reni, Antonara design no check cry, Suguni de Kindaro. I thought you could check designs at warp speed, right? Even if I could, I wanted to check them carefully before the deadline since he entrusted me with this work. Before I could say anything, Minato intervened. Betsni, Ashtamadanara sonani sekasanakte in Janai deska. If it's due tomorrow, you don't have to rush her that much. Yeah, but. Just then, Saitomi tried to speak. Minato grabbed my arm. Amasawa, let's go have lunch together. That took me by surprise, but I had no reason to decline. I'm like, okay, let's go eat lunch. <laughs> When I accepted, he turned to toss a few more words at Saitomi. Saotome san mo, 
さっさと休憩入ったらどうですか How about you take a lunch break too, Saitomi? じゃあ俺たちはもう行くんで。We're heading out. See you later. <gasps> We stalked off, still. He stalked off, still gripping my arm. Ooh. ねえねえ、今の何 <gasps> What was that? Minato kun ga goin ni ano kono koto t s u r e t e t e nakata? Did Minato just forcefully drag Leah away? He did. He do do that. Sa. I guess. Ma. あいつのおかげで、こうちゃんもちょっとずつ変わってきてるってことじゃないですか。I guess that means Amasawa is starting to change Ko little by little. That was a long transition. After work, Oe dragged me to Evergreen. まったくもう、驚いちゃった。I wanted them eating lunch together. I don't want Oe. I like Oe, but I don't like Oe. Oe's not dateable. She's got a boyfriend. I can't do that. I thought I was in a dream. So、But then on earth did you two get so close? Apparently, Oe saw what happened earlier and was eager for the details. I told her about the day I walked Minato home and the day we went shopping together to buy his sister birthday present. So you two are getting all cozy. Oe grinned at me. So, Minato is the possessive type.、Hmm. Was Kinji the possessive type? I can't remember. No, he was flirty, which was. I think he was a type of 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 type Loners or closed off people usually get very affectionate once they get attached to, attached to you. You know, she hasn't dated a lot, has she? Does she know that? Oh, it's so small on my screen. Oh my god, that is beautiful. What the heck? A quiet coming of age story about how photography changes the lives of three people in a rainy small town in the past. Paths in life they took. Oh, that looks super cute. Has anyone played the demo? How long is it? <laughs> so, loners and closed off people usually get very affectionate once they get attached to you, you know? That's because we have problems. Then she grew serious. But seriously, you two have gotten much closer than before. I'm pretty sure he got cold with Saitomi because he didn't like you being close to him. That made my heart leap. It took me like an hour and 30 minutes or two. I took my time and went back for certain choices, I think. Fair, fair. I mean, I could try to do two demos tomorrow, but maybe three if I can manage all three. It made my heart leap. As I considered it, Oe spoke with a triumphant look on her face. <laughs> yep, he was totally jealous. Minato definitely seemed as sour when Saitomi came along. If he really was jealous, I couldn't help but feel excited by the prospect. Like, oh my god. So, what about you, Leah? How do you feel about Minato? Her question was so abrupt that I had no adequate response. But I told her that I was happy that Minato had, been open, had opened up to me. I admitted that I was also attracted to his kindness and reliability, which often came out around me. <laughs> She's like, I got problems. Guess you two are really in love with each other. How about you two just become a couple already? If Minato isn't brave enough, you should just tell him how you feel. Always words made me blush. I would never. I honestly never thought of confessing my feelings to him. But I wonder how Minato would react if I told him. 
Oh, we had a fun evening discussing these things and we drank well into the night. A few days later on my day off, I was strolling around town after I had lunch with a friend of mine from school. She was planning afterwards for the two of us. Oh, she had plans afterwards, so the two of us said goodbye and went our separate ways. Just as I thought about doing some shopping before heading home, Senpai? Amasawa, I turned around and found Minato standing there. I was surprised to see him uh, for a moment, but I quickly remembered that the station closest to his house was nearby. What a surprise. What are you doing here? When I told him that I met with some friends from school, his expression twisted. This person's a friend, right? When I nodded, his face relaxed. Just a little curious, nothing more. <laughs> Blue, are you getting nervous? <laughs> so Seeing that reaction reminded me of what Oe said. It made me hopeful, but I couldn't bring myself to ask why he didn't. He wanted to know. We both fell silent for several moments. When I built up my courage to ask if he had any plans for the rest of the day, I felt something cold tap against my cheek. Ome. Rain. <gasps> it's boring. The moment our eyes met, the rain turned into a downpour. Let's get out of the rain. Minato took my hand and ran. We ducked into a supermarket nearby to take shelter. <gasps> Cute! Amasawa, are you okay? Minato's eyes searched my face. There, he let out a small laugh. <laughs> Your hair is in the way. Out the way of what? My beautiful eyes that don't exist? Minato delicately brushed away the wet hair sticking to my face. His unexpected touch made my cheeks flush. I was hoping for a kiss until the rain. I want a kiss in the rain. We got pretty soaked. I hope this sluts up quickly. We'll catch a cold if we don't dry off. Just like Alan. Yeah, just like Alan. Kiss me in the rain and then take me home and, you know, the rest. Magical. <laughs> I looked outside. The rain looked absolutely relentless. <gasps> Finally. Minato pulled out his phone. Oh, uh, our forecast says it's going to rain for a few hours. So what you're saying is we should take a taxi to my place. Do you? <gasps> Do you have any plans after this? No. When I told him that I didn't, Minato typed away at his phone again. Then come to my place, I'll get us a taxi now. Okay, we we'll go to his place. I mean, I was gonna say let's go to my place because there's no little kids there, but his place works too. Sorry, I was trying to send a message fast, but I typoed like three times. <laughs> this is me trying to be quick. Typo. Erase, 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 erase. Typo again. I was trying to refuse, but Minato insisted. Why would you refuse? Do not refuse him. We don't get CGs if you guys are apart. Please. Oh, or you're seriously going to catch a cold. I'll tag along then. Are you sure it's okay? I don't want to impose. Don't worry about me. Oh, 
Also, is this my... Okay. Alright, status. Our status right now has love way higher than work, so we need to work to go up. Are you sure that's okay? Oh, that's love. No, I don't need love to go up. <laughs> he just said nobody's home. Nobody's home right now. I don't want to impose. Okay. Okay. Scandalous. Work did not. Oh, wait. Did it go up a little bit? Oh, no. I might have to go all the way back to the previous save to get this even again. I declined, worried that it might trouble him and Minato just sighed. Okay. I'm gonna load it one more time and then we might have to go back to the previous choice and make it uh, the other one. Don't worry about me. いや、気になりますよ。そんな go back too far? Hang on, am I chapter... chapter am I on? What have I done? What have I done? Oh no, wait, I'm fine. Am I fine? Am I fine? How did I mess up? When did I mess up? Okay. How did I mess up? When did I mess up? The questions I have to ask myself every day. Okay, number four, we should have already been even, but we're not even right now. So I need to go back to chapter three. Even. Okay. Okay, so can't you trust me? Raises love up. Okay, did I mess up on... Okay. We're just gonna jump and see what I've messed up. I don't know how I messed it up. <gasps> I know, I know, I'm trying. Nah, I don't need to watch the spinoff again. I've already seen it. I've seen it. What it seems like I messed up is number four. I guess I thought they were even and they weren't? Question mark. I do like this little screen. Like some of their stuff is really cute, so I don't know why. All right, let's save that here. And we need work to go up. We need work to be even. <laughs> I was too distracted by being like flirtatious. Uh, just doing what I can. Didn't work, okay. We gotta do this, we gotta do this. Um, I do my best at everything. Okay, okay, they're, they're level. I knew that you'd say that, Amasawa. I said that I couldn't work 
as efficient as Minato, nor do I have the planning skills of Saitomi or the reliability of Kobas. And since I didn't have any special skills, I put my best effort relentlessly into everything that I did. You sound like an Olympic athlete or something. When I grumbled back at him, Minato let out a small laugh. That wasn't an insult, that's actually a really big compliment coming from me. Minato looked relaxed and I couldn't help but smile along with him. Alright. Now we gotta get back to the, the thingamabob and redo that one. Do the wrong stick. <laughs> if you do the left stick, it shows you history. Picking the same option so the dialogue stays the same so I can jump faster. Oh. He knows when he says dessert, he's talking about himself, right? Right? Oh, I love the bunny. It's so cute. Such a tease. He is a tease. Like, he knows. He's fully aware that he is a tease. Like, he even admitted it to the bartender. Like, you're not fooling me. The fact that I have to focus on work and love is ridiculous. Right, back here, back here. Then it should be even. We're even. You can see that we're even. They're both at the same level now. Alright. Um... I don't want to impose. Was that one that bad? I literally can't remember if. <laughs> okay, raised it. We'll go with that for now. I declined, worried that it might be trouble for him. And Minato just died. Came over before. What's wrong with coming again? I struggled to find any reason to refuse after that, so I agreed to go with him. Oh, gosh, what's my logic here? Um, I don't want to. Just say no means n I don't want to. The last time I visited, Minato's home was bustling with activity. This time, it was as quiet as an empty concert hall. And look at the light. Like, dang. Sure, Feel free to take a shower, put your clothes in the dryer, but what am I going to wear once I get out of the shower? I did a double take, wondering if I heard him wrong. It felt inappropriate to use his shower after parging into his home like this. I attempted to decline, but my shivering body betrayed me with a loud sneeze. See, you're freezing. What about you? raised his eyebrows at me before flashing a teasing smile. See, he knows. He knows what he's doing. He knows he's terrible. You think I'm going to sneak a peek while you're in the shower? Startled, I shook my head vigorously. I never thought he'd do something like that. I'm just kidding. I won't, of course. I'll do it after you get out of the shower. Hurry up and take your shower. I'll wait in my room. Make us tea, my guy. He took a few steps, then stopped in the doorway. You'll need some clothes. Wait here a moment. With that, he left the living room. When he reappeared, he carried a bundle of clothes in his arm. Here, wear these until your clothes dry. He handed me a short sleeve shirt and a pair of sweatpants. Are these his? Am I wearing his clothes? I accepted them gratefully and headed to the bathroom. Are they going to be too big on me? It's going to be so cute. As I put on the borrowed clothes, realization quickly dawned on me. 
I assumed he grabbed some of his mother's clothes, but these felt much bigger on my body. And the scent that wafted from them was unmistakably minotos. What's that scent, girl? Describe it to me. I like to know what people smell like. It enveloped me as if I was being embraced by him again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's the scent? I shook my head, <laughs> ridding myself of the thought before knocking on his door. Come in. As I creaked the door open, his eyes widened when they landed on me. He, but he quickly turned away. I wondered if something was off, like if I missed some shampoo in my hair. When I asked, he responded vaguely in a strained voice. <laughs> She isn't seen setting yet. I need her to tell me what I need you to paint me a word picture, and she's not doing it. You just look like a child forced to wear grown up clothes. The short shirt sleeves reached my elbows, and I had to roll up the sweatpants to prevent them from dragging on the ground. I suppose anyone would have said the same thing if they saw me. But I pointed out the cons that considering Minato's tall stature, most women would look like this wearing his clothes. <sighs> Like, my guy, you're like a foot and a half taller than me. <laughs> he sighed, got up from his seat, and stepped closer to me. With barely any space between us, I had to look up at him. <laughs> Do you seriously have no idea what you're doing to me? What am I doing? You did not just say something sexy to me, to be clear. Suddenly, Minato's hands clasped around my arm. <gasps> His grip was gentle, his fingers barely brushing against my skin, almost soothing to the touch. His hand slowly traveled upward, slipping into the sleeve of my t-shirt. Or do you? His implication finally hit me. Paralyzed by the intensity of his gaze, I was unable to speak or move. She's dying. At least she is wearing pants. <laughs> That's so true. But, like, did she have to, like, triple knot them around her waist? Like, how does she look? For a moment, we were both silent then. <laughs> he just, like, shoved her away? What did he just do? What was that shake? Whatever. I gave you those clothes in the first place. Forget what I said. He draped a towel over my head roughly and released my arm. <laughs> Your hair is still wet. If you're not careful, you'll still catch a cold even in dry clothes. Despite protesting that I could dry my hair, Minato insists on doing it for me. He just wants to touch you. He could warm us up. Yeah! Like, there's some things. Like, what, what am I doing? Oh, no. I'm wearing a baggy shirt. What could possibly go wrong? I felt like I was being cared for like a child, making my skin run hot with embarrassment, but it was strangely enjoyable. As he fussed over me, I noticed a book sitting on his bed. Preferably with less clothes. <laughs> he must have been reading it when he, when I was in the shower. I pointed to it. I want to know what else is in these... What's in these drawers? This is a book of that it's a book on economics. <laughs> Besides novels, I like to read those types of books. He's just here, like, fluffing our hair. His response reminded me of a previous conversation we had when we first met. That was the day we walked to the station together for the first time. The book on his bed was similar to the one that fell out of his bag that day. Curious, I asked if he was sudden studying for a potential career change in the future. Oh, まあそんなとこです。Something like that. He's just preparing for his own court case, honestly. His vague response concerned me, but I didn't push the matter. To change the subject, I asked about the plushie he's, he sewed at my place. あの時はありがとうございました。あいつ、すごく喜んでて。Thank you for your help. She absolutely loves it. So to a kini tarasukte, my nichi shuni netemasu. She loves it so much that she sleeps with it every night. Demo, 
、俺のセンスじゃないって、すぐに気づかれました。Actually, she knew. 意外と鋭いんですよね。Actually, she knew right away that I didn't pick it out alone. Kids can sure be perceptive, huh? 先輩と一緒に選んだって話したら、やっぱりって。When I told her that I picked it out with you, Amasawa, she acted like she knew it was you that picked it out the whole time. Minato's expression softened. I didn't do much, but I was delighted that the plush Minato worked so hard on brought, out, brought her such joy. Imagine if we got to pick the plushie. What if there w a s like three little designs, right? One's like the bunny that matches the description he gave, and the other two do not. Like one has really short ears. How cute would that have been? Hear me out. I didn't do much, but I was delighted that the plush Minato worked so hard on brought her such joy. I took it on there. Kiga Mutara Matasanochi. A so vini kitty at the Kurasai. She said she misses you. Please come by and say hi to her again sometime. The invitation to come again made my heart soar, and for once I embraced the feeling. Senpai? Amasawa, she's like dying. Minato's voice broke through my thoughts, concern edging his tone thanks to my long silence. And my, as my vision locked on his beautiful blue eyes, I felt an overwhelming urge to tell him how I felt just then. A distant beeping interrupted us. She's like, I'm ready to say I like, like you. <laughs> Your clothes are dry. I couldn't bring myself to follow him. I crouched down to make myself small, as one does. My mind whirled with a thousand thoughts that I couldn't articulate. I breathed in deeply, trying to calm my racing heart. Then I lightly slapped my cheeks, attempting to clear my head. Senpai, what are you doing? Amasawa, what are you doing? Hearing him call for me, I hurried out of my room. Or his room, not my room, it's mine now. When I passed by the window, the sky had finally cleared. Time to go home. I saw Amasawa off outside. Just as I was about to go back inside, my phone rang unexpectedly. Doi san. Doi. The name that flashed on my screen belonged to the last person I wanted to talk to. Ignoring him would only make matters worse. Reluctantly, I answered the call.、はい、Hello. Oh, お疲れ Hey, dude, you busy? Why does he get a face? d o w e sounded oddly cheery. Given that I never heard him sound this happy before, I immediately felt uneasy. No. What do you want? <gasps> Am I gonna get kidnapped? Oh, I know you're real busy now. Don't lie to me.、Mm. What do you mean?、Uh, oh. Still playing innocent, huh? Let me enlighten you then. Next words d o e y spoke left me completely taken aback. That chick you just had over. Damn, she's hot. She with you? <laughs> I whipped around and looked everywhere, but there was no sign of him. <laughs> How did you? <laughs> yeah, I wonder, right? <laughs> so, what's the deal? She with you or not? I was at a loss. How much did he know? I'd call Boss Man. Well, Boss Man can't help if he's committing espionage.、I、had a feeling he had seen through me if I lied, but I didn't think I had a choice. I barely know her. Is it so? Well, not like I give a shit. But hey, don't you have work to do? What are you doing chasing tail on the clock? You haven't brought any information to the table. Are you serious about this or not? 
I'm sorry. What if you're trying to bring down Astarcio because Astarcio was like where his dad worked and his dad is no longer with us? So he's trying to get information to this guy to try and do something about it. Like he wants to bring the company down. But <laughs> could be vice versa. I don't know. I'm sorry. <sighs> I've had enough of your empty apologies. You know what your job is, right? People are just pathetic. If you can't provide me any valuable information, then you're going to have to sabotage a Starcy instead. Huh? What? Doey scoffed. <laughs> Why so surprised? I mean, that's how it works, right? If you can't boost me up, you can at least tear down my enemies. Don't down, right? Until Starcy gets shut down, you can just go work for some other crappy app. Makes no difference to me, so you figure out which one you want. Bye. Doe hung up abruptly, leaving me to swallow his threat on my own. Is he watching me? Since when and from where? That was just a warning. If Doei wanted, he could easily use Amasawa to as leverage. A wave of dread crashed into me and I kicked myself for being so negligent. I never should have given him another weakness to exploit. He already had my family to hold over my head after all. But I let my guard down. I let myself have feelings for Amasawa and I gave Doei another way to control me. <laughs> I can't afford to let anyone else get involved with this. Ooh. Ooh. A few days passed since my visit to Minato's place. I was at Tempest D in the company of Director Kobas and Minato. Typically, those of us in the operations teams rarely visited other companies. However, Director Kobas told us the meeting would revolve around the schedule for our joint venture app. Good job, both of you. You can head straight home for today. At the office entrance after the meeting, Director Kobas glanced at his watch and dismissed us for the day. But our work day isn't over yet. Well, it will be by the time we get back. I've got other tasks to attend to, so I'll be headed back. But you two can head home. See you tomorrow. <gasps> okay, Yoji. If you say so, fam. With that, Director Kobas left Tempest D on his own. I turned to Minato about to suggest we leave as well, but... He walked out the door without a word. I followed him outside. When I reached out to stop him, he looked back with an irritated glance. Ore. I have some errands to run by my, around here. You should go home by yourself. Without waiting for a response, he briskly walked away. Minato had been acting strangely over the past few days. Do these people not watch dramas? <laughs> no, they can't because they're in one. He was particularly curt with me. And I was reminded of his demeanor when I first joined the operations team. Whenever something was off with Minato, it typically had to do with his side job. Afraid that something was wrong, I hurried after him again to ask him directly then. Minato, who was a few steps ahead of me, suddenly stopped in his tracks. Following his gaze, I spotted an unfamiliar man standing on the sidewalk. Oh, Minato-chan! Hello! Oh, hey, Minato. Long time no see. How have you been? 
うちで打ち合わせでもあった、so、you pocket, so you the next The stranger who seemed to be an acquaintance of Minato approached us with a friendly grin. Judging by the way he spoke, he seemed to be a Tempesty employee. As I watched them, the man suddenly noticed me and approached. Hello, nice to meet you. Are you Minato's colleague? I'm Joey. I went to college with Minato here. He offered his business card and I gave him mine in return with a smile. We're actually pretty good friends. We keep in touch pretty frequently, right? I wouldn't say we were that close. <laughs> This kid never changes. At first glance, their interaction reminded me of how Saitomi and Minato typically teased each other in the office, but this time Minato looked grim, even a little fearful. Upon seeing my puzzled expression, Doei's mouth stretched to a lighthearted smile. Hey, are you free today? How about we all go out for a drink? What? What? You can't just. What? What, you busy? I guess you don't have to join us then. Ew! You're not taking me or Amasawa anywhere. And who are you the hell to decide what Amasawa can and cannot do? I was going to ask you about this before. I was going to ask you about it. She told me she had plans. Besides, aren't you supposed to be doing work, Doei? Minato quickly shut down the conversation, then turned to me with a stern expression. I need to speak with him for a few minutes. Amasawa, please go ahead without me. Minato grabbed Doei's arm and dragged him away. Since Doei was a friend from college, I guess their conversation was personal, not business related. I see no flags because I don't have eyes. So I don't even. Register this event as even a little bit suspicious. I'm good. Despite that, I couldn't shake off a nagging sense of unease about Minato's behavior. <laughs> as I headed towards the station, I looked back and caught sight of their retreating figures. Jesus, she's dumb. Let's go stalk. After a moment's hesitation, I decided to discreetly follow them. Look at her. She got a bone. She got one. She got one of her spinal column bones. Minato and Doei were take, talking in a back alley a short distance from Tempest D. Hidden in the shadows, I watched and listened to their conversation unfold. What are you up to? Huh? Why do you ask? I swear bumping into you today was a total coincidence. Anyways, don't forget you have a job to do. You haven't forgotten that what we talked about, right? No, I remember. Glad to hear it. Why don't we get that girl to help? Never. Amasawa has nothing to do with this. The unexpected mention of my name made me jump. I couldn't fully comprehend the context, but it was clear their conversation was far from amicable. She's not like me. She's dedicated to her work, so. Uh, So you don't think she'd betray her company like you? Guess you really are smitten with her, huh? 
情報を持ってくるかエスターシ潰すか Have you decided? Are you going to gather information for me? Or are you going to help me bring down a star sea? This question made my eyes bulge. What eyes? What do you mean, bring down a star sea? So, I'm not sure. Not yet. I'm not sure. 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 All bright bark and still no bite, even after everything I told you? Not a no, no, no. お前が今までしてきたことをバラしてやろうか。Got an idea. How about I spill the beans to that woman you're so into? <笑>やめてください。Please don't do that. He doesn't deny it at least. <笑>そりゃ嫌だよな。Of course you don't want me to. 会社の情報を漏洩させてたなんて、最低の裏切り行為だ。軽蔑されるに決まってる。You've been leaking her company's secrets, the worst kind of betrayal. She'll despise you for sure if she ever finds out. I barely managed to stifle a gasp, dumbfounded by his words. Cold sweat trickled down my back, and as anxiety and shock swirled inside me. Oh, you got to m o t it. I know what to do. I'm not going to do it. 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 If you need more time, how about you let me borrow that girl until you make up your mind? Huh? c o s t What do you mean by that? What episode is this? Five? Yeah, we're in five. This one, honestly, we've been trucking quite a long. Oh my, sa. Gaki ja nen da kara son kura imi wa kan daro. Each chapter has been about an hour so far. So. Come on, don't play dumb with me. You know exactly what I mean. <laughs> Not one for violence, but I'll make an exception for pigs like him. <laughs> Minato seized Doey by the collar, rage darkening his expression. I want to intervene, but my feet were rooted to the spot. I don't want to intervene, but my feet were rooted to the spot. Go ahead, hit me if you want, but you'll be in for it the second you do. You want to get arrested for assault, huh? あんたって本当最低ですね。You bastard. I got zero patience for this ugly ass. I want to get rid of him already. Oh my god. <笑>お前が全然やる気出さねえのが悪い。You've only got yourself to blame for your lack of motivation. Zoe grinned as he smacked away Minato's hands from his shirt. すぐ。お前もその最低野郎と大して変わんねえってこと。Think you're better than me? Nah, you're exactly the same as this bastard. そんなこと。I'm well ちゃんとわかってますよ。<笑>まあいいや。俺ももうこれ以上待ってらんねえからさ。Anyways, I can't wait much longer. あと一週間だけ時間やるよ。それまでにどうするか決めとけ。I'll give you another week to decide what you're gonna do by then. There's no way out, so don't even think about running. Maybe Minato, with those unsettling words, Doei departed. Minato looked deadly pale in the dim light. I was torn about what to do. I never talked to him. I wanted nothing more than for him to dismiss everything I heard as a lie, but the chances of it being true frightened me. I was frozen in place, my mind a whirlwind of fear and anxiety. I decided to walk away quietly when suddenly a cat, my shoulders banged, <laughs> slid and fell. <laughs> Who's there? Leave your bag. Leave your bag. Just run. Minato's sharp voice forced me out of hiding. Upon seeing me, his eyes widened. Simple. She is not a stealthy person. It's her fault. She has no eyes, you see. I'm a Sawa. <laughs> a bag. After a long, hard stare, Minato averted his gaze. What are you doing here? Are you lost or something? He was clearly trying to change the topic. I imagined how much easier it would have been to give him a non committal response and leave things as they were. You know your way back, right? I have to go. 
As Minato turned to leave, I moved swiftly. Action, acting on instinct, I lunged to grab his arm and hold him back. Can you please let me go? Despite his request, Minato didn't try to break free up from my grip. He looked down, seemingly resigned to the confrontation. Taking a deep breath, I asked him if there was any truth to what Doei said. I longed for him to deny it, but Minato's silence and pained expression confirmed my worst fears. They said more than words could ever, which is great because he's a man of few words. Confusion and disappointment jabbed at me. I drew closer to Mo <laughs> Minato. So what? Minato's response stopped me short. There's no special reason. It was just an easy way to make some extra cash. Guilty, not at all. I don't have any loyalty to Starcy. Stario even. If you want to report me to the company, be my guest, I won't stop you. Is that why you're saying all this with your eyes closed? Unless you're conflicted. Oh no, is he going to make a move on us and we're going to have to be uncomfortable about it? He smiled. His smile felt like a slap in the face as he stepped towards me. Since you're such a good person, Amasawa, are you going to keep my secret for me? Better yet, want to help me out? My results have been underwhelming recently, and I could use someone like you. He was speaking pure nonsense. MC, I know you got no voice, but say something. <laughs> this wasn't the Minato I knew. Speechless, I only managed to shake my head in refusal. Use your brain, MC. Do we know she has one? You're colder than I thought. Oh, so you admit you know I like you. Now's the time you want to admit that? When we're in a dark alley after I found out you're betraying our company? Okay. You won't even do this one simple thing for the guy you like. My jaw drop. My wide-eyed shock elicit a scornful laugh from him. I'm, I want to see your eyes. Surprised? It was obvious to anyone. That's a bummer. I thought you'd make a useful pawn. Anchor made my blood run hot in. Just cry. Just keep crying in front of him. Just cry until he's uncomfortable. Want to make a guy uncomfortable? Cry. <laughs> Man, they all mean though. He's just being a liar though. He's just trying to make her run. Tears rolled down my face unbidden. And I couldn't get any words out. Minato simply adverted his gaze, offering no response at all. Was that really the reason he did all this? Fighting words tum tumbled out of my mouth as though a dam within me had burst. I wanted to stop, but I couldn't. And just as I was about to utter, I knew I couldn't, something I knew I couldn't take back. I wish she would have told me what she was saying. What was she saying? Rude, meanie, tall guy. Like, what is she saying? Just shut up already. I thought I saw his hands trembling before he abruptly pulled my face towards him. Now's not the best time to kiss me. I'm kind of upset right now. I don't know. It's gorgeous. It's a great scene, but like... Uh. Before I knew what was happening, our lips locked together. My words were captured by his desperate lips. My breath stolen by his touch. His grip on me was unyielding and unwilling to let me go. I was secure in his arm. <laughs> We parted for a moment and I gasped for air before his lips crashed into mine again. Despite my bewilderment, I clung to Minato, catching his arm in a vice grip. 
The world fell away. I didn't know how long we held onto each other. Only when my lungs cried for air and tears welled up in my eyes did he reluctantly pull away. You have no idea. Because you don't tell me anything. His voice was strained, teetering on the brink of tears. How and when I f left that place was all hazy to me, but the lingering heat on my lips served as a stark reminder that he hadn't, it hadn't been a dream. You just walk off after that. He's like, you have no idea. And she's all like, good day. And then she left. A few days later, as the building was due for facility inspections, all employees were asked to leave by evening. I wasn't ready to go home, so I wandered the city aimlessly until I needed the rest. Exhausted, I decided to drop by Evergreen. As I sipped absentmindedly from my glass, the manager struck up a conversation with me. She's only had one spinal column delivered so far, so I don't know if she's going to have a full backbone or not. It's been a while since you've came here alone. Oh, I feel it. You seem rather down. Something bothering you? <laughs> the only time she had a backbone was in Sui's route. Yeah, that's the only time she was speaking her mind. Pretty disappointed with how MC reacted when things got really tough. It's because she doesn't have a voice. It's like she's. They just said she yelled at him. What did she say? We don't know because she doesn't have her own dialogue boxes. Like, and then he kissed us. <laughs> I wasn't sure I wanted to talk to anyone about anything. Moreover, the problem I was dealing with wasn't something I could just tell anyone. Judging by my silence that I didn't want to talk, he chuckled sympathetically and bowed before leaving. Minato hadn't come to work since that day. He claimed he was sick, but I found that hard to believe. Minato's secret had been a shock, no doubt. While I was stunned initially, there were signs of his unusual behaviors all along. No... Yeah, yeah, that's when I said, is he a spy? Sorry, when he collapsed at the office. <laughs> when he hugged me. When he kissed me. He had been concealing it all, dealing with all of these issues by himself. I was certain that everything about his side job was just a lie he spun to convince me. The person he didn't want to talk to wasn't some client, it was Doey. De? Do Oops, sorry, I thought it was... <laughs> it was too late, but I, oh, sorry. I had a sinking feeling that Doey was threatening Minato. I'm still used to Cupid, where Cupid doesn't have the last thing in the chat. It was too late, but I wished I had listened to him instead of interrogating him. His strained voice and tortured expression continues to haunt me. No matter how deeply I regretted hurting him, it was too late to change anything. I excelled deeply when I realized my phone was buzzing in my pocket. It's doughy, isn't it? I pulled it out, but I didn't recognize the number on the screen. Uh, no. <gasps> um, did we give our card to his mom? Their voice sounded familiar and I asked for their name. I apologize for calling you like this. This is Minato's mother. She must have gotten my number from the business card I'd given her when we met. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Do you happen to know where Kohi is right now? Her question filled me with dread. I thought he had been at home this entire time. He's been acting strange lately. He left home last night, and I haven't heard from him since. He's He's an adult, so I don't normally try to keep track of him, but it's not like him to go be gone so long without contacting me. Her 
I tried reaching him at your company, but they said he was absent. Do you know anything, Amasawa? The events of the past few days flashed through my mind, but I couldn't bring myself to share that with her. But if this was the reason for Minato's disappearance... Toei had given him a time limit, and the building facility inspection was scheduled for tonight, which meant the office would be empty. I told his mom I was going to find him, hung up and raced to the office. He's gonna be wearing spy glasses. Curious. <gasps> Spin off! Come in. The door opened slowly after I invited her in. Kawaii. Adorable. That was my first thought upon seeing Amasawa wearing my oversized clothes. I feel like I'm being tested somehow. Yeah, I mean, you brought her your clothes. <laughs> Maybe I should have offered her some of my mom's clothes instead. Amasawa asked if there was shampoo in her hair. No thanks to my staring at her. She just looked like a child forced to wear grown-up clothes. Amasawa retorted that most women would look like this. It was besides the point. <sighs> like Midnight Sun, we get to see the internal monologues of Between Things. She's so cute. I just want to tease her. She was always like this. I didn't know if she did it on purpose, but I wished she'd stop for the sake of my heart. I rose to my feet and approached Amasawa. She looked up at me with a blank, unexpecting expression. It's easy when you don't have eyes. Do you seriously have no idea what you're doing to me? As my hands brushed Amasawa's arms, her shoulders jolted. She's so delicate, it's like she needs the gentlest touch. With the slightest pull of this arm, I could easily pin her down on the bed. And she seems utterly oblivious. I let my fingers glide along her arm, caressing her skin softly. Or do you? I move my hand as slowly as possible, compelling her to focus on the sensation. Finally seeming to grasp the situation, Amasawa's cheeks flushed a deep red. My better judgment cautioned me not to proceed any further. Whatever, I gave you those clothes in the first place, forget what I said. It's technically but usually the side stories aren't like a scene we already saw from the other person's point of view. Your hair is still wet. If you're not careful, you'll still catch a cold even in dry clothes. As I roughly tried her hair, the tension gradually dissipated. Good. I, sh I shouldn't make advances on a girl I don't want a relationship with. <gasps> I should know better by now. Why? Are those two kids in the living room yours? But I don't want her dating anyone else. What a headache. Chapter six, we're doing it. Episode, episode six, that's what I meant to say. When I burst into the supposedly vacant office, the lights inside were still on. I scanned the room and found Minato at his desk, staring at his monitor. Simple. Amasawa. <gasps> Minato didn't seem particularly surprised or upset to see me. Why are you here at this hour? Your mom called. His tone was unexpectedly calm. The glow from the computer screen gave the entire scene 
a sense of surrealism, I asked what he was doing at the office. Are you really asking me what I'm doing? You should have figured it out by now. Thought the easiest thing to do would be to plant some bugs in the columns that launch tomorrow. Minato continued working on his computer, not even sparing a glance at my direction. I seized his arm and his brow drew together in irritation. Could you let go of me? I told him that I couldn't bear to see him do this after he dedicated so much of his self to a star seat. I tried desperately to convince him, but my words seemed to have no impact. Just shut up. Do you really think you can stop me? <gasps> you can't be serious. His unusually icy gaze frightened me, but I couldn't back down. In an attempt to persuade him, I asked for the real reason he was doing this. I told him I didn't buy that he, what he said before. Push all his stuff off his desk. Who cares if you break a few things? I begged him to tell me the truth. His expression slowly softened. Like, put your entire body in front of his computer. He can't type through you. Minato waited a few moments and took a deep breath before launching into it. All right, it's got to do with his dad. <laughs> After landing himself in a massive amount of debt, my father conveniently disappeared. He used to run a small factory, but he was lured by enticing investments, opportunities, and fell into a trap. He was barely home. He brought in some money, and that was far better than how things are now. I was in my third year of college when he vanished. On top of that, a job offer I had was rescinded. We plunged into poverty overnight, and debt collectors were calling us constantly. Every day, my brother and sister would cry. My mother tried to act as everything was okay, but she ran herself ragged. That's when Joey approached me. That's a terrible offer. That offer is not even slightly okay. What? He said he'd help me find a job if in return, all I had to do was whatever he asked? Like, that's too much. That's like the worst deal with a devil I've ever heard of. Like, I want to find his father, dropkick him just for Minato and the family. It was the only way he could get we could get by without my father while trying to pay off all of his debt. Thanks to Doey, I managed to get a job at Tempesty. Yeah, but he can't ask you to do things forever. Like that's the whole like what? Initially he didn't ask me to do anything immoral. Unless he was given a big position in the company, maybe. Yeah, if it was a big position, but like also if it's like whatever he wants forever, that's ridiculous. One favor begets one favor, you know what I'm saying? Not forever favors. I only did small tasks to boost Doei's standing in the office. Just simple things to make him look good. Lifetime servitude, yeah, for one job, like no. 
As time passed, Doei got more demanding and cutthroat. Tempesty に入社してから2年くらいだった頃、俺はエスタリオに転職しました。About two years after joining Tempesty, I transferred to Estario. いわゆる産業スパイですね。I suppose I'm what you'd call a corporate spy. 新しい企画とかシステムデータとか使えそうなものを見繕って土井さんに横流ししてました。Whenever there was a system update or a new project, I'd pick out what seemed useful and pass that information on to Doei. あの人はそれをまるで自分のもののようにテンプスティでプレゼンする。Then he'd present those ideas to Tempesty as if they were his own. それがうまくいけば、俺は土井さんから金をもらえた。And if the idea went well, Doei would reward me with money. それをもう、何度も繰り返しているんです。We've done this so many times by now. No! わかりますか今更辞めたところで、何の意味もないんですよ。Do you get it now? Quitting at this point won't change anything. You're in your 20s, Kohi. You got so much time、like、ahead of you. Calm down. There's no going back for me now. He looked helpless and completely resigned. But I still couldn't accept that he had done the right thing, even if it was for the sake of his family. I told him this gently, but he didn't take kindly to my response. I got it in there, so not a I think I don't know that. What did he hit? Me? Okay. Minato erupted in anger, slamming his fist on the desk. I had never seen him like this before. I froze, unable to think. You certainly have a knack for grandstanding. Do I? <laughs> I barely have a voice. You won't help me, but you are always there with a pointless lecture. Who the hell do you think you are? Seriously, just leave me alone. <gasps> Minato's family suddenly came to mind. His invisible family. Look at this lovely, invisible family. They were all so kind and loving. They looked at Minato with such affection. He must have been complying with Doei's demands to shield his mother and two younger siblings from everything. Yeah, but forever? Like, come on, man. He was struggling this whole time to protect the people dear to him. I knew whatever I said wouldn't reach him. So instead, I decided to explain it to him with my body, Amasawa. I pulled Minato's head towards me delicately, and he couldn't mask his surprise. I was right with my body. His shoulders flinched slightly, but I ignored it. I just held him. What are you doing? I don't know. This is the awkwardest hug I've ever seen. He's just looking at her chest. Like, what are you doing? I told him there was no hidden meaning. I simply loved him. And I couldn't bear to see him hurt anymore. He really needed a hug. He did. <laughs> if I couldn't alleviate his pain, I would do it in a heartbeat. But if I could, <laughs> we'll stop him with Dabubas. <laughs> Minato was right. I was too powerless to change anything. Even so, I couldn't just leave him to face it all alone. Hurt? Who's hurt? Me? Oh, he's masking so hard. He mumbled in confusion. I nodded slowly. I told him I knew he was burdened with guilt and repressed those feelings in order to keep protecting his family. Like how to lose a guy in 10 days. <laughs> Pemsey, you're so powerless right now. That's because she only has one backbone. I don't know if you want to tell the boss. Hey, you know what's happening? Espionage. Um, but for a good cause, they'll ne that's not how that would work. <laughs> He could never erase the past, but I didn't want him to hurt himself anymore. Even if Minato's family was happy enough to smile together, it would mean nothing if he couldn't share that with them, I added. 
I knew that desire was selfish, but I told him that if he had to keep suffering like this alone, then I would. それ以上はダメです。I don't finish that. I want to know what she was going to say. What was she going to say? Minato's hand swiftly covered my mouth, cutting me off mid sentence. I mean, they'll help regardless, but that depends on what the plan is to do. Ah,、oh, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Masaka, my new old guy took it all. Man, you get on this car. Hold on. Did you actually take what I said to heart? Hunta de Honto. Oh, he told you, she told you, she told you. You're so kind, it borders on foolishness. That brought me back to the conversation we had in the alley. Semp, not not a not or no good. Gosh, hang on. So did I give a damn it? Is it tiny? He was clear he only said all that to keep me at an arm's length. He never meant it, any of it. Helping is the one thing you can't do, never. It's dangerous, but MC and his family are in danger. Are they, though? Because this guy seems like a weak little baby who's like, I'm gonna tell. What are you gonna tell? On yourself? <laughs> that was like my TikTok moment. That's the moment where the music plays in the background. Do, do, do. Like you're on yourself, you're gonna tell them that you've been like getting secrets from the other place? Go for it. Do it. How do you get him a job at, at Tempesty at all? Like. <sighs> Senpai ni son na koto sa stara. If I let you fall into this trap too, Amasawa, I'll never forgive myself. I mean, the trap was ridiculous. Like, do me any favor I ask forever. I'd like ridiculous. Asia out here swearing up a storm in the chat. Honestly, I got zero patience for this. Just expose Doey or whatever his name is. I literally forgot how to spell the ugly bitch's name as she spelled it perfect, by the way. If I let you fall into this trap too, Amasawa, I'll never forgive myself. Also, a shadow cast over his face as he continued. True. I'm fully aware of how foolish I was. Regardless of the circumstances, there must have been a better way. But back then, I thought Doei was my only way out. See what happens was his name is pointless for me to remember. <laughs> it was so pointless that you remembered it perfectly. I went into survival mode and did what he said without giving it much thought. Yeah, but his. Okay. I. So <sighs> stay. When I finally understood what I got involved with, there was no turning back. I was so determined to make sure that I didn't care. As long as my family was taken care of, I was ready to do anything. But in the end, it was my fault. Eventually, I realized I wasn't protecting them at all. That was just what my pride wanted me to believe. I deceived everyone and betrayed their trust. I don't expect anyone to forgive me for that, for what I've done, even. So, he trailed off and said nothing more. I patiently waited for him to continue. After a while, Minato slowly lifted his gaze. I'm gonna end this. しし I might regret this decision later, but still. I'm ready to take responsibility for my actions. そこそこ適当にやってればいいと思ってました。けど、先輩と一緒に働いて、初めて仕事が楽しいと思えた
But after I started working with you, Amasawa, I found joy in my work for the first time. That's exactly why I have to do the right thing, and that is. Burn. Tempest you to the ground. Got it. I can't let you get yourself wrapped up in all of this, Amasawa. His voice strengthened with resolve, revealing his newfound determination. That was weird. After that, we started to lay out a plan of action. While we were outside, while he went outside to make a phone call, I brought some drinks from the vending machine and waited for him to return. Yay, arson! <laughs> I've lied to my mom for now. You've been lying to your mom for years, buddy. Once everything is settled, I'll come clean about everything to her. He dragged out the chair across from me, took a seat, and as we talked things over, Minato declared he was going to end all of this, but that was easier said than done. I asserted that our biggest issue was Doei, who was had been threatening Minato the whole time. That's right. Of course, that doesn't mean Doei's the only one at fault here. Eh, I would argue that he's pretty bad. But if we don't take care of him, he'll likely find someone like me to manipulate again. So she said it himself, we gotta take care of him. We gotta... And to prevent that from happening, I plan to reveal all of Doei's actions to Tempesty. I can get rid of him for you. Yeah, Asia's got a shovel. The plan seems sound to me. I remember Yoshioka, a high-level employee and the future president of Tempesty, and suggested Minato approach him. You're right. Yoshioka's a good man. He wouldn't condone what Doei's been up to. Since he's going to be the next Tempesty president, it might be best to talk to him. I'm going to compile all the documents and evidence and submit them to both Astario and Tempesty right away. Minato seemed to have gathered his resolve, yet it didn't bring me any relief, a weight pressed down on my heart. Submitting those documents meant that Minato's misdeeds would be laid bare alongside Doei's. Why do you look so sad? You were upset when you found out what I've been up to, right, Amasawa? You're completely justified. In fact, that's the approach, appropriate response. Minato's reactions were difficult to forgive, and I already criticized him for it. How is is the love and work status doing uh they're even right well no they're not even but i have one more choice in this route i haven't made yet so right now they're bleh, but once i get another choice i hopefully will fix it i did have to go back and redo a couple choices to make this one even before the fifth choice so we're doing we're doing our best and my best could be entirely wrong by the way Minato's actions were difficult to forgive, and I already criticized him for it. But at that moment, I hoped that all my being, with all my being, that he would be given some clemency. Unless we don't have a choice in this route, in which case I should have picked one that gave me no choice at all. The next day, I sought out Director Kobas as soon as I arrived at work. Director, can I have a moment? Hmm? I just love his voice so damn much. Like, <sighs> of course, but is something wrong? I have something very important to tell you. So, what's going on? 
何か仕事でトラブルでもあったか。Are you having trouble with your work? いえ、そういうんじゃなくて。No, it's nothing like that. His sincere concern only magnified my guilt. Still, it was too late to turn back. I took a deep breath, steeled myself, and began. I have been leaking vital data from Astario to other companies. He almost recoiled in shock, his eyes widening. Huh? Oh my. What are you saying? What the hell are you? So, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. Please allow me to apologize and explain. I handed him the folder of evidence I had prepared. He flipped through the documents and nodded grimly. Alright, proceed. Pop off, <laughs> let's go. I told Director Kobas everything. I detailed my actions, the problems plaguing my family, and how I was coerced by Goey. The director didn't show a Trace of anger, he just listened quietly the whole time. I am truly sorry for everything I've done. I had now ex no expectations of forgiveness, but my heartfelt apology was the only thing I could offer. I understand I don't deserve forgiveness for my actions, and I am fully prepared to face any and all consequences. Yoji? Director Kobas remained silent. Is he upset? It's hard to say. Like, I mean, with eyes like a snake, it's so hard. Why am I getting tearing up? Oh no. <laughs> of course he is. Of course he is. I'm surprised he hasn't started yelling at me or slapping me upside the head. Finally, the director spoke slowly. You complete and utter fool. Honestly, that was that was the best thing I ever heard. Yeah, I'm I'm down. Kono Ken was Shachoy Hokano Yakuin Nimo Orekara Hanashtioku. Omawa Hitomaz Ieda Taikish took it. I'll inform the president. And the other executives, you are to stay home until these matters are resolved, understood. Hi. Yes. I bowed deeply and was about to leave the conference room when the director stopped me. Making that my alarm sound, I should get it without the music in the background. It stopped now. Oh no. Bakayaroga. Like that voice. That's so good. I bowed deeply and was about to leave. Got Oi, stopped. Mada Hanashiwa Watenaizo. Wait, we're not done here. As I turned back in surprise, our eyes met his expression hardened. I'll be blunt. You're an absolute fool for doing what you did. But more importantly, I cannot and will not let this Doei character get away with exploiting one of my employees. I'll be taking these documents directly to Tempesty personally, and you'll be coming with me. I sucked in an astonished breath. Director, I can't ask you to do that for me. Listen, Minato. You are an important part of our team. You've made mistakes, but you've been a dedicated worker both for our company as a whole and for a Starcy. Yoshi's the best. <laughs> Yoshi's the best, not Yoshi. And that I'm more than willing to lend a hand to help you in any way I can. I'm, I'm sorry for not seeing you were carrying such a burden despite working side by side with you. How young is Yoji, by the way? He 
is boss man, but like, to my amazement, Director Kovas deeply bowed his head in apology. <laughs> Please don't. You don't owe me an apology. If anyone's at fault here, it's me, not you, director. Please, this is all my fault. As I hung my head in shame, biting my lip and self loathing the director gently patted me on the shoulder. You don't have to deal with everything on your own. You can't solve the world's problems by sacrificing yourself, and even if you could, there'd be those that wouldn't want you to. I understand that with everything your family has been going through, you feel like you have to put on a brave face, but... たまには人に寄りかかって、わがまま言ったりしろ。茶なきゃお前、いつかぶっ壊れるぞ。Is Yoshi talking to me directly right now? Because I kind of don't want him to. <laughs> you have to learn to lean on others too. If you don't, you'll just end up burning yourself out. 俺でも、サオトメでも、あいつでもいい。みんな喜んでお前の力になる。Be <laughs> it me, Saitomi, or Amasawa, because always not real. We're all here for you. <laughs> Director. I was expecting an outburst over what I did, not kindness. But he had an endless well of compassion. Really? <laughs> to be fair, he lets homeless men stay in his house when they want to go to our house, so it's fair. I swear this department is filled with people who are too weird or too kind. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. Arigato. Thank you. Good. Oh, my bad. He said arigato. I was thought we're done. With another deep bow, I try to hide the tears welling up in my eyes. A few days later, Minato and Director Kobas visited Tempesty. I was informed they met with Tempesty's executive officers, including Yoshioka. The leadership expressed remorse for the actions of their employee, Doei. They pledged to implement reforms, reforms and precautions to prevent such incidents from occurring in the future. As a result, Astario and Tempesty decided to continue their partnership. Bring me home, Joji. As for the losses Astario incurred, Astario chose not to involve law enforcement nor seek repar reparation from Minato or Doei. Minato was punished with suspension and Doei received a pay cut. I was told their penalties were lighter than expected thanks to Director Kobas' intervention with senior management. For Doei, who had climbed the corporate ladder using information from Minato, he was demoted in addition to his pay cut. Ultimately, he resigned presumably unable to cope with his demotion. I also learned that Yoshioka introduced Minato to a lawyer for personal assistance. Despite these positive departments developments, his family still had to find a way to manage his father's debt payments. But his future steadily started to move in a brighter direction. He should have rotten in jail. Well, then they would have had to make him rot in jail too. <laughs> That's the... That's the caveat. You can't find one less guilty than the other just because you sympathize with one more. Some time passed since then. Around that time, Minato's suspension was lifted. I invited him over to my place. Of course, there was an unresolved issue we still needed to discuss, but that wasn't my primary motive. <laughs> God, tell him how I feel. Minato already called out my feelings for him before I had a chance to say anything, but I never confirmed it. Maybe it was selfish of me to confess after everything he had been through. Nevertheless, I wanted to clarify our relationship and remove any ambig ambiguity. <sighs> Thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. We each got comfortable on the sofa and I offered him some fresh tea as a... As I contemplated where to start, Minato broke the silence. 
Senpai. Amasawa. I better have a choice soon, otherwise I might have to go back to chapter 5 and pick one that doesn't make my meter go up at all. I know you invited me over to discuss something. Would you mind if I go first? My shoulders relaxed as relief washed over me. I wasn't ready to speak yet. I nodded gratefully and Minato took a breath before beginning. It's long overdue, but I owe you an apology. I lied to you countless times, Amasawa. Even worse, I kept trying to hurt you so you'd stay away, Amasawa, but I got you mixed up in my personal issues regardless. I'm so, so sorry. Minato bowed his head sincerely. However, I assured him that he didn't hurt me. I mean, he hurt me a little. I cried like three times in this route. He said he got me mixed up in his personal issues, but I willingly involved myself. It's not your fault. MC's literally just nosy as fuck. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. And he leapt to my defense when Doei showed just how disgustingly far he'd go. As I insisted he didn't need to apologize, surprise etched itself on Minato's face. But after a few moments he relaxed. I thought you'd be more upset with me. That was almost anticlimactic. I guess I'm lucky you're such a kind person, Amasawa. The fact that he slipped back into his usual sarcasm made me smile in relief. <laughs> this game is made around boys who hurt us. <laughs> Another name for sympathy kiss, the boys that hurt us. <laughs> but his next question felt like a bomb was set off. By the way, aren't you upset that I kissed you before? The memory came flooding back in the moment he mentioned it. After Doei walked away from the alley, not if it's because I have low expectations or because I genuinely enjoy this route, I'm 100% satisfied so far. It's been really chill, honestly. It's been a chill, consistent route. It's not crazy long because we're in the last chapter and I've only played for about six hours. So each chapter has been about an hour. I think the pacing was really good in this route. I don't feel like they... They dragged a bunch of stuff out, and I think they kept the twist. It wasn't really a twist, but the secret got revealed at the right time. <laughs> Every Atomi game gives us some guys that hurt us in a, diff in a different way. <laughs> some of them hurt us forever. We shared quite a passionate kiss. Discussing it directly with Minato made my cheeks feel like they were on fire. The kiss had taken me by surprise, but I had no reason to be angry about it. In fact, I enjoyed it. But admitting any of that was as good as a confession. Everything I planned to say was thrown out the window, and I didn't know how to go back on track. Instead, I asked why he brought up the kiss in the first place. I was always the one playing defense, and I wanted to turn the tables on him. He laughed lightly. <laughs> Oh, so he meant <laughs> I know I've been giving you missed signals this whole time. I miss the fun, lighter routes of other Atomi games. I mean, we don't know. I think Nori might be a light route. Imagine Nori having too much drama with him having another girlfriend. Tell me Kitten's got one issue with this route is Dio, Doei. Uh, he's not scary at all. He is hardly a villain. She said Mon Minato should just talk to Yoji about Doei a long time ago. Yeah! Honestly, the moment he kept asking for favors, that's what I've been like, how many favors is paying me back? You know what I mean? When we first met, you were like a thorn in my side. Dan -dan, 
The more time we spent together, the more I enjoyed your company, Amasawa. I loved your cute reactions every time I teased you. It just made me feel happy being able being around you, Amasawa, without putting a label on it. But I'm not a good person. I was afraid that you might find out what I was doing if we got close, and guess what? She did! <laughs> Part of me was scared you'd hate me, but. I was more worried about you being concerned about me and trying to do something crazy, Amasawa. I don't know why you're making that face at me. <laughs> I didn't do anything crazy. And I was completely right to be worried. There's a lot of soft and fluffy Atomi games that need to be localized, like Snowbound Land. I want that in the US, please. Thank you. He stared at me flatly, the accusations unsaid. I looked away. I had definitely been nosy and given him a piece of my mind, but it came from my heart that that was behind us. I asked what he wanted to do now that he didn't have to worry about any of that. That was all I wanted to know. I. I. Minato still seemed unsure as, so I just blurted it out. Think about yourself for once. Think about you. My words came out forcefully. Senpai. Masawa. I said I could tell that he was still stuck in the habit he had around his family. I pointed out that he always put the others first and bottled up his own feelings. I always thought that was one of the best things about Minato. But now I just wanted to know what he truly felt, not what he thought was right for me or his family, I concluded. After a brief silence, Minato leaned his forehead against my shoulder. My shoulder? He leaned his forehead against my shoulder and said, I love you. His head's here? No, put your forehead against my forehead. I messed up my bangs. I love you. Senpai ni... Amasawa, I want you to be mine, only mine. He finally let out what he had been holding back. Is there not a choice in this route? I'm gonna be so mad. I was over the moon, overwhelmed with emotions. I threw my arms around him and reassured him that I felt the same. He knew. Director Koba said something similar to what you just said, Amasawa. He told me that I should learn to lean on others and to think about myself more. I completely agree with that. Then Minato pulled away and tilted his head, inspecting me. Then can I ask you a favor? Of course I was ready to do anything for him. When I nodded at him, Minato gave me a small, relieved smile. I want you to call me by my first name. <laughs> that was hardly a favor. I've been wanting to do that. I decided to ask Minato, or rather Kohi, to do the same for me. Me too. I mean, I like hearing senpai, I won't lie. At least you say it. See? Senpai. Sounds better. All right, Leah. Hearing them say my first name made me grin from ear to ear. Oh, he chuckled. Um, maybe I am happier than you. You don't know. You're smiling too much. You look even happier than me. Something about his words gave me pause. He called me by my name, but it still felt like he kept a careful distance. It didn't make sense to me, sort of, but I asked him to loosen up anyway. Kegel? Loosen up, yeah, wiggle, let your wiggles out. Oh, 
家族以外には敬語を使うのを癖になってた。普通に喋った方がいいなら、そうするけど。As I nodded, a thought popped into my head. His modest little request was endearing, but I wanted to do more for Kohi. I told him that if I could, I'd give him everything he wanted. I doubted he'd take me up on it. He almost never did what he desired, but I was eager to spoil him. Are you sure about that? When I nodded, assuring him I was. My world flipped upside down. <laughs> in the blink of an eye, Kohi had me pinned on the couch, his hands caressing my cheek. Pinned or not, which one is it? My body is ready. <laughs> Are you still sure about that? If I ask, you'll do anything I want. あんたがピーピー泣くような、ひどいことするかもしれないのに。I might not hold back. I'll make you squirm. He stared at me, imploring with eyes ablaze, his face only inches from mine. That's when I understood the full implications of what I said. <laughs> I told him I might be a little scared, but there was nothing he could do that I didn't want to. He's like, whoa. There was a bit of speed of silence, and I was afraid I'd been too forward. But then, Kohi buried his face in my neck. He t me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Imagine if he was the voice of Iganus and not Conus, because then he would have just had this habit of licking blood in Otomi games. You really are a fool. To be clear, he's already tasted my DNA. His voice was rough with emotion. I was like a mix of happiness, affection, and desire edged his every word, but there was also a hint of guilt. He really is a vampire. <laughs> If you're sore later, blame it on me. His voice, low and husky, sent a shiver down my spine. <gasps> She's got a spine, guys. We officially found out. I closed my eyes and surrendered to Kohi and the heat of his body. Is there not a CG for this? Are you serious? Did you seriously not give me a CG? <gasps> I didn't know how long it lasted. Fair. When I checked the clock, it was well past midnight. What time did he arrive? These are questions I need to know. When did he get here? This no eyes face. Wow, what a tease. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Look at his arm, right? Like our heads on the arm, like that arm. Whoa. Your voice, it's hoarse. I know, I've been talking a lot the last two days. Kosi's hand gently gazed my throat. He was right, my voice was shot from crying out his name. Like, bro. Open your mouth? Oh my god. He cut my chin, tracing his finger over my lips. I thought he might kiss me like he had just before. Come on, you said you'd do anything right. Oh my god. Or I can force you, either way works for me. What's it gonna be? As he pressed his thumb between my lips, I opened my mouth tentatively. Is that good girl? Is that what good girl means? I need someone that speaks Japanese. Does he say good girl? Oh, he grabbed a nearby bottle of water. He opened its top a sip, and without swallowing, he leaned in towards me. <sighs> There was an easier way to get water in my mouth, but I guess. 
<laughs> Bad Kohi. <laughs> Water rushed into my mouth as our lips pressed together. The lukewarm liquid flowed down my throat. No consent is no good. He had consent. He was just... Eh. Some of the water spilled from the corner of Kohi's mouth. 100% <laughs> satisfied. Route is... Is is it an extra bit? It's a bit extra, just a little bit. He wiped it away roughly and gestured that was oddly sensual. Show me. Let's try again. You spilled some. No argument. Open up. Oh my. Where's the water bottle? You're lying to me, game. I opened my mouth and his lips met mine in an instant. But after I swallowed the water down, he didn't move an inch. It started as a way to drink, but soon turned into a deep, full-blown kiss. The sensation thrilled me, and I was afraid I might lose myself. I broke away. Uh How would she lose herself? She's in bed with him naked. What more could she... Don't run. I tried to pull away, but he wrapped his arm strongly around my back, pressing me into him. Said you'd do anything I asked. And I told you I might make you squirm. Demo Soreokeretanova Antada. But you still gave yourself to me, Leah. Oh my stars. <laughs> With the snow eyes. Kohi's fingers tip slowly traced the area below my navel. Takara Nani Waretemo Yamenai. I won't stop until you're happy. Am I not happy? How long have we been at this? He's not a virgin, is he? <laughs> There's no way. Even when you think you've reached the top, I'll make you squirm. Scream! I thought you said squirm. Oh god. It's even more dramatic. <laughs> Let me be MC in this position. After whispering in my ear, he gently nipped my neck. So much. His tongue trailed my skin before he sucked down and bit me again. With a quiver, I realized that Kohi must have liked biting. When he bit hard enough to leave a mark, a high-pitched yelp escaped me. I quickly covered my mouth. You look like a naked mole without eyes. Oh my god. You let him bite me. Oh god. Did you think Minato would be the top of my list so far? Number one. Damn. Honestly, this has been a great chapter. Like, I like it. Why are you stopping yourself? This is what was missing from Yui's route, though. Like, they didn't do this. They didn't have a hot moment. They cut, they faded to black. I never said you had to be quiet if you screamed. He grabbed my wrist and pulled my hand to his body, encouraged me to embrace him. Then he drew a finger to my lips, brushing me, brushing them gingerly. I realized this was like before. He wanted me to open my mouth. <laughs> Worth the angst and disappointment he went through so far. <laughs> As he softly dragged his fingertip against my lips, I parted them ever so slightly. The moment I did, he slipped his finger inside my mouth. I sucked in a breath as he pressed against my tongue and I bit down in revenge. <gasps> oh, he drew in a sharp breath. <laughs> How mean, you're something else. So, what do you want me to do next? I almost pouted. He had taken the lead the whole time, but now he wanted to. He was putting it on me on the spot. Answer me. At that moment, all I wanted was for him to keep going. I pulled his head to mine. I 
feel like I could have moved her arm up for that. With that kiss, as our signal, we sink back into bed together. <laughs> Such a beautiful song. Leah, what? I stirred as I heard the soft whisper of my name, but part of me wanted to sink back into the blissful depths of sleep. I reached out, pulling something warm closer to me. You want more? A voice spoke into my ear, but I couldn't process what it was saying in my groggy state. Nuzzling my face into the warmth, a familiar comforting scent enveloped me. <sighs> then all of a sudden, and without warning, a finger traced its way up my back, and just like that, I was wide awake. <laughs> you finally up? When I saw Kohi cr crooked smile, I finally understood what was happening. Realizing I had trapped him in a tight hug the whole time, I quickly released him. Ohio. Good morning. Waking up to find Kohi right next to me made me unbelievably happy. And it hit me again that Kohi and I shared the same feelings for each other. I feel like we're being spoiled. We are. But this is going to say love end or whatever. That means I somehow messed up. A few weeks later, when the chilly weather started setting in, we returned to our daily routine. Amasala, so if I may. <gasps> Please, a moment of silence for the moment of solitude that the voice actor had to endure while making kissing sounds in the studio. <sighs> okay. <laughs> while his team listened to it. You know, he's done it before. He's Connus. Connus is hot. I'm a Sawa, if I may. How much are these guys being paid? Could you check out this revision we got? If there's nothing wrong with it, go ahead and update the article. I hope a lot. I'm going to say that Anku probably gets the most. <laughs> Oh, he kept things professional at work, just like he always did. We weren't exactly keen on broadcasting our office romance, especially since there was a few of us. There was so few of us in the department. That afternoon, I was swamped with a wide range of tasks and forced to juggle them all. I planned to grab a drink with Kohi after work, so I was doing my best to avoid working overtime. Just as I was powering through my work, Kohi walked over to my desk. Here are the documents for the last inquiry. Kohi pivoted away after dropping the documents on my desk. But then he looked back as if he had just remembered something. Oh. Olia? My first name slipped out of him. Janakute, senpai. I mean, senpai. He quickly corrected himself to my last name and realized his mistake. Oi, oi, what Sayotomi, don't ruin this for me. Well, well, hold up, what the heck was that? Sayotomi was sitting nearby, didn't miss a beat, and sauntered over, grinning like a cat, ready to pounce. What's the what are you talking about? Oh, don't play dumb, Ko. I totally heard you call Amasawa by her first name, man. Want to grab a Kohi? Kohi? <laughs> you must be hearing things. No way, when did you become a thing? Ah. <laughs> You're just imagining things. Which one did I work on? Love or s works? Love, okay. We're supposed to act normal. It's a secret. 
Okay, they're even. They're even. We did it. I was hoping my words would make Saitomi lay off, but he only lit up with more curiosity. <laughs> I was literally saying it's a secret. Woo! What does that mean? Never mind. I'll just ask Ko. Himitsu. Himitsu. It's a secret. Eh? What? Are you guys like love scenes? So, Are we? I think it's your imagination. Hoi, who had apparently been eavesdropping, left into the conversation eagerly. <laughs> sure sounds to me like you two were acting lovey dovey. I know, right, Seiko? I knew it. I hit the bullseye. Get that smug look off of your face. Suddenly, Director Kobas got out of his board meeting and swung by. Hey, Saitome, got a minute? Hi, hi. Sure thing. I was going to be like, they're dating! Saitomi marched off at the director's desk after being summoned. Always nosy ass. <laughs> She's got to do something. Her boyfriend's imaginary. Got to discuss the new column idea you submitted for the competition. Saitomi and Oi recently wrapped up their presentation for the competition. Rumor had it that Saitomi's idea was selected as the winner. The project's underway, but we're going to go way over budget if we go with your exact specifications. Every route has me anticipating for boss's route. I mean, look at him. He's got to take his tie off in his route, right? Right? <laughs> right? <sighs> I see. So what's the ask? You want me to tweak it? Imagine him putting the tie on us. Same. Can't wait for coat, Yoji. Yes. Yeah. No, we're going to scout for sponsors for now. But... Not gonna lie, I literally thought she was married only because she looks like she's got a ring on her finger. They said in a different route that she's got a boyfriend, and they've also said uh, she talks about her boyfriend all the time. That's all. Kohi plus Yoji she would be great, though. <laughs> all right, draw it, make it happen. But bear in mind, there's no guarantee that we'll be able to snag. Sponsor. So I'd appreciate if you could review the details of the project just as a precaution. Sure thing. I'm sure there are some elements of my genius that were just pipe dreams. Sorry about that, but thanks. After his chat with the director, Saitomi strolled back over to us. I hope you managed to pull in a sponsor. Thanks, but judging from what Ko Boss said, doesn't sound like it's looking too good. What a shame, it's such a good proposal. Don't look so glum, you know I love a challenge. <laughs> That's the Saitomi we know. All of us wanted to see Taimo Saitomi's vision come to life exactly as he had designed it. I took a glance at Kohi, who seemed deep in thought. Sorry, Ko Kohi? After work, Kohi and I headed over to Evergreen as promised. As I nursed my drink, my thoughts turned to Saitomi's next project, and I admitted that I was concerned about it. So Me too. It seemed that Kohi was on the same page. Thinking back, he seemed pretty contemplative when he heard the news. I asked him about it, but he didn't supply many details. I've got some ideas about it. But, honestly, if it's going to 
全くわからない。But I'm honestly not sure if they'll pan out. The ambiguity of worried me. I was afraid he would shoulder a new burden on his own. Reading my expression, Kohi chuckled wearily. 大丈夫だよ。別にバカなことしようとしてるわけじゃない。Don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything reckless. ただ、あの人の企画はエスターシ再起のためには欠かせないものになる。You know what's great about Yofi? He never. You, we never have to see him again in other routes, but Saito me. <laughs> First off, that's fair. Honestly, actually, I have no defense for Yofi. Yofi is a psychopath. It's just that the successor, success of Saito me's project is crucial to Astarsi to make a comeback. I want to t h i n k it through carefully, that's all. Kohi's serious expression reflected his renewal dedication to Astarsi. I smiled and encouraged him. We left Evergreen walking side by side towards the train station. There was hardly any distance between us, but it still felt like something was missing. Hold my hand. Casting a sidelong glance at Kohi, I noticed his hand wasn't in his pocket. As I tentatively reached out my right hand to him. Ah! <gasps> His left hand simultaneously rose, leaving behind an empty space at his side. I sucked in a breath and winded up coughing on my own spit. We kind of saw what they mentioned Yofi's in the Prince route. Yeah, they did, but we did his route first. So we didn't know Yofi was going to be horrible. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't know it was him, and we never had to endure talking to him. <laughs> Startled me, are you okay? He slowed down and watched me with wide, puzzled eyes, hoping he would understand my gaze drifting back to his left hand. Huh? My hand. Hola. Here. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he had caught on, but he extended his palm out to me. As I laid my hand in his. He effortly twined his fingers with mine, holding my hand ever so gently. Caught off guard, I glanced at his face to see him grinning at my impishly. Grinning at me impishly, okay. Nani? I didn't see Yofi's route, and I'm glad I didn't see it. I still need to go through the, the VOD so I can edit it to the point so you can watch up until that point before he gets creepy. It's like, stop watching if you don't like to be uncomfortable, is what the second chapter will be called. What? It felt like I had been played, and I gave his hand a firm squeeze without uttering a word. Love Yofi, just like his route. <laughs> He was great for half the route, but jumped the, sh <laughs> jumped the shark hard as fuck. We continued walking until we reached the station. Yeah, he was great, and then he sucked suddenly. When we both had worked the next day, this was where I had to part ways with Kohi. Even though we were seeing each other daily, I didn't want to say goodbye to him. We ambled along as leisurely as we could, but eventually arrived at the station. Dude, he should be spending the night more often. If I pretend his route didn't happen, then I can pretend it. He never did ugly things. That's fair. Just as I attempted to release our intertwined hands, Kohi tightened his grip. <laughs> What a waste of a pretty look. I know, right? <laughs> What about we go out somewhere next weekend? His sudden invitation had me blinking in surprise, but that was quickly replaced with a warm rush of happiness. I nodded enthusiastically. Sounds good. I'll send you a message on Ring later and you can decide where to go. As we parted ways, it hit me that this would be our first official date. When I realized that, the loneliness feeling gnawing at my chest dissipated. After returning home, I received a message on Ring from Kohi. After a bit of back and forth, we decided on where to go. Then let's meet at the station at 11. Bow. 
I don't feel like I need to say it, but I'm going to anyways because this is the habit I have formed and if I don't do the habit, then one of these days I won't save what I need to and then I'll be sad. Are you looking forward to it? A little. <laughs> it's so cute! Oh, now I want to see what the other one looks like. <laughs> you sure are laying on the pressure. I shouldn't have to tell you that I'm excited, you know. It will be fun. I'm going to sleep good night. Oh god, I couldn't stop smiling about our playful exchange as I closed the app. She just talks in emojis because she doesn't actually have a voice. Oh god. The glance one is so cute. I know, I wish I had saw it before I got my nails because the glance would have looked cute on the side of my nail. Ugh. In the end, I couldn't sleep because I was anticipating our date so much. It's not tomorrow, right? When the day finally arrived, we met up near the shopping mall. <gasps> Back to his, uh, V looking like V. Any particular place you want to go? Anywhere with you, my guy. Since I had no specific shop in mind, we decided to simply roam around the mall hand in hand. Eventually, we stopped in front of a small boutique. Two mannequin dresses and contrasting outfits stood in the storefront window. Those are not contrasting at all. <laughs> my bedroom. I turned to Kohi asking what she thought would suit me better. Oh. Maybe this one? He pointed to the simply yet sophisticated dress with the striking silhouette. I think you'd look better in an understated dress than a flashy one, Leah. He's lying to me. He happened to pick the dress I'd been eyeing, which made me beam. Ma. My opinion doesn't matter. Whatever you like, whatever you're comfortable in, that's what suits you best. What a sweet guy. Like, oh my god. Your heart matters more to me anyways. You got my heart. Like, literally rip it out of my chest. It's yours. I giggled. That was so typical of him. But seeing as this was our first real date together, I wanted to know more about what kind of clothes he liked, so we browsed the boutique together. Not raising my expectations. This could be the best route, Blue. I wouldn't get to <laughs> what's next. As we left the boutique, I pointed nearby to a building busting, bursting with lights and sounds. Gason? <gasps> The arcade? Are you serious? Let's go. Why aren't we in the arcade now? What do you plan on playing there? Everything. There wasn't any particular game that I wanted to play, but I explained to Kohi that tackling tackling stuff like crane machines or rhythm games would be a blast and asked what he thought. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go play crane games. You want to take me on a date? Take me to Crane Games. I'd be so happy. Like, I'm the happiest girl in the world. I spent $10 on Crane Games recently, and I won one little tiny plushie this big. You can make plushies and, like, the same dress as me. True love. <laughs> anything is... He shut his mouth before he could say it. anything was fine, like he always did. Actually, I want to play anything that we can play together, Leah. I'm going to tell you right now, you can't play crane games together. Lead the way. With that, Kohi extended his hand to me once more. Thrilled, we spent the whole day together playing various co-op games in the arcade as I stared at the crane games across the room, sad, depressed. Because I asked... The moon was high in the inky black sky when we finally headed home. As we walked, Kohi's phone suddenly rang. He excused himself and accepted the call. Hey mom, what's going on? Her voice was faint from where I stood. I figured it was just a regular call to say hello until Kohi sounded panicked. Did his dad come home? Huh? But why now? 
すぐ帰る。All right, I'm coming home. Kohi's brow furrowed as he ended the call. I wondered what could have crashed his mood so quickly and asked him what was it about. I will hurt. Oh no, the father. <laughs> she said she heard from my dad. Yeah, but your mom knew you were on a date and she could have waited. You're coming home, anyways. His mom told him that his father reached out and claimed to have something important to discuss and he'd visit them the next day. <gasps> Sir, go away. <laughs> I don't give a damn about what he has to say. I just want to punch his useless face, deadbeat father. My mom still harbors some hope for that asshole, but here's the thing, right? He's been gone for a minimum of two years. Actually, longer. No, no, no. Three years. He left this family. There are two small children in this house. His son literally made a deal with a, a devil? Question mark? No. He abandoned us. There's no way I can trust him again. It was only natural for Kohi to react with such indignation. Given everything he experienced as the result of his father's absence, his anger was entirely justified. I didn't know the right words to comfort him, so I simply reached out and held his hand. As, he con as we continued home, I squeezed his hand, reassuring, and hoped he'd find the strength to talk to his father. Did I spend the night at his place? <gasps> Then, on the following day, I was at home nervously awaiting news from Kohi. I worried if he managed to have a proper discussion with his father. As the silence stretched on and my anxiety increased, my doorbell suddenly rang. Sorry for dropping by like this. The kids and her deserve better. I love the mom, but I need people, people like her to stop having hope for someone who don't care about you and the kids. Yeah, I'm. Again, we have some single, single household people in the chat. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Pick your children first. Sorry for dropping by like this. When I opened the door, Kohi filled the door frame because he's so buff. I waved him inside and was, we sat down beside each other on the couch. After taking a moment to collect his thoughts, Kohi started to speak. It's traumatic and it just reopens old wounds. Yeah. It's someone with scars and emotional abuse. It's hard to not fall back to old habits. That's also true. That asshole, my father, he found a new job. He wanted to apologize for disappearing and leaving us with his debts. He's promising to pay off his debts and wants to make amends. Mom was in tears, but she was happy too. She seems ready to give him another chance. But I couldn't bring myself to forgive him and I. Finally, I ended up throwing a punch at him and storming out before we could really talk. Given everything Kohi went through, I understood his reaction entirely. He had been working tirelessly to take care of his family all this time. Well, that's because you're the one shouldering all the burden. You're protecting your siblings from it, so they weren't even experiencing it. And your mom sounds like she was. Waiting for your dad to call, honestly. It seems like I'm the only one who can, can't forgive him. Family therapy. Hey, Minato, mother, don't forgive your, forget your son had to suffer just because your trash husband. Mom and my brother looked really happy to see him again. 
My sister, yeah, who's like five, barely remembers him, but. Sometimes she acts tough, saying things like she's fine without a dad, but. I was immediately reminded of what she said the first time I visited his house. I knew that Kohi had already worked out an answer to all of this in his mind. He always put his family first. Even so, letting go of the past was really difficult and this all happened so quickly. I assure, assumed that was why he came over. He needed reassurance and support from me. Leah, yeah, let me hold you in my chest. It's okay. Oh, he took in a surprised breath as I gently wrapped my arms around him. Still, I held him close. I told him that I truly understood, fully understood why he was struggling. As an outsider, his father's words struck me as selfish and self-serving. At the very least, his whole family should discuss the situation together. And then if Kohi was comfortable with the outcome of their discussion, perhaps he didn't have to forgive his father, but he could give his father the chance to earn forgiveness. I concluded. Yeah. Kohi mumbled to himself before hugging me tightly, seeking solace in my arms. And the following Monday at lunch. I hate this forgive bullshit. You should pay the debt off living in another house, but close enough to visit them. That's also fair. I had a talk with my family. I decided to give my father one more chance. I told him if he screwed up one more time, I'd send him right out the door, but... Oh, he seemed more relaxed than usual as he spoke. Damn that music. Also, I got something I need to tell you, Leah. His expression shifted to one more serious, and I nodded in intrigue. I'm thinking of leaving the company. My eyes widen. I hadn't seen that coming at all. I've always thought it was the right thing to do. Way to truly take responsibility for what I've done. All the debt we had, it was an impossible decision. There's a shovel with your name on it if you disappoint us. Seems his father was returned to push him to leave Astario. There was no hesitation in his voice, he was determined. But he still had to work in order to survive. I know, right? I asked him if he had plans to join another company after leaving Astario. Yeah. No, I don't. I'm gonna become homeless. I'm thinking of taking on a part-time job while I set up my own business. When I remember the economics book Kohi had in his room, my surprise made it away. He had been preparing for this all along. I want to start a company that helps job seekers. I ended up working for Doi because I lost my other job. I don't want anybody else to have to go through what I did. I was a little sad to hear he might be leaving the company, but my desire to support him was ever greater, even not ever. <laughs> so he pushed himself beyond his limits for the sake of others, but now he was finally doing something for himself. Now I'm curious how Nori's character will grow. Maybe he won't grow. Maybe he'll just be a puppy. Sometimes you're just a puppy. Although his girlfriend did have a face, so there's gonna be some girlfriend drama in Nori's route. I told him that I was happy to help in any way that I could. Thank you. Thank you.
We still have to help with Saitomi's project, so I'll stick around until Astarsi's future is secure. Let's keep doing our best, Senpai. okay? <gasps> Call me Senpai again. It's what I've always wanted. You're all I've ever wanted. Minato means everything, so I wonder if the author chose that name to express self-sacrifice. Maybe. A few days later, we had an internal meeting about the future of a star sea. The small improvements we made are beginning to pay off. The app's situation is improving a bit by bit. We still are struggling to find a sponsor for Saitomi's project. Maybe we could give up on the sponsor thing and focus on ads. Can I make a suggestion? Kohi, who usually kept quiet during meetings, spoke up at Saitomi and the directors discussed the issue. お、どうしたのこうちゃん。なんかいいやある。なるほど。だがそう簡単にうまくいくか。that could work, but there's no guarantee, right? We'd have to figure out something to offer in return, and it's possible that we won't get enough support. If we get the funding, it'll showcase just how passionate our users are about our product, Two Birds with One Stone. That's a good point. Maybe it's worth a shot. Yeah, if it doesn't work, we can always explore other options. Why would they let a project win a contest if it's too expensive? After Saitomi and Oi offered their assistance, Kobas gave Kohi a nod. So, you're right. The publicity alone from trying to make trying might be beneficial. Minato, Minato, can you get the ball rolling on this as soon as possible? Sure. And just like that, we decided to use crowdfunding to fund Saitomi's project. And it worked too. A month had passed since that meeting. The crowdfunding campaign ended today, and we managed to raise far more money than I could have anticipated. We can definitely follow through with the original project plans now. Director Kobas' announcement had us all breaking into smiles. It's all thanks to Ko for suggesting this brilliant idea. I didn't do much. Now that the funds are in, though, just make sure you use them wisely. Dude, do you even know me? You know I'm gonna crush it. And we'll be there to back you up every step of the way, right, Leah? I nodded enthusiastically. A few weeks later, Saitomi's news column was successfully added. Let me put my marker so I don't forget. Thanks to the surge in popularity that came with the new feature and the system improvements, Astarsi was saved. And around the same time that Astarsi started taking off, Kohi left Astario just like he said he would. A few months down the line, he finally managed to clear all of his family's debts. And that, after, oh God. 
After that, he took steps to launch his own company. Did he clear his debts by uh, stealing money from Astario? He even went to check out a property to use as his new office. I was thrilled to be by his side supporting him as he chased his dream. Kohi and I strolled hand in hand among the she so she so how can you do this to me game? See sure. We decided to take a little weekend trip to the beach together. My baby's getting what he deserves. <laughs> it had been a while since I last came to the ocean and the sea breeze felt incredibly soothing as it caressed my cheeks. Kohi gave me a sideways glance as I glanced with delight, a playful smirk on his face. So satisfying, finally. I could, can't see short snow evil s words yeah i can't all right all right i get it the sea is beautiful you've been bouncing off the wall since we got here i sheepishly admitted that i might have gotten too excited but i was just so thrilled to be there with him feeling a little embarrassed i shifted the conversation to his family and asked what they were up to this weekend oh nanka atchi wa atchi de barbecue they're having a barbecue this weekend. Why are we here? That made me feel a little lighter. It seems like he was slowly mending his relationship with his father, but I still worried. My siblings are happy. My dad seems pretty excited about it too, but... I just can't understand why he couldn't have put in this effort from the beginning. I'm glad there wasn't a huge life-changing decision like in other routes. I mean, kinda. Kohi's voice took on an edge. A lot of time passed, but I committed on how it seemed like things were still tense between him and his father. <laughs> I mean, we're not at each other's throats. I haven't thrown a punch at him since then, if that's what you're worried about. But I only talk to him when I act. absolutely have to. Maybe that's childish of me. It's not. You have to heal yourself. His grip on my hand tightens. His income helped pay off our debts, and he's been really good at to everyone at home. Is he giving you additional money? Because that was his debt that you paid off. I know I shouldn't ask for anything more, but. If I forgive him now, it'll feel like I'm erasing all of the pain and suffering we went through. That's why I just can't bring myself to warm up to him. Forgive at your pace or don't forgive at all. Neither is bad in my book. Yeah, that's like your feelings. Don't, don't pretend that you are not allowed to have feelings. Though his dad was doing his best to make amends, Kohi was still having a hard time putting everything behind him. It was easy to see where both of them came from, which made the whole situation all the more painful. Everyone else is moving on trying to be a family again. One of them is a five-year-old, the other one is eight. They don't, they don't get to speak for this. I know everything would be a lot easier if I could just let go of my anger towards him, but... I just can't bring myself to do it. Kohi frowned and slowly let go of my hand. Sorry, I didn't mean to unload on you. I don't care if you unload on... Give me your hand. I quickly grabbed his hand again. <laughs> 
Mia. I told him it wasn't an issue at all and that I always would be there to listen to him. I admitted that I might not have all the answers or even good advice, but I still believed it was important to take his feelings seriously, especially since he was always the one making sacrifices for others and ignoring himself. <laughs> You hold on to every grudge you want to, my angel. I thought in situations like this, people normally tell you to move on or forgive and forget. He might have been right about that. But to me, Kohi was the most important person in this situation. So I wasn't going to force him to do something he didn't want. I pointed out he had only been a few months since his father had returned anyways. It was possible that Kohi's feelings about him thought it would change over time. What if they don't? You can move in with me. That was entirely possible. I told him it would cross, we'd cross that bridge when it, the time came. Besides, being a family didn't mean everything had to be perfect. Kohi fell silent, mulling over, mulling over my words before letting out a long sigh. <sighs> I feel a bit better now. But you know, maybe things will change after all. I mean, my trust in him has gone from about negative 100 to zero just by having him around. Feels like it's the same level, but yes. I guess I can wait a little longer to see if I can change my mind about him. I vocalized my agreement. No matter how long it took, all we needed was to be patient. Oh, he chuckled slightly, and all of our tension vanished. He looks so pretty, oh my god. I feel like you're spoiling me, Leah. I never thought of that of it that way, that it made me happy that he felt like he was treating well. Treated well. I reached for his hair on my tiptoes. She's like, pat, 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 pat. What are you doing? I patted him on the head teasingly and his face flushed with embarrassment. You know, there's other ways to spoil me. Yeah, but you treated me like a kid forever. Kohi actually sulking was kind of cute, so I pretended not to understand and kept stroking his head. Pat, pat, pat. Suddenly he grabbed my arm. <gasps> if you really don't understand, maybe I can show you. Don't you want to know? Don't you want to know how to spoil me? I guess. His face inches closer to mine. Though there weren't many people around, someone could pass by at any moment. I pushed Kohi's chest gently and hurriedly suggested stepping onto the sand to change the subject. <sighs> aye, aye. Fine, fine. We moved down the beach and I stepped closer to the water's edge. A small wave rushed for it and leaked into my shoe. Why did you not take your shoes off? As I grumbled about it getting soaked, I glanced back at Kohui, who was chuckling and standing further back. Why are you complaining? It's not the ocean's fault you got too close. I thought I was far enough, but I must have underestimated the speed of the waves. I started walking back to Kohi, where Kohi was standing, but just then... A wave significantly larger than the last one crashed into me, throwing me off balance. I did not realize she was going to get drowned by the ocean in this route. <laughs> Leah? Am I dead? I quickly gasped when Kohi outstretched his hand, and since I was already tip tripping, I ended up falling into the water and pulling him down with me. We stared at each other in silence for a moment then. Oh. CG. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A 
that your brain process is matching so well with this route. Oh god. She didn't get drowned by the ocean, at least. <laughs> we burst out laughing together. <laughs> we must look so stupid, two adults falling into the ocean. <laughs> you really didn't have to drag me in with you, but yeah, I guess it's my fault for not catching you. Yep. Blame yourself. <laughs> Seeing Kohi laugh so freely was a rare sight to behold. That might have been the first time I'd seen him smile like that. Knowing I brought that joy to his face made me feel warm from head to toe. Oh. oh. After he recovered from his laughing fit, he ga his gaze turned to me. Ever so slightly. Before I could wonder what he was looking at, his hand grazed my cheek. <gasps> Leah, your eyes that don't exist are reflecting the sea. They're sparkling. You're beautiful. Yeah, show me those eyes. He was completely captured. His eyes mirrored the azure blue of the ocean were far more gorgeous to me. The way he stared at me full of tenderness and devotion made my heart flutter. You always light up my day, Leah. When we first met, I didn't think we could get along. You were always so warm, genuine, a bit clumsy, and so full of life. You were so different from me. That's why I what I cherish about you, Leah. You're the light of my life. I'll stay by your side forever and always. Oh my! What a commitment. Kohi's sudden emotional outpour brought tears springing to my eyes. With a word, without a word, I pulled him to me and tightly, never wanting to let go. I want to see G of that. Show me that. Our futures were unimaginable without each other. There was a, was there a happier feeling in the world? I knew that the path ahead of us would bring, I knew that the path ahead of us would be bright as we supported and loved each other. Why couldn't we have sweet moments like this in the other routes? Because we didn't deserve them. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> oh no, don't remind me. Because he had already became the light of my life too. We did it. We did it, question mark. <gasps> we survived. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rewatch that moment because I was distracted. How dare you, Asia? 10 10. Yeah, that was definitely my favorite route. A streamer gifted me another visual novel on Steam. Look at you, just getting visual novels left and right. <laughs> when he drank our blood. I down downloaded Gilded Shadows. Oh, 1110 says blue. Yeah, that was a great route. This is my favorite route now. Have I played it too soon? I was I was at a toss up between Nori and him doing next. I was like, I liked Nori aesthetically. And then he was a little strange telling me to take him home with me. Ugh. Get it, we survived. That's so cute. Look at the little like speckles on them. Okay, that was beautiful. That was gorgeous.
We did it. We did it. Okay. Perfect. Let's see if we got all the pictures. If we didn't, we might have to go <laughs> go do something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <gasps> fifteen of fifteen. We did it. We got all his pictures. Woohoo! All right. So we're down to. Yoji and Nori, and then the secret route number two. So we are, we're on, we're doing it. We're getting this done. Oh my God. How exciting. How are we feeling? Everybody alive? <laughs> like, but the good ones are, are great. Yeah, that was really good. They did really good on his route. Like, this one was good. This is my favorite route now. <laughs> like, I like it. I like it. I'm still a little tentative on Nori if I'm going to like him as much as I thought I would. Because at a glance, I liked him aesthetically. And I was like, oh, he's fresh. And he's a puppy, which could be super cute. Dark endings. <laughs> Minato, Usui, Saitomi, and Yofi. Is that okay? so tired. I don't even remember how many routes we've done. We've done seven total, right? No, there's six. There's eight total. Favorite to least favorite. I see. Alright, favorite so far, it's gonna be Minato, Isui. I like the prince. You know what? I think, ugh, do I like him more? Yoshioka is probably... I'm going to say Yoshioka's third. I feel like his route dragged a little bit. Then Mitsuki. And then Yofi. Yofi has to be last. He has no choice. I, I, as much as I love these pictures, like... Like, look how cute he is. Look how cute this guy is. Look at him! Like, he... And then he turned terrible. He licked my tears. Look at these people. Like, what... I forgot the princess route. <laughs> oh gosh, nothing else. Oh man, I liked him so much. He was so cute. And then he had the cutest end. Like look at his end photo. Look at this picture. This is still my favorite picture. I have yet to see a picture I like more than this one. <gasps> so cute. This hurts my feelings. I love the prince, but I forgot about him. Poor prince. You want to know why you forgot about him? Because his route was boring. It was kind of boring. It dragged on for no good reason. His was paced perfectly. Every chapter was about an hour, and I felt like they didn't like get sidetracked with drama too much in his. I don't know if they had the same writer for all of it, but the person who wrote this one was like, I got you. And we had the right level of spiciness, I think, in this route. I think it worked out really well. I think he did great. I'm still trying to pick out which one I'm going to use for the thumbnail because, like, there's so many good choices in this. Maybe this one. I feel like the bed seems too much for a thumbnail, to be clear. <laughs> that wasn't my favorite moment, by the way, because that kiss was uh, when she was crying, but, you know. Oh, you know what? This was actually, this is it. This is the thumbnail. Oh, God. It's too K-drama-esque and a bit executed the best. Yeah, I just didn't like... It felt too weird when they were like, oh, he's being under house arrest. Let's go break him out of his house. So we broke him out of his house for five minutes and then took him back to his house. We could have just had a phone call. Phone call. But tomorrow we're going to be doing... Uh, oh gosh, I've already... I'm so tired. Touch Starve. We're gonna do Touch Starve uh, demo. We're gonna. There's another demo we're gonna do. I'm gonna download the third demo as well. So we're at least gonna do Touch Starve, and then try to get to the other two tomorrow before I have to go to the working. Um, so I'm excited to try out some new stories and see how they play. Thank you guys. Thank you for hanging out. Thank Blue. Thank you Tarp. Thank you Asia. Thank you for Ray for being here earlier. I think she had to go. Jay. Thank 
you everybody for stopping by. Thank you. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can check out my real recent stuff on Twitch. And as always, if you're watching me on Twitch, you know you can check out all my VODs on YouTube. I upload everything onto there so you can check out all our previous streams. Cupid Parasite is officially a fully on uh, YouTube now. So if you missed any of the, the Cupid Parasite videos or want to rewatch any of them, they're all up right now. 100%. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Have a great night or day, whatever time it is where you are. Bye, Blue.